there's a try and be caught saying something weird Good when he undeafens. No, there we go. Like it. being caught saying something Dang weird it. when he undeafens. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Can I help hey. you? <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, hello. Welcome to Dungeon Select on a Tuesday. What madness is this? Uh, right. We're here. Some familiar faces, some not so familiar faces, but we'll uh, we'll make an introductory round uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, we're here today to run a special one shot to raise money for uh, Charity Select, which is our our month long charity in, uh, campaign we've been doing. This is our third run. Uh, did two last year and uh, doing one again uh, throughout the month of March. All the proceeds of the campaign, as you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen. Uh, we'll be going to Rise Above the Disorder, a great charity that uh, helps give people um, the mental health help they need if they uh, cannot afford to get that uh, on their own. Great charity, started off as a World of Warcraft guild with kind of that same mindset and they grew to like a proper charity, which is awesome. Fucking awesome. Uh, pretty rad, yeah. <laughs> nice. I was waiting here, for here. someone to make that joke. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Um... We're doing a oh, one shot geez. based on The Witcher, a, a one shot that I that I wrote myself, um, and, and did my best on. Uh, so hopefully everybody here has a great time. Uh, a quick side note that um, donations that are uh, given tonight throughout the one shot of five dollars or more um, will impact the game. Uh, you can choose what kind of gameplay change you want to happen. Do you want to give someone advantage on the next roll? Disadvantage. Uh, DM's inspiration or bardic inspiration or if you want to get creative and think of some stuff on your own some minor changes you want to implement feel free feel free uh, you're more than welcome to um, it can go beyond just game mechanics too when I did this uh, a few weeks ago with a side quest we people donate to be like this character has to stare awkwardly with no breaking eye contact to the next NPC for 60 seconds <laughs> like weird weird <laughs> shit people came up with so don't oh, just no. think about what game mechanics can I mess with with my donation. Just think about use your imagination. What can you do? Sky's the limit. But obviously we request if you want to if you want something really really big to happen, again this is Dutch will be have the ultimate say. But I would recommend maybe make your donation reflect that because you know like giving someone inspiration. All right, five dollars. If you're like I want someone to uh, be unkillable for the next like ten minutes. I mean, I feel like that would be a pretty hefty yeah, ass donation yeah. you got to make. Time to actually even yeah, consider like, that. So. Like at least seven dollars. At least seven, guys. <laughs> like, like maybe ten if you're feeling Please. generous. But like at least. How seven. many dollars do I have to give to get access to grenades? <laughs> I don't think there's enough money in the world. <laughs> well, <laughs> after last see, session. My thing is, my issue here is like my my raising money for charity brain is like, oh fuck yeah, my I don't want to give Ethan what he wants. Brain is like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you cannot say that the last session of Dungeon Select when I had grenades wasn't content. It was content. It was stupid, Aww. but it was content. Yeah, no. <laughs> Um, anyway, like as of last session, you're now not allowed in this at all. No matter how much anyone donates, you've yeah, lost your grenade yeah. privileges. Once, once grenade. Enough, you've been wow. a bad boy. You've lost grenade privileges. <laughs> it's a phrase I never thought I'd hear. Uh, that's, <laughs> we we do that a lot. Uh, don't worry. Um, before we get going, uh, I want to also make note that subs and bits won't go to charity because that goes, you know, through a whole Twitch payout system, and Twitch takes a cut and. The only donations that go to charity are the ones directly made to the Tiltify link, which you can find both linked in a panel down below, but also if you type exclamation mark donate in the chat. Uh, that's the only two ways uh, you'll get your, uh, your your money sent to charity, if you sub or, or whatever. We appreciate it, but it's not going to charity because of Switch taking half and, and all that other uh, shenanigans. Um, before we get going... Um, first off, big up to CD Projekt Red for allowing us to use the music from The Witcher for our campaign normally, but also, you know, it was one shot. Very cool. So we'll have, uh, you know, all the music you hear is original music, uh, mainly from The Witcher 3, which is very cool. So, you know, it fits it fits the one shot perfectly. Um, before we start, obviously everybody here knows Koiba, Laura, and, and Beanie, but there's two people that uh, are making their debut. I feel right. Denny hasn't been. I don't think Denny has been here. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. We've um, we've been on his stuff for a lot. Yeah. Stuff, he's not been on our stuff. I think that's. I think that's. Uh, yeah. I think the only level select affiliated thing, and this might not even be, would have been the uh, past assault podcast with Dutch yeah, with and, and uh, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, two, uh, two people, two fresh faces to the channel, so I want to ask them to quickly introduce themselves, uh, you know, give us give us a little, <laughs> a little a little elevated pitch of who you are, what, what you do, where people can find you, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll start with you, Denny, if you don't mind. All right, sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Denny Dicely. I'm the uh, DM and host on the Dicely D&D Twitch and YouTube channel. Um, I run a campaign called Play Dicely here on Twitch, part of that Dicely D&D channel. Um, I do all kinds of video content creation about Dungeons and Dragons. I've had a podcast called Speak Dicely. Many of these lovely people have made appearances on that podcast. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, all the socials, Dicely D&D, &D, and uh, very stoked to be here. Beautiful. And uh, Denny, you know, being a phenomenal DM himself, uh, phenomenal DM himself. I hear myself. Why? Stop. Comes looking for <laughs> Dicely Link. That's why. Right. Got That's it. not your favorite thing ever. I hate. I can't my summon own voice. James Ethan. <laughs> the to sexual, school. The sexual tension in that. Oh, I can hear myself. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. Okay. Oh Make me act up. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's let's calm down. Yeah, let's calm down. <laughs> um, yeah. So here's here's uh, some links you can you can follow Denny and his and his gang of. Uh, his gang of awesome D and D. Uh, I mean, can I say maniacs? Is is is, is that a, is that a, is sure, that a good way they're to they're maniacs. Describe it. Also, That's accurate. Also, high fiend. <laughs> one of one of our one of our players is currently in the chat. The fantastic fiend. Hey Ryan. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, go give go give Denny a follow. Go give them a follow because you know Dicely D and D is a group effort, right? Same as same as Dungeon Select. So go go give them a follow and uh, check out their stuff. They. Uh, do amazing D and D related stuff. Denny also does a lot of things on YouTube, which you, I'm surely you can find linked in in the uh, on on the Twitch page and on the Twitter page that I just linked. So d d go click all the buttons, do things. You won't regret it. Promise. Um, cool, 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 cool. Espera, huh? you, you like did to... it! I did it! I'm so proud I, of I, I you. In my head. I'm not gonna fuck this up. I'm not gonna fuck this up. I'm not gonna fuck this up. But I did it. Uh, yeah, uh, my quickly... name's not easy. <laughs> Can you, uh, give a little um, introduction and all that good stuff. Uh, uh, hi, <laughs> I'm East Mara. Um, I'm on Team SideQuest with Laura, um, and I am a huge fan of D and D. I haven't been able to play, like, really play in so long, so I'm really, really excited, even for just a one shot. Um, I stream over at that link that just got put in the chat. Um, nice. Just Ismera is time. my Twitch name, Y-S-M-E-I-R-A. Um, I do mostly Elder Scrolls Online and Animal Crossing right now. And then I'm also working on my first um, Skyrim playthrough and my first uh, Breath of the Wild playthrough. So oh, it's yeah. good times. It's like, you know, cozy with a side of spice because... I, I'm sassy. I, I like that. <laughs> I don't know I like what to say. A lot. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, yeah. uh, that sounds good. It's a good sum up. All right. Cool. <laughs> with uh, with that done, I do also want to make a quick side note that I'm a little bit of a I have a little bit of a cold. I'm a little sniffly, so my voice is a little uh, is a little questionable today. But uh, you're gonna just have to suck it up and deal with it. So you know. Mm -hmm. um, let me think. Do I have anything else to announce? I don't think so. I think I'm out of announcements. Laura, you're typically the announcements person. Oh. Do we have anything? Do you have anything you want to share with the class? <laughs> Um, well, like, uh, Charity Select is obviously coming to an end soon-ish, because it's the month yep. of March, and obviously the amount we've already raised is amazing, but we still have lots more incentives going on. A lot of the streamers who are participating have set individual uh, incentives to reward you guys for your donations. A lot of them have already, we've done the ones that we've hit. Well, uh, one's coming up. I know if we hit 2k, I have to continue my Dark Souls 3 playthrough. I started last Charity Select, and I will hate it and cry, <laughs> but that's yeah. content, so... If you want to see that, I know if we hit eighteen hundred, Koiba has an incentive I, where he, him ooh. versus Natty, they're going to compete in a Pokemon randomizer, like who can get the to the map, end first. Map randomizer. That's at eighteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah. At eighteen hundred, which is really that's close. close, man. That's let's let's let's. I know it's really close. My, 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 so payday comes <laughs> in. my payday comes in before the month ends. True. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. How do I? How do I take money away that I've already done it? <laughs> huh? like, how do I edit the incentives? I'm like, you can't. Only I have the power to edit the incentives. It. <laughs> it I mean, it, it's like the hand give, the hand take away. Because I want to see Natty vs. Koiba. <laughs> but I have to play Dark Souls already. And there's I some do. like... Yeah. If we get, get really high, I have some not fun things. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, if we hit the 2K, we're both on that Dark Souls train. So yeah, Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls I know isn't that in, bad, guys. Come on. In Come on. in my channel, I don't think we have it here, but I can put it here. I'll just put a link. I'll put a link to the incentives. I've already um, done, it. Page. done it. Oh, there you go. So if you guys want to see what other incentives the various level selectors have for this month, and we have until the end of March to make them happen. Mm -hmm. Not to do the incentives, like some of them will take place in the months following March because it's just when the caster has yeah, time to do them. From last time. But they're only eligible to be <laughs> unlocked during the month of March. I think that's about it. Dollars. Announcement wise, stream at some point to catch up on an incentive from last time. Eighteen hundred dollars, and I have to shave this into a goatee. Oh god. I mean, what are the incentives is me and Natty get matching tattoos, but that's really high because that's, that's a permanent yeah, that's, thing on our body. That, that's, so that's reaching really for the stars, high. right? There. <laughs> do, that's do, why it's as high as yeah, it is. Yeah, no, no, it makes sense. Do the you know, Mr. Get Beast to happen what across our stream one day and just smash it, and I'm like, well, fuck, now I'm getting a tattoo. <laughs> so you know, you, you never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything. So I think, I think we'll, we're ready. Uh, I think we're ready. It can't be everything. More announcements. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, not so much an announcement, but a preemptive apology to everyone for the voice that comes with this character. Oh, oh, Laura's on. going Valley Girl. Oh, no. Are you going to kill me with vocal fry? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, it's going to get much worse. All right. You ready to go? Yeah. Beautiful. I believe so. The year is 1271. This adventure takes us to the wealthy realm of Redania, a realm that profits from trade and agriculture. The capital city of this realm is Tretagor, and other prominent cities of the realm are Oxenfurt, known for having the largest university in the northern realms, and the free city of Novigrad. Redania is ruled by King Radovid V, a brilliant strategist and superb general, although some would argue he's a paranoid madman. The overall consensus about his policies are that they are harsh, but justified. Radovid's rule became... Radovid's rule became, along with the witch hunts, one of the defining factors of the post-war period that followed the Peace of Sintra, which got signed in 1268, which ended the Second Nilfgaard War between the Northern Kingdoms and the Nilfgaardian Empire. This adventure begins in the free city of Novigrad, ruled by Hierarch of the Church of the Eternal Fire, Cyrus Engelkind Hemelfart, a grizzled old man, noted racist and religious leader of the North. Novigrad is known as a free city, which means that even though it's located in the Kingdom of, Tamer of, the Kingdom of Redania, it is not subject to their ruler and, and they make their own decisions without having to ask permission. This city is one of the major ports on the continent and populated by nearly 30,000 inhabitants. Like any true metropolis, Novigrad has many factories and is home to all manner of craftsmen, offering everywhere possible, including the occasional con man or shady dealer. The city is home to numerous banks and even has a zoo, which is a very rare commodity. The Eternal Fire is said to protect the city's inhabitants from all evil, monsters included. The thick city walls have never been breached, as they were tactfully designed by the architects of the Oxenford Academy. Novigrad is inhabited by an unusually colorful group of both permanent residents and those in town on long and short-term visits, most eye-catching amidst the, the throngs of common townsfolk, stallkeepers and craftsmen, are those practicing the more roguish professions. There is no army in the city, but it does have a secret service, an ever-present temple guard, and a powerful temple fleet. This adventure begins with a group of five witchers meeting up in a tavern in Novigrad called the Golden Sturgeon. It's about noon and there's several patrons having their lunch, but other than that, it's quiet. The tavern is fairly basic, um, and we'll start with our five witchers all arriving semi at the same time and meeting each other in front of the door to enter this establishment. You all got summoned by a letter written, uh, signed by the letters VR, and it spoke of a very important matter. The letters got sent to all known witcher schools in the realm with the help of magic, and each school decided to send one of their members to go check it out. The letter reads as follows. Dear recipient, I hope this letter finds you well. I cashed in on a few favors to get this letter sent to your school. There's something strange happening near the village of Yantra, a few hours east of Novigrad. The village is being terrorized by monsters, not one, but multiple. And witnesses spoke of several types of monsters all working together. This is unlike anything I've ever seen, which is why I decided to reach out to witchers. There's a handsome crown reward in it for whoever takes up the contract. What I want is for someone to go investigate and put a stop to whatever it is that is going on. Upon completion of the contract, there will be 150 crowns waiting for each, uh, for each person that takes up the contract. Oh, and I know this is unlike the way you witchers usually work, but given the danger of the contract, there might be several witchers from different schools all working together on this. Just whoever meets me, play nice. If interested, meet me at the Golden Sturgeon in Novigrad. Ask the barkeep for the pint of the day. She'll know what it means. We'll talk more details there. 
So with that letter... What was the last thing to say that they'll know what it means? Pint of the day. Ask for the pint okay. of the day. Did okay. you say it was signed VR, sorry? VR. Yes, yeah. VR. So with that, uh, each school decided to send one... Um, send one witcher that wasn't on a contract already that way. Which is where you five come in. You all, like I said, meet in front of the, the door to this establishment at roughly the same time. And um, we're going to just quickly go through some character descriptions. So, Ismera, would you like to start by describing what your character looks like? Um, so... Y'all actually probably won't notice her until the last minute, because she is very much a skulker, literally, like, it's one of my feats. Um, <laughs> but she's just very much, like, sticks to the shadows, makes herself as small as she can. Um, but when you do see her, under her hood, she's got bright red hair and bright green eyes with yellow flecks. Of course, the cat pupils. Um, she's, again, very small, very pale, like, doesn't go out very much other than to kill monsters. Um, and she has, uh, a little pet mouse that hides in her hood, uh, named Set. And he's just a little white mouse that sticks with her. And she, like, he's pretty much the only one that she talks to regularly outside of the witcher that trained her. Otherwise, she's very quiet, very kept to herself. I just picture you being like Aragorn and Fellowship, where we're not going to actually see you until the camera decides <laughs> to notice you. But you've been sat in the like in a dark yeah, right. corner, shadowy table the whole time because you're supposed to be exactly. all of a sudden. We'll just notice someone sat there when it becomes maybe not important. quite as imposing, but yeah, definitely <laughs> that vibe. Like for monsters, you know, it's the whole you don't see her until it's too late. You know, <laughs> so nice. Okay. All right, Denny. Would you please describe what your character looks like for us? So my character's name is Corneal, and uh, the individual is, I mean, and we're we're all playing humans for this. Um, uh, my gentleman is, he he walks with a bit more a, a bit of confidence, like he's a, a bit more of he understands that he's here for a job and walks with a certain etiquette to him. He's got clean cut hair that is well kept and falls down his back and down the front in braids. Um, he wears a long, dark cloak beneath it, the uh, studded leather armor that's quite common for uh, witchers. But the uh, the cloak itself has some, like, tendrils that kind of look like it had once been part of a uh, a monster of some kind, and he's fashioned it into this, uh, into this trench coat. Um, he wears gloves that cover his hands, and... Uh, He's, he's dark, but he's not unapproachable in the way he presents himself. He, of course, has the bright yellow eyes with the cat slits and uh, a chin strap beard that comes into a goatee. Okay. <clears throat> Laura, would you like to go next? Yeah. Um, so the, the, the eyes that we all have, those yellow, yellow cat eyes, um... When she walks in, very, very tall, uh, like 6'1", six, 6'2", six, uh, black hair, um, cut short, fairly cropped, with a very, um, uh, not necessarily, like, feminine look to it. Uh, very, very broad nose, thin lips, kind of big ears, don't really look that, like, like they don't really fit her face. Very broad-shouldered completely flat chested if you see her on your periphery or even necessarily if you if you're only looking at her straight on but for like a second or two you would probably believe especially with the chain shirt and the weaponry you would very much believe she's a man most likely if you were to assume gender <laughs> um uh until you get closer and you'll see the the wolf medallion she wears like a choker around her neck and then under the chain shirt has like black long sleeves that do the thing where they come like the v over your hand with the ring like that pointed <laughs> like feminine-esque long sleeve so there are these little feminine touches hidden throughout but it's really not enough to really offset a lot of the more unfortunate physical features that she has all put together 
And a very, very big greatsword on her back. Think like Cloud, Final Fantasy VII, almost level and absurdity big. <laughs> but the hilt and the guard of the blade have these like metal vines like wrapping around it. Ooh. Okay. I love it. Wait, uh, So you see Wilhelm is this like five foot seven, five foot eight, big burly man. Balding a bit, brown hair, really unkept beard, when you hope that it's mud on his face. <laughs> <laughs> you tend to smell Wilhelm before you see him. <laughs> oh no. Um, he's got this big, heavy plate armor, two huge great swords on his back, and a big sort of belt that looks almost like it's on fire, and just sort of like crackles with this flames around him. And you can see it looks like a cloak coming out the back, but it's definitely, like, torn, muddy. Everything about him, you would say, like, this guy needs a shower or seven. <laughs> well, well. Good, good, good. Beanie. Uh, I am playing Demond, who looks quite young. Like, maybe early 20s at most. Uh, he's about 5'5", five, five, uh, has this long dirty brown, uh, blonde hair that's that's braided at the back that then is hidden down the back of his cloak. Um, he has his School of the Viper medallion on as an earring on one side and uh, has hide armor, uh, a very dark cloak that's pretty much wrapped all the way around with a couple of belts on it and there is a bow hanging from his back. Very thin, very gaunt. Okay. <clears throat> so... Like I said, it is about noon, and you all kind of collectively gather in front of the door to this establishment. And I just, uh, I just say, take it away. I go to reach the door handle first and just go, oh, sorry, sorry, excuse me, sorry. So, uh, what we got here? Uh, well, I'm, I'm guessing I'm... most of our medallions are visible yeah. in some way. So, yeah. like, I'm just going to be like... Is. Mine definitely is. Yeah, mine's like... Yeah, mine definitely is. <laughs> I, I uh, keep my Griffin medallion out as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to... Well, I think we're all here for the same reason. <laughs> oh. Yes. I believe we've all been contracted for some work. Seems that way. Shall we uh, go to the barkeep? Or do you want to do introductions first? I mean, I'm Wilhelm. My friends call me Will. So no one calls me Will. My name's Wilhelm. Call me Will and fucking die. <laughs> well, know, well nice to option. meet you. I'm Brianna. What? Dremel. <laughs> Corneal. Oh, I'm and sorry. I, I, just... I was waiting for the, the ES at the end, because that's more common, but it, it's just Corneal. Yes, just Corneal. Okay. That's cool. Unique. I like it. Um, I'm Ari MZ. I... Oh my goodness, there's a fifth person here. <laughs> yes, sorry. Uh, Ari is fine. That's very impressive. And she you just like, with your hair. Back. Your hair is so stunning. Because <laughs> I'm guessing there's little bits of red peeking out from your hood. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna like tuck it back <laughs> as much as she can. <laughs> The humid day just pops out. You see her, you see Set like poke out a little bit while she's like tucking her hair back. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll enter. Wait, Introductions what? out of the way. Mouse? What What about. Did, did I completely miss Ethan's introduction? Yes, you did. Oh my god, oh, he what was is just happening? Quick and brief. Dremond literally looks at the group and goes, Dremond. Okay. Then, <laughs> that's as much as you get. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I think we just got a donation. Let me quickly... We the, did, The sound Jesse. was off. Hell yeah. For some reason, but let me quickly pull that up. I think I already know what Jesse wants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesse, thanks so much for the fiver. Uh, Jesse would like the person with the gruffiest voice to say, Wind's howling. Who would we say that is as a group? That's a great question. Not me. <laughs> it, I feel like it falls to Denny. Or me. It's either, either Denny or Tremond. Uh, either Corneal or Tremond, probably. Yeah. Beam throwing me under the bus. Mm -hmm. 
We can both do it. It's for charity. You know what? I'm down with that. <laughs> but are All you right. going to have to work it into conversation? Like No, it just said it's a player, not character, so. Oh. Wind's howling. Wind's howling. Why nice. did Ethan sound like he was like coming on to someone and then he just sounded like a dramatic person? <laughs> Wind's howling. Beautiful. I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, beautiful. Thank you so much for the for the fiver for charity, Jesse. Much appreciated. Go, right. Falika. All right, so go in inside, baby. Yeah, go inside. Okie dokie. Uh, as you enter uh, the Golden Sturgeon, you can see several patrons having their lunch. But other than that, it's it's relatively quiet. The tavern is fairly basic and seems to have an upstairs area. About five or six tables set up. Uh, three of which occupied, and there's a young human woman with auburn short hair standing at the bar, wearing fairly common clothing, colored white and green. As you enter, immediately all the patrons just collectively not stare at you, but more like glare at you as you all enter. Oh, good. Um, I'll be which... hiding behind the biggest person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a couple of them start whispering among themselves. Um, um, do you you feel looked at? I stride up to the bar. Put my hand down firmly. Five pints of the day, please. Is that so? All right. That would be so. And uh, she'll um, reach under the, under the bar and just... <clears throat> Puts a, puts a key, like, on the bar. you find that upstairs in room number three. Thank you. And I'll... Go up, start heading the kind of look, turn around, and just kind of wave a little key and... Go to... Go up the stairs. I will follow. Same, but yep. I'm gonna take a look around and see, like, just kind of, like, clock everybody. Because, um, of course, we know. We know everybody's going to be staring. So I just kind of yeah. like want to meet some eyes and freak people out. Uh, <laughs> as you do, a couple of people definitely like immediately like look back at their plates or, or like kind of like get flustered and like, oh. Um, as you all kind of move towards the staircase, you can hear one person in particular just like very obviously <laughs> on the spits on the floor as you walk by. While we're walking up the stairs, too, I want to um, uh, just be walking uh, either in front of or next to whoever I can get to walking with REMZ, whoever she'll let me. So I'm assuming she's going to try and be, like, lurking at the back. Um, like, can I can I call you Ari? Or, like, would that would that be rude? I don't I don't want to be rude, but I think that'd be super cute. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm used to it. Ari's fine. Amazing. <laughs> I'm just keep walking. If anything, she's hiding behind you. Right, yeah. yeah, I'm probably just hiding. You're probably you are... like asking me over your shoulder, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like that way. <laughs> I'll no one to be behind, will help. No, I'll turn around as well as she, Laura. You don't seem like you're being very, very quiet, are you? No, I wasn't like, I'm not like yelling, but I'm not trying to hide that vocalization. I'm, I'm gonna turn around to be like, well, you're quite friendly, aren't you? <laughs> Well, I mean, just because everyone thinks we're so unfriendly doesn't mean we have to be. I mean, why why behave like the stereotype, you know? I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's different. If it makes you feel any better, I don't usually get treated any differently anyway. It hasn't really worked yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting oh. for, like, like, I'm just waiting for Laura to, like, get sick of her own voice. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god! Laura, I'm waiting for Laura to get a nat twenty and just be like, yes, yes, yes. 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 Oh my god! Okay. Jokes on you. That's my battle cry when I run in and swing a sword. Actually, so yes. <laughs> Alrighty, as you as you guys make it to the stairs uh, and, and you go up the stairs, they creak a bit under uh, under the weight of your uh, of you guys getting up on them. Um, the upstairs area. Relatively small. There's there's four rooms total, each of them numbered. There's two on the left hand side, two on the right hand side, and there's just like very big numbers on each of them, one through four. 
I'll go to number three. All right. Put the key in. And as you uh, put the key in and, and, and turn it to unlock the door, uh, you you start to hear as a response some like shuffling from uh, from inside the room. I will very slowly like open up the door and look inside. Okay. <clears throat> as you look inside, uh, you can see a man sitting on a chair at a table, uh, wearing blue tinted armor, a brown hat. Um, are you proficient in history, perchance? Am I proficient in history? You know that I'm not. No. Okay. Um, uh, do you kind of like open the door so that the rest can see, or is it just like open door, put your head in, and that's uh, like how are you doing? I'll this? open it. If if I just see the silver man, I'll kind of open it all the way. Like I just do a quick little peek <clears> and kind of fully open. Okay. Um, anybody that is proficient in history, or uh, hmm. no one? Me. You? Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll a history check. First roll. Uh, 24. 24. You recognize the armor to be uh, the armor that soldiers of Temeria wore. Uh, what you also know is that uh, during the war between Nilfgaard and the Northern Kingdoms, Temeria fell and the kingdom doesn't exist anymore. But you, some loyalists still wear the armor because they believe that one day Temeria will rise again. Noted. Uh, as the door swings open, the man kind of kind of gets up and uh, looks at you all. All right, come in, come in. No, enter. Same. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, I didn't expect five of you. Um, I suppose you're here for the contract, yeah? Yeah. Would you like the door shut behind us, please? I shut the door. All right. Name's Vernon Roach. Um. I'll, I'll be brief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all, you're all witches. You've you've dealt with monsters and and, and the swords before, so I'll get to the point. I'm sure, you've read the letters sent to you and uh, or to your schools rather. I'll just like take the letter out of my yeah. bag and just like kind of hold it up. Same. Very mm -hmm. good. A few hour, a few hours east of here lies a village called Yantra, small farming village, or so it was. Now most people have fled, and the majority of the place is destroyed. People I spoke to said that their town was being plagued by monsters, plural, different kinds. It seemed like a witchy job to me, so I reached out, and due to the fact that different kinds of monsters are all working together, I figured a team-up of our own would be required. It's not your typical Leshian or Drowner attack. I'm talking a lot of brutal monsters that normally would never work together, but are now doing exactly that. What I want for you is to visit the village of Yantra, see what you can find out, slay the monsters involved, and stop whatever or whoever is causing this unlikely team-up. And meet me back here when the job is done, with evidence of the monster slain. Heads will suffice. Any questions? You have something we can bring the heads back in? Because they're kind of bulky and often viscous at times, and transporting them could them. be... But, but what if there's, like, more okay. than five of them? Or more than ten of them? Well, two hands. I think the gentleman with the uh, the nickname that he doesn't want used is probably going to be more than uh, accepting and carrying the lot of them. Well, I mean, so I've got some bags for you if that makes your life a little easier. I'll take one if you're offering it. Yeah, sure. You need them. He hands you uh, two, like, you know, like, like like those old like potato bags kind of thing. Like, like burlap sack style. Yeah, like, like How many monsters yeah. did Wilhelm wear one of those when uh, he was down on his And he lot. hands you uh, two of them. Oh. <laughs> That, that's a blanket, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's a house, my guy. Yeah, you know that, that's, that's free real estate. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can hand it to uh, Burlap Sacks. Cool. I mean, I'll... I, I do have another question. Of course. Um, you're saying multiple monsters are working together. Would you require a head from each different kind that is present? Um, If you can, yeah. See, I, I, I trust. I, I've experienced with witches. I know that they, when they take up a contract, they either fulfill it or die, right? That's typically the way you operate. Um, you don't really back out of a contract that easily. But um, a bit of, you know, never worked with you a lot before. A bit of uh, proof of all the things you've slain would be, you know, makes me rest easier at night after paying you. 
How far away is it we're traveling? Uh, the answer is about three hours. Okay, east. that's fine. It's not going to be a bag of goop. No, it should be fine. Three hours, and is that not this place worried about any incursion? Oh, well, it's part of the reason why uh, I reached out. Um, you know, even though my kingdom fell, um, I, uh, our northern brothers of, of Redania have, have, have adopted us and, and, and taken care of us, and when I heard word of this, this, this strange occurrence, I figured I have some connections, worked at witchers before, and had some favors to cash in on with some witches and mages to, to make sure that letters could be sent to all of your schools, since I don't know the locations. Um, the, the, if this keeps going, then chances of it spreading throughout the kingdom to other places are very likely, which is why I'd like you to nip it in the bud before it gets to that point. Sounds good. Sounds doable. All right. Um, one thing I know you guys, you know, you, you've experienced with a plethora of monsters. Um, one thing that I did manage to learn from a particularly shook um, villager was that um, whenever the attack happened, this this unnatural thick fog appeared out of thin air. That's, that's really all I've been able to learn. The rest of the investigation is going to have to be up to you. Does the idea of a thick fog appear and ring any bells? Absolutely. Uh, make a... Um, hmm, I'd say make a nature check with advantage. Nature? Oh, that's not good for me. Well, you all, you get advantage anyway if it falls under the bestiary knowledge perk we have at our level, uh, which is advantage on nature rolls when it's related to monsters. That's, what that's a 17. 17. Uh, you know that... A natural, a naturally thick fog typically correlates to foglets. Um, you also know that there's different kinds of foglets that vary in power, uh, but some kind of foglet seems uh, seems like name doesn't sound very intimidating. That sounds like a cute pet. What sort of name is that? Look, 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 look at my new foglet oh, and the cute. Oh my God, the keep pet <laughs> Daddy, I was... Are you saying this out loud, Laura? <laughs> no, no, that that, okay, that okay, was okay. a Laura. She has one in her handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Have a one full of pets. I mean, they're, they're pretty big, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty big handbag. She's a big lady. <laughs> I, yep. Fair enough, fair enough. So that, 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 that screams foglet, or at least it's a <laughs> variation of foglet to you. Okie dokie. Anything else you want to know before you set off, or...? I start edging to the... Sorry, I just googled that. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. Because I'm just going to put it out there. I know nothing about the Witcher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to just Google, uh, Google image search. And These five yeah, I, I, I just Google image. I'm not looking and up what's they pull up, on them. So they pull out their phones and they all start Googling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, creepy looking. What? Hor yeah. oh, horrific. What the fuck? Like, like, Which weird little, like, uh, weird image, creepier yeah. golems. Like, Why'd you call it a foglet? What the yeah, fuck right? Because yeah. they manipulate fog. It's crazy, man. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> like, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> That's fucked. It, that's fucked. Um, what what kind of damage befell uh, Yantra? Um, about half the village is uh, laid to ruin. A lot of people died. You know, people that weren't able to flee died. Um, some people stayed behind, uh, you know, didn't want to leave their, their their farms behind or whatever. Doubt any of them are still alive, but who knows. Alright, so we're considering there's building damage as well. Mm. And probably, you know, messed up fields and whatnot. It's, I, I'm not sending you there with the hopes of, you know, recovering a village that is, you know, fit for people to move right back in, but at least take care of the threat so that the village can be rebuilt, I suppose. And of course, if you've managed to find any survivors, then you could give them a hand that would be appreciated. Alright. Anybody else have anything? I open the door. Alright. 
I'll be uh, jokes on you. There. I'm in front of the door because I snuck in last, <laughs> so I open the door. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I would go to open the door because I wouldn't you see you. Forget she was even there. Open the door, opens, and you see Harry Hemsey just opening. Like, oh yeah, fuck. <laughs> jokes on you. I'm gonna donate. I didn't make it in the room because Cornel closed the door. the door on me in the first place. <laughs> jokes on you. I'm gonna donate ten dollars to make it so there was never a door. <laughs> <laughs> how far? How deep does this go? How deep does this go? <laughs> no, man. No, I donate 15 no. to be the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, to $20. I, $20 well, to make it a door there. from Legends of Vox Machina. Therefore, it cannot yes. be opened. Because it is Come on, chat. Need us. <laughs> we, keep, we, keep on, we keep on pulling at the door to push. <laughs> you joke? I genuinely had to explain to a small child at work yesterday how doors work because they kept pulling. Oh nice my god. And could not get out. All right. Oh my God. So you, uh, you all take your leave, and, and Vernon kind of shouts at you before you uh, leave the room. I'll be staying here for the next couple of days. Just find me whenever you're done. <laughs> Silently. Just <laughs> fucking rude. <laughs> just a nod and then a... As he does that, I'm just going to... That was kind of rude. <laughs> you could have Probably. said bye. I will look her dead in the eye and just be like, bye. <laughs> and then walk Are you going somewhere? Actually, she genuinely asks. Walk downstairs. Just does. <laughs> well, Listen. we've got three hours ahead of us then. We could play some icebreakers on the way. Get to know each other a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, it looks around. No end. <laughs> I'm good about forgetting all of you the second this is over. Oh, uh, you're no fun. <laughs> I just don't like people. There's a difference. But you know very well that we're not people, right? The collective. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And I walk up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to have a person like him around. It'll be easy to have some uh, quick wins in the mind category. <laughs> be a bit better if we could get him to take a bath first. Mm. I leave with the smell lingers. Yes. <laughs> Imagine the anime conventions, that kind of like oh God. lingering. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Daddy. The kind of person that's uh. like, you know, going, going to a week at long convention, never gets out yeah. of cosplay and just doesn't shower. I was going to say the, the BO of cosplayers who can't wash their costume, but wear it for the whole con. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that. The dedication. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> dedication, but also, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, Is there any also, ye old axe body spray in this place we can grab for him? It could be for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's just literally an axe. <laughs> it's an axe with the top lifts off. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. So, um, you guys set off. About a, a three hour trek. Uh, anything you guys wish to do or, or discuss along the way? I'm just gonna try um, and get them to play travel games with me the whole time, like I Spy or like 20 Questions or something, and <laughs> I will keep trying, regardless of whether anyone wants to or not. REMZ is just pulling out like the most random, tiny, like peanuts, sunflower seeds, like little bits of paper, and just like periodically feeding them to set. And, like just letting him munch on the way. Sometimes Jill like take a bite too, and it's like not always the seeds, not the paper. Actual like food. Like sometimes it is the paper. <laughs> <laughs> does she, she just... look phased by the paper, or does she just have the same? Oh no, she's as, like, just like she's chilling with her mouse. Like she's good. <laughs> Remind me how you wear your medallion. Just a what necklace. Just, oh, it's it's well, a well, longish necklace. One of the times I catch you feeding the mouse, I'm like. Does does he ever have a problem with that? You know, because because he's a mouse and and that's a cat and it's just, it's just a weird a weird pairing. You know, I I don't think mice understand necklaces. No, but it it still looks like a thing that is that historically speaking, it doesn't like. It's just fun. Does does it bother you, Set? And she's like looking at him, and he just looks at you, and then scurries away <laughs> under my hood. <laughs> I just I go. Mean, I get that a lot. I, <laughs> I keep walking. Anxiety. 
never fucking is... loved or hated a character so much at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of comparable to when, say, a normal person were to look at a bestiary, and they're likely not going to run away from a book, right? But if they were confronted with the real monster, then it's a case to run away. Yeah. It just seems funny, you know? Just like, you know, one of those weird oddities. Like, you think, think you have maybe something else that cats like for, for a pet, but... <laughs> I tried to let them get like give me a wolf pup, but they they wouldn't let me. They they, they I wasn't allowed to, to run around with one. Hmm. Oh, I I found set in my school. One of the times I was hiding. Checks out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was close to having a griffin. I mean, we all have to in the griffin school retrieve a griffin egg in order to finish our trials so we don't get to keep it oh that would that would be so annoying it's like make, have it in your hands you go through that whole thing and you can't even keep it mm -hmm. I have to fight the, a bear bare handed like, <laughs> like Corneal's like participating in this conversation though there's still like a little bit of that stoicism and it's like if there wasn't talking, he'd be fine with it, but he doesn't, like, want to be entirely rude. Yeah, this is... REMC's pushing herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you kind of keep traveling, this journey takes you through the green grasslands of Redania. Uh, on the road, you encounter the occasional traveling trader making their way to the free city to do business. Uh, about halfway through your travel, so say like an hour and a half, give or take. Um, who is like leading? Like who is who is the one in front? Would you say? Not I'm me. either at the front or at the back. There is no in between. I'm I, just no, just no will I will me. lead in such a way that I can try and avoid conversation. I was going to say it's probably Demond or Wilhelm. <laughs> yeah, Wilhelm will be yeah. at the back then because he knows he doesn't like pee. He knows he changes depending on which way the wind's blowing, and we tell Basically, him. Basically, yeah. <laughs> which like, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, make a perception check for me then. Perception. Yes. Ooh, sixteen. Sixteen. Um, like I said, about halfway through your travel, you smell a change in the air. The scent of blood starts to penetrate your nose. And as you kind of scan the horizon to see where it could potentially come from, you notice off the road uh, near some woods nearby a, uh, a cart, a broken down cart. Um, and the closer you get to kind of be like perpendicular with, with that cart, the, the stronger the scent of blood becomes to a point where eventually all of you begin to notice. Well, Who's going to have a look? Good. I'll go. I just kind of. I will draw my bow. I'll say I'll draw my, uh, my silvered greatsword. Okay. And just two hands, just sort of walk up, just sort of trudge. Actually, I'll hold. I'll hold it in one, and just kind of trudge up. Okay. <clears throat> like clocking everybody's weapons that they've got. I don't draw any of mine. <laughs> it's just a normal bow. I'm going to put that in a pouch on my hip and put my hand on my short sword hilt. Okay. Uh, Wilhelm, mm -hmm. as you kind of get closer to the cart, um, you can see that this cart uh, completely ran, like just completely torn apart. Uh, definitely not by human uh, or, or humanoid um, uh, creatures. Uh, there's large claw marks on the cart, one of the wheels has been just kind of like torn off, and there is a pool of blood. And I rec do I recognize like the claw markings and what might make it such a. Um, make a nature check with advantage because uh, you're trying to determine what could have done this, right? It falls to oh, your knowledge of the beast thank here and your experience. Oh, I had advantage. Uh, that is a f 15. 15? Um,. Besides the claws, um, there's a lot of creatures out there that prey on people traveling the roads. Also a lot of creatures out there with claws, so it's a bit hard to narrow it down. Um, so you 
hazard a guess and <clears throat> say either some kind of ghoul or perhaps something along the lines of um, uh, the more insectoid creatures you've come across, like uh, like like variations of Kikimor or perhaps even uh, even certain types of hags are known to have pretty sharp claws as well. Uh, looking at the blood, does it seem like super, super fresh or like a couple of hours old? Make a medicine check. Oh, good. Plus zero to this. <laughs> Nine. You're not sure. Um, some of the blood in like the, the less like the, the less deep puddles has begun to coagulate a little bit. Um, it's kind of hard for you to determine how I fresh this blood is. Do. You do notice, though, as you get closer, that there's definitely a trail, like, mm. leading into the woods nearby. I'll kind of... Cool. I'll call back to the others if they aren't, like, right next to me. Doesn't seem like it's here. There's a trail, though, if you want to follow it. Does, does this feel like it would be getting close to where our destination was? We're about halfway, I think. <clears throat> uh, you're about halfway there. You know that um, the woods that Wilhelm seems to be pointing out don't bring you closer to Yantra by any means. Um, so, based on that, you think this is just some some monster attack that doesn't really have anything to do with uh, the business you're going to or the construct you're on. Um, Wilhelm, it um, this seems like an unrelated attack. Fair is enough. the damage like severe? It's fucked. <laughs> it's fucked. Yeah. I mean, we could always just go to Yantra, do that first, and then hit this on the way back. Because I mean, like, we don't know how many monsters are gonna be there. We just know multiple. Like it could be a horde situation, and I like to be at you know, just full full strength, nice and refreshed going in there, rather than risk tiring ourselves out now on this when we know we're literally walking into a bigger fight. This could be one of those monsters straying from their territory too. All right, perhaps so they could uh, be back there. Perhaps a middle ground. We can begin to investigate and maybe not engage whatever it is, but maybe learn possibly a little more. That's if it's plan. more than we care to deal with. We go back and head to Yantra. Uh, I will look. How will... Does it look like the tracks that I see go quite far, or do they look like... like the woods, it look uh, it's about like a couple minutes of walking, and you reach like the, the, the woods, and uh, as soon as you, if you choose to, like, do you actually go, like, make your way, like, do a couple minute walk to get to the woods, or are you just kind of guesstimating? Oh, oh. Uh, oh. I'll start talking kind of about, but I'm going to follow these for a little bit and see if they go anywhere if anyone wants to join me. I will walk along. I'll follow from a distance. And I... um, very well. I'll I'll come meet up with him because I don't exactly trust him to <clears throat> function. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> if we're in investigation mode, I think I might be more suited to accompany him. Uh, can I discern anything from the tracks? Um, make a nature check with advantage. They have feet. <laughs> I'm not good at nature. Uh, 50. Um, actually, for the sake of this, I'll allow you to use survival as well, if that's better. Can I use the same roll? Sure. Instead of that 15, it's a 22. Uh, you recognize the tracks. You've fought creatures like these before. Uh, these are Al Ghul uh, tracks. Owl ghoul. Owl ghouls, you know, are uh, a, a stronger type of ghoul. They 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 walk on four legs. Uh, their front two um, legs just like these monstrously big claws, um, jagged, rotten teeth. Very um, with a bit of imagination, the head definitely looks human-ish. Um, it's back covered in a variety of, uh, of, of of spikes that you also know if they feel threatened, they can um, 
grow these spikes to, to be a lot bigger and form a bit more of a defense for themselves. Uh, you also know that ghouls and al ghouls, they are known as uh, creatures that uh, have an insatiable hunger and the only thing they feed on is people, whether they are dead or alive. Can I discern a rough number from the tracks? And if so, does that number sound like too many for us? Um, there's a lot of tracks. Um, you discern that there's at least three. Uh, which, for one Witcher, might be a threat, but surely for five, it should be very manageable. I will look at, I think it's Wilhelm. And Let me roll that. Okay. Is everyone coming? <clears throat> I think so, yeah. I know yeah, Ari's, yeah, yeah. Ari's at the back, like, yeah. trailing. Okay, I will just look at the group and I'll say, our goals, three or more. I like how straight to the point you are. Well, I'll go three or more. What do we say? Go. Easy work, is... but not paid work. Do they do they typically group together? Elgul's like with our training, or are they solitary creatures, or do they oh, travel? They, in... they they travel in in packs. Uh, those, okay, so this they, this they, isn't abnormal very rare behavior. To see okay. They see... Okay. Because if they were traveling, if, if it was abnormal for them, then I'd think maybe they were from, like, the the larger conglomerate up ahead, but they're probably not in this instance. You know, I just had a thought as well. Um, by the nature of them, since they're attacking people or corpses, if Yantra is experiencing a lot of dead, these might very well end up there if we don't deal with them now. Become a bit more, more of a threat and hard true. to deal with. Get out of the way. I guess. All Seems right. logical. Or from Yantra. Well, if I'm not logical, I'm still handsome. So let's go. <laughs> I'm neither. I'm neither. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed. <laughs> but you are it skilled. Gives you like this really like dirty look. Just proper like. <laughs> and fucking just, I'll, I'll take Wilhelm kind of like, not storm off in like a strop, but definitely he's a little bit heavier footed than he was early. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, as you get to the edge of the woods proper, all of your medallions begin to begin to hum and, and start to vibrate, uh, okay. which you know indicates that there's monsters nearby. The eyes on your respective medallions start to, start to glow a bit as you get closer. Joke's on you, mine doesn't have eyes. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> with for you, is very. you just feel this like vibrate on one of your, like this vibration on one of your ears, which is a very weird sensation, but you've, you've got accustomed <laughs> to it over the, over the, over it's, the years. Uh, so the, the actual loop that goes through uh, Demon's ear is padded. <laughs> As in like... So you just never know when monsters are around. No, so like around. he feels it, but like it's not enough to like make it any sort of noise or. Hmm. Um. As you kind of. Mine choose... is ringing against my breastplate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what Devin didn't want. Yours is like. I I, I tuck it in. Mine doesn't vibrate against my, shirt. my like chain shirt, but if I try and talk, it would be like when you try and talk and you like something like vibrating on you, like, or, like you're talking through a like, fan. Runs. Yeah, it'd be like that like buzzy noise. My voice would like shake. Ah, if I tried to talk, yeah. <laughs> God damn it! I'm gonna try and stay as close to the middle of this group as I can. Okay. Yeah, can we get a marching order we, for the sake of this? I'll be at the front. Before we I'll do, do we know if these creatures require silvered weapons or non-silvered weapons? A uh, general like rule of thumb is uh, steel is for the humans, silver is for the monsters. But I forgot to ask with that, you beforehand with if the great sword I took is silvered or not. With that said, uh, if you have some very like potent enchanted weaponry, I'm not gonna punish you for using it because it's cool. So like it's fine. But, it, because D and D rules. Magic. Because D and D okay. rules. Yeah. No. All right. You can. It's fine. Magic weapons are the equivalent of silver. Yeah. So, yeah. so for yeah. marching order, I guess Wilhelm would have been going in first because of your little mini, not a strop at all. 
that you yeah. took off oh, in. It's not. His it's attitude focused. really stinks. <laughs> oh. That's what you get with six charisma, baby. Oh. <laughs> six charisma. You want to go there, my guy? I got five. <laughs> wow. Oh, that Beautiful. explains the words. <laughs> oh. That does explain a lot, huh? <laughs> I am our face, aren't I? I, I so. really like... I went with that satire of garbage, so... Yeah, you charismatic, but you just don't talk, so... You know what's funny? That's, it's I like what's yours? 12. Okay, okay oh. I am the face. I've got a 14. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> but the next most likable one is the one that you all, out of out of character, are annoyed with. That's not <laughs> <what it is. laughs> Okay, so, uh, marching order. Um, Wilhelm, you, you were leading, you said? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ari will probably be in the back. I, I'd be probably either middle or like close to the front. Once we made a decision, I'm like, all right, I'm good. Just I will go alongside. Go with Brianna. it. Okay. So all right. I guess Wilhelm ahead, then oh. Brianna, then and then Cornel. My um silver Ari. great sword to bring out like my vicious one instead. Okay. As I... you kind of, you don't have to go far. And, and as you traverse the initial, like, tree line, the vibration of your medallions becomes more and more violent. Um, and it takes you maybe a minute or so of walking before you start hearing... <laughs> coming from the nearby... Um, like, a nearby clearing. And as you kind of, like, look past some, some bushes and shrubbery... Uh, you can see five Al Ghouls just, just feasting Aww. feasting on on three uh, human corpses. They're hungry. Can I begin attempting to try and sneak round to the other side of them? Uh, make a stealth check. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, I feel like there's something I get with that. Let me just double check. Do, 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 do. Five into the witcher sounds right uh, now. Advantage on all stealth rolls, and if I move at half speed, I am silent. Oh, there you go. Uh, stealth 24. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I hate to do this to you. <laughs> Oh, no. One of them rolled no. a 25. Well, one of them rolled a natural 20. 20. Yeah, there it is. Oh, so as you game. begin to kind of like break off the group and you like are quiet as can be, but miss a tree branch as you're trying to carefully make your way around them and just it just snaps under your foot. And immediately this one algal just looks in your direction and just begins to... As I see, calling to attention the other four Algo, and they all just now look in your direction. As I see that they've kind of got attention, I'll kind of like charge forward and be like, Come here then, you bastards! <laughs> Alright, then I would like you well... all to roll initiative. <gasps> very oh, well. It. I'm rolling very out of character for me, for initiative. I, I, I wasted a natural I should, 20! I should have done a thing before this and didn't. Ooh. Man, first I'm playing this, uh, <laughs> this character. Yeah, yeah right, um, learning your, your abilities. Oh, uh, I get to oh, use no. my, my Book of Beautiful Horrors, which just has a lot of Witcher and Skyrim monsters just d and d Just, just don't it. bring nice. them into Dungeons like. No promises. Um, I'm waiting for the Elder Ring boss fight on us. Yeah, pop, pop, pop. I mean, with the current boss he's facing, I think we might face that soon. <laughs> We get to the it temple was... and there's just a yellow veil over the door. <laughs> Every time a new animal appears on Ismera's screen, I just get jealous and I'm like, I want to pet it! There's been like two cats, like... now there's a dog! Just... Yeah, this is Ranger. He's so cute. Oh, he's even got a class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Demon goes to the uh, My cousin and I found him walking through Texas, so. Oh, oh he's Ranger. real Ranger. Walking... Yeah. Oh god. Stop. <laughs> Cease. You can't blame me. I didn't make the pun. I just put the things together. Mm. Good job. I'm so proud. Whenever I uh, damn well Natty, please. what'd you miss? We're rolling initiative. We're about to get into our first combat. We're fighting some owl ghouls. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know each other. 
If I rolled a 10. Didn't... We sort of got to know each other. Oh, yeah, I suppose that's true. Uh, yeah, how do you, how do you guys yeah, do I, I took this count down, so did anyone get higher than 20? Me. I rolled a natural 20 for a total of 23. Right. Damn. 22. 22. 21. 21. So 23, 22, oh, 21. <laughs> <laughs> the one charging in first rolled real low. <laughs> That's just that's just the back of a special dude. I mean, Wilhelm. I mean, we knew Wilhelm was slow, so. Wait, twenty-two oh, was wow. Denny or was that Beanie? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was Denny. Twelve, and then I'm twenty-one. Or Neil, and then we got uh, Demond. Okay, anybody roll fifteen to twenty? Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh. I'm going last. Oh. How bad is it? I got a ten. You rolled a 10? Aww. <laughs> you Listen, I had to make sure that rules. Set was comfortable in his side pouch, okay? okay. You gotta adjust so every, every, every time Demon sees... Uh, every time Demon sees Set, he just, like, turns away. You're afraid of the mouse? You don't know. Find out. <laughs> Alrighty. That'd so, be amazing. With, the, with that, uh, Brianna. You get to go Hell first, yeah. as this pack of five all ghouls all uh, kind of clumped up together, just like hunched over, initially hunched over. Yeah. It's like these three corpses, they they all just turned and, and looked at uh, Demon's direction. But as soon as, um, as soon as Wilhelm like just ran and revealed himself, they kind of started to scout around and they've, they've seen pretty much every single one of you now. Okay. What would you like to do? How far oh, away are they? Uh, roughly 30 feet. They're pretty okay, close. So, yeah, move, okay. Um, just gonna grab one of the not the the fuck off sword on my back, the big old great sword with the vines, but just a, a regular silvered long sword from my hip, um, and just run right past Wilhelm and just get there first and beat him and just go for go for some slashy slashy at the nearest school. And I'm going to use um, the Witcher blade style, the fast style, because I'm two handing the long sword. Nice. So. Uh, uh, every turn, you can choose a Witcher blade style when you're attacking with a blade. Just you, and it applies to all attacks made in that turn. Is that mm -hmm. So, if you so, two hand, yeah, I'm two handing the longsword. Yeah, imagine imagine having a class feature for two handed, <laughs> and then getting a subclass that's built around two weapon fighting. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> first one is a um twenty two to hit. That hits absolutely. And so it's a D10 because I'm two-handing it. This woman's terrifying already. Um, so that's 11 slashing damage on the first one. And because we have an extra attack. So the second one, that's a dirty 20. That also hits, yeah. Nice. So the second attack is 15 slashing damage. Ooh. Uh, what was the first one again? Sorry. 11. The first one was 11. 11, 11 plus 15, so 26 total 26 slashing total. damage with the silver sword. Very good. So as you just run in and just two-hand your, your silver sword and just, just swipe at him, you, you, you draw blood uh, as, as a reaction. It just, it just snarls at you, and then you can see it immediately just, like, <laughs> grows the spikes taller and... And, mm -hmm. um, it, and then... It's kind of, like, kind of... Almost hear a bit of a whimper, like a bit of a okay. bit of a cry when upon initial impact, but when the spikes jut out, it just it just focuses in on you again and just starts snarling at you. Okay, and then I will yeah. bonus action uh, cast a Witcher sign and do my improved Quen Witcher sign. Okay, which makes me uh, give. So uh, you see, as I go for the sl like the slashes. Um, I that a, a shield also kind of like an invisible force fieldy, just some energy kind of I guess just pulses out for me, making this like the witchers probably would know what it is. No one else would know what's going on, but yeah. a little shield around me to make, make me more resistant to damage. Beautiful. That's my Perfect. turn. Alrighty, uh, Corneal. All right, I'm going to begin strafing around this clearing, so just kind of moving sideways to to kind of spread out attention. Mm -hmm. And um, as the uh, member of the Griffin School, I have extra magic. So I'm going to cast my own version of Igni, which is a firebolt. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so rolling the d20 
for a 27 to hit. That does it. Are you targeting the same one that Brianna is fighting, or are you just targeting a different one? Might as well. Okay. Yeah, that hits, absolutely. All right, and that's going to be... Well, I rolled a 1 on the 1d10, but <laughs> I am a fire elemental specialist, so that increases oh. to a 2 for a total of 5 fire damage. <laughs> Every bit of damage if, counts, you know? If these things were resistant to fire, I ignore it. Uh, they are not. So you typically, when when you see a witcher uh, cast Igni, it is just like a like a kind of like a cone thing that just kind of like comes out of their hand mm -hmm. and just, you mastering this particular sign, stay at a distance and just hurl a fireball like a, just a bolt of, of fire at this uh, at this algul. And upon impact, it just kind of it just kind of uh, in your direction, uh, but then turns its attention back to Brianna, who's who's face to face with it. No, no, keep your attention here. And I'm going to use my, my magic bracers to, as a bonus action, cast the same cantrip. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's nutty. With a flat 19. It's. Or better, seven fire damage. Okay. Very good. Uh, when you do that again, his attention does seem to shift towards you. Ooh. Well, give me your lad. <laughs> is that your turn? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Bless you. Is that your turn? Yes, I am finished. Okay. Uh, Demond. Uh, I'm going... I'm going to try and get around the other side of this group from Brianna. Yeah. I'm going to... Unbuckle my cloak and pull out my two very fancy scimitars. All right. Uh, I'm going to draw these scimitars out, and one of them just immediately ignites in fire. And then the other one has like a flash of draconic runes down the side, and the uh, the guard uh, just above the handle is two black dragon wings. Okay. And I'm going to run up to the one that's on the other side of this group. Yep. And I'm going to attack a bitch. Go for it. Uh, so my first attack is a 22 to hit. Hits. Okay. Do you want me to do attacks first or damage first? Uh, up to you. I don't mind. Okay. Uh, so that is... A shit roll. Um, so that's uh, five points of slashing damage. Okay. And five points of acid damage. Acid, all right. Mm -hmm. uh, it is also... Uh, it now has... Um, I'm going to choose to use my slasher feet. Mm -hmm. uh, so this one has uh, advantage on its attacks until my next turn. Uh, sorry, disadvantage on its attacks until my next turn. Okay. And it has 10 foot less movement than it would normally have. Cool. I'm gonna hit it again. 27. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> uh, that's another shit roll. So that's five points of slashing. And seven points of acid damage. All right, very good. And I'm gonna use my bonus action to two weapon fighting and hit it with the flame tongue scimitar okay uh that is a 17 uh, just hits okay uh that's um 10 points of slashing damage Ooh. and I nine points of fire damage 19 points of damage total damn yeah you uh you're messing this one up and it, it just immediately Starts snarling at you, and and just as the other one did upon upon getting hit by Brianna so much, just like whoosh, spikes just out and Ew, spiky. Looking, uh, it's it 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 starts snarling at you. It almost Super if you didn't know any better, it would almost seem that it's trying to intimidate you a bit. I snarl back at it. Just make an intimidation check, you know. It's not going to be good. <laughs> hey, you know, you can try. Let's fuck with it. Uh, minus one. If an algo could one. laugh. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, it smiles, but then just halfway through sneezes. Oh, the wind <laughs> is howling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God. 
Is that your turn? Show you my two weapon fighting. Yeah, that's my turn. All right, uh, Wilhelm. Oh, hell yeah. I will go up to one that hasn't been hit yet. Okay. So there's one per Witcher. How convenient. And then... <laughs> I will, as a bonus action, use uh, improved Axie. Okay. On the one in front of me. So it needs to make an intelligence saving throw. Oh, boy. Ha! That's a natural one. Cool. It oh. is now stunned. Okay. And then, as my action, I'll just take my big great sword and just start slashing into it on my first attack. Sounds good. Get an advantage because it's stunned. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's because it's me. It's great. No, 19 to hit. 19 hits. Yep. Cool. And then, because I'm two-handing this weapon, I get an extra damage die. Did you remember that 19 is a crit for you as well? It's not a crit for me until level 20. No. no. You have to use an action to get that crit You have to use an action, range. and for Ursa, you have to use a um, SB high, it's high level. I just looked it up. So I thought the same thing. Yeah, you have to use a action to think it. Anyway, uh, so that's 12. Fuck all my numbers. Oh, uh, and I used heavy style as well when I attacked. Got to okay. say. You know. So I just fucking new shit. Uh, all good, all good. I'm going to say now, I'm always using heavy style when I'm attacking. I'm just going to blanket statement. It's Sounds always good. heavy style. Sounds good, yeah. <laughs> um, that's 12, 16. That is for uh, 25. Which style did you say you always use? Heavy. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, that's 25? 25 points of damage. Yeah. Damn. Uh, and I mean, then it, I would, will... it would reactionary jut out the spikes, but it can't because it can't move or that's... do anything. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I will attack it again. Mm-hmm. My second attack. Is there a, um... Like, is there, like, a time limit on, on when it gets unstunned, or... I don't know all the... It doesn't you know. actually say. <laughs> In combat, the target is stunned should they fail their roll. That's all it says. Okay, I'm just gonna, I would I'm assume gonna, it's gonna, until your next turn. At the end with, of the turn. I'm just gonna go with that. Uh, at the end of the, their next turn, they can try and save yeah. out of it as most of those yeah. things go. Uh... I think this is going to hit, which is kind of depressing, but 16. 16 just misses, man. I rolled, so for both are rolls, I rolled, on my first one, I rolled an 8 and a 9. This one, I rolled a 4 and a 5. Nice. I am <sighs> consistent, if not anything. <laughs> uh, that will be my turn. All right, so you you run up and and stun him with your with uh, with one of your signs, and then just, just take take the, the big-ass swords you have. Did you two-hand it, or did you one-hand it? I two-handed it. I would two always, okay. as and much as I can, one-hand my great sword. I, was gonna say, I always can one-hand your two-handed weapons. Yeah, I get, I get far less like <laughs> I get far less shit with it though. It's cringe. Yeah, so you, you just just uh, heave up hand. and just go for this like downward chop, and just like you can see the blade just cleave into the back of this thing, and where it would normally, as a reaction, just like jut the spikes up to protect itself because of the fact that it's done, it can't. You then pull the blade out and go for a second one, but kind of misjudge. Um, the like momentum you have from bringing it back up and swinging down again and you barely just like chop next to it and just like poof, blade sinks into the ground and you pull it out again is that your turn yep all right uh one of the al ghouls that has not been um interacted with yet it's gonna have a look see around um i'm just gonna roll to see who he targets because he hasn't been bothered yet uh is going to let's see what's the camera order here hold on uh, it's gonna run up to uh, you, Corneal. Oh boy! Yeah. The face. <laughs> and as it runs up the to wizard. you, um, <laughs> it is going to uh, multi-attack and is going to swipe at you with both of his claws. All right. As it approaches, like my cloak kind of begins to vibrate, and it's almost like the point where there's two of me side by side. You're gonna mm -hmm. make them with disadvantage. Disadvantage. Okay. Very cool. Ordeal used agility. Uh, <laughs> with this advantage, that Double is a uh, that is a fifteen to hit. Oh, meat beats. Oh, <laughs> exactly. uh, cast a life. life. <laughs> um, and I would also like you, as you got hit by this, to make a Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, Ooh, cast a life. Never a good time. If it's against a poison effect, you have advantage. It's not. 
Dang it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I no, tried. Griffin. No. Oh, no. We're a total of six. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, so you take six points of slashing damage, okay. but also feel your muscles start to completely oh. lock up, and you are oh, rendered. Boy, I'm in trouble. You are rendered paralyzed. <laughs> I'm in sure trouble. Am. Yeah, you cannot move. You are rendered paralyzed. Um, <gasps> my cloak where I can't feel. <laughs> oh, shit. Cool. Um, it is going in for the second swing, and because you're paralyzed, uh, he gets uh, advantage. I took damage, so the Rude. function ceases functioning. Oh, no. Oh. And, and you can't move. Uh, and because you're paralyzed, so you paralyzed, it hits you. It's an auto crit as well, because <laughs> it's a melee attack. Um, oh, God. That is a 17. Brutal. No, yeah, 17 to hit. That'll do it. Okay. Grip me, baby. Get your five fellows ready to undo Crit the attack. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can do that, guys. Charity, charity stream. If you want to impact things, you gotta be quick though. Me. Like, if you if you wait too long until they've um, already rolled damage and they take it, like take, you gotta be quick on the draw with these. You take donations. eighteen points of slashing damage <laughs> in the second one. Ooh, I don't Ooh, like that. No. Mm. Hey, remember what I said about how maybe we don't fight them because we need to fight more things <laughs> later on. <laughs> oh, hey, that one time. guys, gosh. Counterpoint. We're now doing freelance work. <laughs> sure. yeah. um, Charity work. That even. Ends, yeah, this is pro bono. Uh, its turn. <laughs> uh, it is now the turn of the stone I'm also pro bono. All he can do is try and brilliant. save out of it. Was it a wisdom save, Quibble? Mm -hmm. It is uh, intelligence. <laughs> intelligence, gross. Uh oh, I don't Love think that. he has for smart. three, and it has no intelligence at all. So that's uh, he's still, well. he's still stunned. <laughs> cool. Um, the Al Ghul fighting uh, Brianna oh, uh, had his attention towards Cornel, but because it now sees that one of his one of his boys is dealing with you, returns focus to Brianna and is going to. Okay. Um, but she, I don't know, like, it, it can do more. I'm just, I'm just have a little Bring. bit of look here, you know? Um, it's going to multi-attack you, but only once with the claw, and is going in for a bite as well. Bring it. So for the claw attack, uh, well, that's a 10 to hit. No, misses. And the bite is a 18 to hit. Yep. Okay, so swipes at you with the claw, and you manage to just kind of, like, like, like duck down, and it just swipes over you. Um, but then it does go in for the bite, and it just kind of like manages to just take a take a nibble out of your arm. Uh, no. You take. I am resistant because of my Quen sign, so I'll take half damage. Very good. Um, <clears throat> man, that oh. was a terrible roll. Uh, you take seven half to uh, we round down, so three, three points of piercing damage because of your resistance. Dope. Uh, that was nothing. That was nothing. Okay. That's right. Uh, Ali MC. You get to play as Me? well. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Is there a place that I could stand to, like, potentially hit the Algols with a cone effect and not hit my friends? Or. Um, the way um, it kind of has gone is that there's. Say that these these algals are kind of like standing in a circle, right? Hmm. Uh, let's say the southern tip of the circle. There is, excuse me, got the hiccups. Uh, is is Brianna fighting one? Um, Demon kind of made an effort to move around that group and attack the other side, right? If I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on the left hand side, there would be uh, there would be Cornel. So if you kind of like wiggle yourself in between, say Cornel and Brianna, you'll be able to kind of cone. And and just missing, uh, uh, Demond on the on like just outside the edge of that. But that it's a fifteen foot cone. Fifteen so... foot. So you you yeah you'll get you'll get three of them. Okay, uh, then I would like to do that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's my improved art. Are these bonus actions again? Uh, if or you make an actions? attack, if you make an attack as your action, you can use any sign as a bonus action. Otherwise, in that action. case, <laughs> I want to shoot one first with my hand crossbow. Go for it. Uh, anyone in particular, or whichever looks the most hurt? Is that the one attacking Brianna? Uh, that would be the one attacking uh, Demond. Okay, or I'll attack by shoot Demond. for that one then. 
hasn't done anything himself yet. He just got wailed on by scimitars. Dirty 20. That Does hits. That hit? Noise. Okay, so it's... Ooh, nine piercing damage. Okay. And then... Thank you for that. And then I'll do my my improved ard. Okay. Uh, so they've got to make a strength save of... Wait for it. 12 plus something. 12. <laughs> just 12. Oh, just 12? Uh, I, have, um, I have a 10, I have an 11, and I have a 13. So okay. one of them makes a save, two of them fail. And then I need to remember what a d8 is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a die with eight sides. It's crazy. Ooh, it's <laughs> only... <diamond> <laughs> It's only five damage. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's, that's it's above. Something. It's above average on a D eight. True. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. what well, was two D eight, oh. and they both oh. got oh. me a five. Yeah, that's it awesome. was below average on two D eight. On both, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, still uh, hitting uh, hitting three of them um, as you as you yeah. do that. It just kind of like it's almost like a, like a, a very strong just like force like like push kind of thing. We just. Pff. Uh, and then and, and bash, um, like, kind of like batter them in their in their in their sides. I know I can't probably like actually hide because I've done my action and bonus action. But if there's like a tree, I could just get behind. Um, I would like to do that if I have the movement for it. You had to have moved up to make sure that those um, those yeah. three were within your range. So you, you don't have enough movement left to get back to the tree line, but you can you can back up, like, say, 10 feet. You could hide behind, like, Wilhelm. He's basically a tree. <laughs> or Brianna. I don't want to risk the smell. Um. <laughs> I mean, tall, scary valley lady is there, so... <laughs> valley lady. True. If there's a place for me to obscure myself, then I'll do it. Sure. But if not, that's fine. Yeah, no, you, you can get behind someone. That's like the most you okay. can do in this situation. Perfect. Okay. Uh, the last Al Ghul who has just not really been interacted with is going to notice that uh, one of his fellows is being completely fucking wailed on by a guy with two scimitars and is going to get beside Demond and um, go in for two claw attacks. Uh, first one is a 13 to hit. Ethan? Ethan, that be How you. How much, sorry? 13. 13 doesn't hit. Second one is a 60, no, 17 to hit. Doesn't hit. All right, so both claws just... And you, and you very, like, very agile and quick in your feet, just... Just, like, like duck out of the way of both claw swipes. Um... Finally... It is the turn of the Al Ghul that um, you were completely wailing on, so it is also going to try and swipe at you with its claws. Oh, of course it is. It's not going to walk away How from you. How dare it there. attack me after Man, I stabbed these it rolls, three times. I completely, like, dicked on Denny, and now the rest of them are all just, like, <laughs> completely... Bully the caster! <laughs> uh, that's a 10 First to hit. First time appearance. A, that's a no. And that's another 17 to hit, and it's also a no. All right. <laughs> just parrying away honor. these attacks. Uh, and that takes us back to the top of the initiative, uh, Brianna. Oh, okay. Uh, then we're going to do <laughs> same thing again, but this time I think I'll use the heavy blade style because we seem to be doing okay. I okay. want to finish this quickly. Uh, so attack with my, my long sword for 27 to hit Yeah. the first time. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, oh, good thing I did the heavy style because I rolled like shit for damage. <laughs> so that's two, that's two, five. So nine points of slashing damage. Uh, and what then... you do notice, mm -hmm. uh, and it's something that you, you you kind of just forgot about being a Witcher and fighting these things before. Now that it has the spikes up, as you swipe down uh, with your sword, you kind of cut your cut, cut one of your hands on the spikes as, as they kind of just like jut out and now just makes it a little harder to hit the creature without taking yeah. damage yourself. How much damage okay. is that, sorry? Nine points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, you take uh, two points of uh, piercing damage. Half turn. to one, because my Quen sign was improved, and it's the next two attacks. Oh, so true, I get there you go. One Ooh. point. Ooh. Um, take one point, and then the next attack is a 21 to hit. That hits. For... 
That's better. Max damage, baby. 17 points of slashing damage. There we go. And this uh, time I will not have resistance to spiky spikes. Okay, yeah, and you take uh, four points of piercing damage in return. Okay. And then I will bonus action um, reactivate the Quen sign, because I can do that, it says. So. Yeah. That's um, me. This one is, is looking very rough. Like, it's not, it doesn't look like it has much more in it. Good. Get out of here. Bruh. Kidoki. <laughs> All right, at the end of my turn, I assume I make another save and throw? Uh, the target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, yep. All right, here goes my big turn. Con save, baby. <laughs> 15? That is more than plenty. You yes. kind of, you feel your muscles become become loosened again, and, and you slowly begin to regain the ability to move. You broke out of the paralysis, but that does end your turn. Ah. <laughs> I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Demond. I'm gonna go for two slashes with the dragon's wrath. Uh, that's a uh, fifteen to hit. Uh, yes. Does not hit. And then a dirty twenty. That does hit. Mm. Okay, so that's uh, eight points of slashing and nine points of acid damage. Ooh, baby. Okay. This one's still up, barely. But yeah, <laughs> it's it's like it's the its legs are starting to like uh sort of like twitch a bit. Um, that one did have a spikes up though, so you're gonna take some damage in return. That's fine. I, I'm uh, also gonna use my slasher feet to give it disadvantage on attacks against me. Okay. Um, as you swipe your like just cleave down, like cleave down with your sword, uh, you do take eight points of piercing damage in return from cutting your hand Ooh. open on one of the spikes. Yeah, I was I rolled pretty high on that. I'm, I'm I've sorry. got the nicest hit points in the group right now. <laughs> oh, ha -ha. nice! nice. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus action to use the flame tongue. Okay. Uh, that's a twenty-six. Mm -hmm. That's six points of slashing and six points of fire damage. Yeah, that'll do it. You. Uh, flame, that's a scimitar, right? They're both scimitars? Uh, they're both scimitars, but this yeah, so, one's the one that's on fire. Yeah, so the, you you just take uh, the scimitar and very elegantly, but with a lot of a lot of like like strategy behind it, just cut along this uh, Al Ghul's throat and it just it it like moves, rolls around, and just like go lies on its back, spikes like Get retracted and it just it just stops moving completely. Cool. Okay. Fuck uh, that guy. And then there's another one in melee with me. Trying to chew you out. Yeah. Cool. I'll just turn around to face him. That's okay. my turn. Very good. Very good. Um, Wilhelm. Uh, that one in front of me is still stunned, right? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna start fucking chopping into that one. Go for it. Uh, that is a tw uh, 26. That hits, yeah, absolutely. And then... Holy shit. I'm rolling such good damage. Both of my times <laughs> I rolled damage, I rolled two sixes. Nice. And I rolled, th and I rolled three, uh, three, uh... Yeah, because it? of, uh... Because yeah. you're epic, pretty much. Because I'm, I'm just such an epic game. <laughs> uh, epic game. Uh, that's 26 points of damage. God damn. Okay. And it's still up? Yeah, it is. It's not looking too good, but it's it's still up. Um, They're all again. like wobbling. Um, so it's going to be one next turn, we're going to finish them. And this uh, is the one that's stunned. So yeah, you had no you, spikes. No spikes. Yeah. And uh, <gasps> did you roll with advantage? Lucky bitch. Uh, yeah, I rolled with advantage. Okay. Uh, that is a 27. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Aww. Okay. The normal, like, looking roll. Cringe. <laughs> Average. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Uh, oh, for 19 points of damage. Boy. 19 points of damage. This one is to, yeah. is looking very rough, man. It is, like, Motherfucker. again, the, leg, the legs are twitching. It can barely, like, it, if it were able to move, it would just probably, it would probably kind of collapse and pull itself back up, but it, it is still stunned, though, so it, it just ain't moving. I'm just, like, he's looking just, at he's, it. just <laughs> taking it and just <laughs> not even able to... Let out a, 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 like a, a shriek, anything. It is just rendered stunned and just has to take it, really. 
Cool. That, that will be my turn. Okay. Um, the Al Ghul that was giving Cornel a hard time. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh, buddy. You take 87 points of damage. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was my hit point value. <laughs> Is going to just let this out damage. a very loud shriek. And oh, everyone no. within 60 feet of it, so that's all of you, oh. needs to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, Ew. bless oh, you. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, listen to this. Oh, that's like my <gasps> first single digit roll of the day. That's so, actually very bad for me now. 19. With modifiers, 14. 14. Uh, 13. 13. I'm gonna double check something real quick. <laughs> if we get advantage on that. Mm. I don't think so. I don't think we learn. If anything, it's disadvantage because we all have heightened senses. So our hearing is better than <laughs> oh, the average God. person. So we're probably True. like even more like, oh, fuck. There is, no, there is a thing that gives us uh, advantage against saving throws if we possess knowledge of what power it has and what saves they call oh. for. But because we didn't research beforehand, I don't Yeah, yeah we would have to take time. You need to take like, an action or a discuss, turn or something. Like, oh, a single chosen saving throw made against the target. Yes, that's right. Okay, that's what I thought. If only we were fighting foglets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's a natural I, I, one. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, or a seven. Got an 11? The highest roll was a 15. Uh, anyone that rolled 12 or lower oh, okay. is stunned until the end of their next turn. Mother Good. Wow. Oh, oh no. So, I got a 13 on mine. I rolled a 3. Oh, I'm God. really good at oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so who's stunned right now? That's, that's uh, Wilhelm and Demon are stunned? I think so. Yeah. Oh, I guess technically I got 23, not 19, but, oh, okay. you know. Oh, that makes a difference. <laughs> you're, you're actually done double Not some brag or anything, but... <laughs> it's like a way to flex on the two that are stunned. It's very cool. <laughs> I just felt awesome, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. So is that, that, is that all the guy in front of me? Sorry? Is that all the guy in front of me is doing? Yeah, that's his turn. He spends his turn it's just shrieking. He spends his turn throwing a it. tantrum. Pretty he much. Pretty it. much, yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see. Uh, it is now the stunned Al Ghul's turn, and I uh, guess what he's doing? He's trying to break out of that before he dies. Uh, that's a, that's a 12? Uh, 14 is the DC because it's Still the stunned. heightened one. Because <laughs> the heightened one, I get an extra plus two to the DC. That's fucked that's up. 14. That's <laughs> fucked up. Um, yes. then now the Al Ghul facing Brianna is going to make away. two claw attacks at you. How dare you? Uh, that's a natural 19, so I'm going to assume that yeah. that's. Yeah. And the second one is a natural 18, so I'm going to assume oh, that both yeah. of those hit. Okay. Yeah. Um, you do take half damage on both these attacks, right? Both of them, yeah. But then my Quen sign's done. Okay, and I saw this message, and I just heard the TikTok sound. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyone else who spends too much time on TikTok knows what I'm talking about. The first one's like, I'm just a baby. Like, are you like, I'm just a baby. The second I'm just a baby. Uh, As it tears that throw out. <laughs> that would be 20 points of damage total, half to 10. Oh, gross. Okay. Half to 10 because of your uh, your Quen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do Thank need you God. to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, no, Here no, go. no. No, you don't. F exactly. Fuck. Um... 13. 13. Uh, you start the feel. You start feeling your muscles kind of tense up, but you manage to kind of break out of that <laughs> and, and do, do not let the paralysis take over. Thank fuck. Alright. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, that is its turn. Oh my god! Ariamsi gets to, gets to play. It's crazy. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I love it's like, the top of the initiative order is like, four of the five witchers, then a bunch yeah, of Yeah, and then, and then, and then I'm Ariamsi just all by myself. There, like, hey. <laughs> it's in character, you know. <laughs> um. I should clarify. um... I made a boo-boo on Ari's last turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, I did. The bonus action signs is only if you, it specifies melee attack for some mm -hmm. reason. Yeah. I'll let it slide because we're all Miss running this. Four five whole, whole damage. Not even four five E. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's totally a bonus thing. And then it's like, for melee attacks, why? Yeah. That is kind of weird, but that's okay. I guess the whole point of the class is to be like two-hand fighting, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. The majority, um, of it, yeah. There's some subclasses that do reward 
Okay. The range approach a little bit, I believe, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm trying. It's very hard to hold the map in my head. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> who is. Who would be closest to me after what I did if I. I guess I would probably try to have been near Brianna. Yeah, you basically to do the so, to do the ard, you basically moved yourself in between Brianna and uh, and and Cornel. So you, you're kind of in between those two. And they both still have one in front of them. Yes. Correct. I'm gonna go to the one that screamed. Okay. Because that was rude. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Come help me. I'm squishy. Um, and I'm going to use my short sword of wounding on it. Ooh. An apt name. The 21 to hit. That hits. And... Okay. So I'm going to choose to wound this target. Okay. Um... So it's going to take 1d4 necrotic at the start of its turns. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay. And then other than that, I believe it'll just take my eight pier my eight piercing damage. Uh, yeah. Just for your, this your, turn, your, your roll plus your um, strength. I don't even know. Um, I use Dex. Use Dex. Fair enough. Yeah, because uh, I, I yeah, it would be negative if I used strength. Yeah. So. <laughs> it, it, so like uh, you roll a d8 and then add your dexterity modifier. Short sword is d8. I think so. I have d6. Oh, d6, d6. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Long so d8. Eight sword. damage from this from the sword itself. Okie dokie. And, and I don't know if necrotic damage on its on its on turn. Its right? turn. Okay. On its turns, I don't know if um, they can heal themselves, but they cannot heal themselves from my damage until they like short or long rest. Okay, good to know. And uh, so if, if they do eat, I'll us, do Quen healing. Well, uh, we'll say just for the sake of you know getting to know more about Witcher monsters. Can you make me a nature check real quick? Just uh... ooh, ye. Is this? Do I get advantage? Yeah, because you're for the trying thing? to determine okay. traits about. <laughs> That's good because I have plus fighting. zero to nature. Uh, that would be a twelve. Um, you do know that ghouls and al ghouls are a type of ghoul have some regenerative effects. You're not sure well, not when anymore. or how, so <laughs> that does actually help. Sweet. <clears throat> That's it. Um, and then I don't know if you heard, but I, I put up Quen, my improved Quen. Oh, so okay. cool, 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 cool. Uh, do you only have one attack per turn? I believe yeah. so. No, you should have two. We we all are high enough level as witches to have two attacks. So one action. Well, in that case, attacks. I will swing again. Go for it. Yeah. Help me more. <laughs> uh, I don't Kill think it. fourteen hits. No, fourteen misses, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> yeah. Um. A plus for effort. Exactly. <laughs> when we're at Cornelius's funeral, we'll give you God's back. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. They forgot my name already. <laughs> oh no, it's just funny at you. Oh god. <laughs> it's even worse. Got nickname. Them forget. <laughs> we've got Will. Oh, or we've got just call me Will. Will. Um, Demond. Uh, Are you one of the people stunned? Yeah. Okay, so there is still one Al Ghul next to you, and seeing that you got affected by the Shriek, it is going to take full advantage of that. It's gonna go fuck itself. Uh, natural 19, making it a 25 to hit on the first claw attack. Yeah. Yeah. And an 18 to hit on the second claw attack. I... Fuck. Yeah. Both hit? Alright. I feel like we're gonna be rolling some hit dice after this. <laughs> well, yeah. But we all heal a shit ton. So. You got plenty of them, so uh, why not? And we heal real and well. 13, 14. Yeah. You take 20 points of slashing damage. My HP is no longer <laughs> nice. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I win these. I believe you. I win these. Twenty-five. <laughs> you are like you're already stunned. So, but I'm it, not double you, stunned. You're not paralyzed. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the stun didn't develop into a paralysis. So you're all right. Stunned, fucking but, divinity know. man over here. <laughs> Listen, man. It's, it's... <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys didn't get to play your divinity this week. He didn't get his fix. Oh, true. So yeah. instead, he's stacking fucking paralysis on me. Hey, man. Uh, it's not my fault that you Which got Which of the hit. ghouls is carrying a barrel of water? <laughs> um, okie dokie. Back to the top of the initiative order, Brianna. Oh. Uh, let's try and finish it off. Dish bad boy. Oh, yeah. uh, we're going to do heavy style again to try and do more damage. Finish him yeah. off. Uh, ooh. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 just misses. Oh, I should have done fast, but I can't change partway through. Okay, next attack. That's better. Uh, 21. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> I'll roll high. That's that's not high, but thank God for heavy style. Uh, nine points of slashing damage. Nine points? I mean, that'll do it. Yay! It was yeah. uh, on its last legs, and you, uh, you're you using a, a longsword, right? Yes. Yeah, so you, you two hand the long sword and just and just jam it into its head and it just as soon as the sword enters its skull you just see it just go limp um right before uh, right before that though before the spikes like back in because it dies you do get some oh no damage oh. back from okay. standing there. uh five points of piercing damage from okay cutting okay. yourself on the on the spiky exterior of this creature okay um just trying to think. I think my bonus, the other sign I have, I don't think I can stop it from affecting other people. Um, I, wanna... I mean, now that you're no longer in melee with an, an enemy, you can position yourself differently and not provoke attacks of opportunity if you want to try something. Okay. Um. Which one of them is looking the healthiest of like who, the the ghouls left? The one who's engaged with with who? The one the one who's engaged the with uh, Demond is uh, okay. virtually untouched. And if if the the shitty map that Ethan drew is accurate, <laughs> I'm gonna then go up behind um, the the one. So now like Demond, like I'm I'm flanking it, I guess. Sure. Yeah. And then I'm going to bonus action use my uh, Erden sign, but just in front of. Actually, I'm not gonna go all the way up to it because I mean, I'm just gonna like put it um, on the ground so it captures that our that goal. Oh, well, naturally, witchers don't have to worry about being caught by their own Erden. It doesn't affect them. Oh, really? Oh, then never mind. Yeah, I'll go that ahead. That is and get how, right how it works in games. If it's not described in the document you have, I'm just gonna say that that's how it works. It because... says first but reduces the movement of anyone who passes through it. Anyone but like, the Witcher. Yeah, it's in in ah. the games. It's anyone but the Witcher. So. Okay, and it negates incorporeal effects of beings like ghosts and wraiths. Because you you have improved Yedin, right? I have improved, yeah. Which means that you don't take damage to it. There you go. Okay. Then yeah, so I'm gonna put that sign on the ground. So now it has reduced movement and it will take 1d6 arcane damage. It doesn't say when. Oh, at the start of each of their turns, it takes the d6 okay. arcane damage. Good shit, good shit. That's my bonus action. It's there. And it's movement, I guess, is... All it says is it reduces the movement. So I'm guessing reduced to half? Uh, yeah. It doesn't whenever specify. in D&D, whenever movement reductions happens, it's typically... Yeah. Most of the it, time, it's it half. Do, it, it, it's half. Ten. It specifies half. It's just... It only specifies in the top half. And I'm assuming uh, yeah. other witchers would recognize the sign, so you all will know not to enter, because you'll also be slowed down. If yeah, absolutely. You everybody, everybody sees the sign and knows exactly what's going on. Yeah. Cool. That's my turn. Okie dokie. Uh, Corneal. Well, guess what? I'm back to do something. Yes, so, you are. Oh, shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to a attempt to, like, begin moving around this thing. So me and um, Ari kind of give it a bit more of hassle on either side. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go, f I'm going to draw my silvered short sword, which kind of just looks like a machete, and go nice. for a couple of attacks. Go for it. Um, Because of the way that you're mm -hmm. moving, uh, I'll allow you, I'll say that you're you're flanking it with, uh, with Ari, so you have advantage on your attack. Oh, brilliant. I would have failed that first attack. And still failed that first attack. 15. <laughs> 15 misses, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Tried, man. <laughs> Go, for second. Go for second attack. You did. Uh, okay, so that's good right now. Flat 20. That hits, yes. All right. So that's going to be eight points of uh, uh, piercing damage. Okay. With the silver short sword. Uh, this one is now in response also. Spikes juts out of its back. Oh, very sad. I'm going to bonus okay. action Axie. Okay. Get out of here. 
That is so a... I touch it and I'm gonna make it uh, make an intelligence saving throw. Beat a seventeen. Oh, I Beat don't a think seventeen. You said? Oh no. Yeah, Man, that's a no. natural sixteen plus zero. <laughs> oh. oh man. <laughs> so it fails. And I'm you... gonna back the heck away. That's uh, it's stunned, right? <laughs> that's uh, that's what yeah, actually does. Stunned. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Okay, okay. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Okay. Uh, Demond. I'm stunned. You are. Uh, turn <laughs> ends. Stun. This is from the scream, not the attack. Yeah. No, you still have some uh, wisdom saving throw again to try and break out of it at the end of your turn. Uh, that's better. That's a 21. Yeah. So your cool. turn ends, but you are no longer stuck. Combat will be over by the time I get to come back, but cool. <laughs> Hey, man. We You're doing great. Time, man. Uh, Wilhelm. Uh, stunned. With some saving throw. <laughs> 15. Sorry? 15. 15 is just enough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I lied. It is not oh. just... It's enough. It's not just enough. I was looking at the oh, okay. But it's still enough. Oh. But it's not like... It's not the DC. Right. Um, but yeah, so you uh, you also break out of your stun, but your turn ends. Um, I it, I would say it's the Al Ghul's turn in front of or in between Corneal and Ariemzi, but it is now stunned and does it take it does take a D4 of necrotic damage. So if you want to roll yes, that real quick for does. me, Ari. Oh, you want me to roll it? Yeah, it's your damage. Hell yeah. Well, sure. It takes two. Two. Right. <laughs> it explodes. <laughs> I describe her like a cactus. Um, <laughs> oh, it's gonna no. try and break out of the stun, and that's all it can do, right? So, beat that seventeen. It's a fucking natural sixteen plus one again, dude. <laughs> yeah. oh, plus, plus, plus zero, zero again, again right? dude. Holy crap! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm so wizardly. <laughs> and now, <laughs> the other one. So the we other stunned, the, the other stun. Need Alder, a fourteen, idiot. Who has just not had a turn at all? Uh, one and three. Need a fourteen. Eleven. Ah! <laughs> so he's still yes. stunned. Big um, man here. No! <laughs> Axe is the best thing in this game! This Al Ghul is dead, so... Again, uh, stupid Ari creatures, yes. <laughs> Alright, so the one in front of us is dead, or er, is stunned. Correct. So, I'm but gonna... he does have the spikes out. I mean... Uh, mm, I'm gonna say that, um... Because you stunned it, the the spikes kind of just like it's it's something that it actively has to like oh, force oh it doesn't do. they don't just so you, stay you stunning out. it will have caused the spikes to retract again they're nice. just drooping no. <laughs> <laughs> there's pills for that sad Al Ghul. um okay. so stunned me and flanking both mean advantage right correct on melee correct sweet I'm gonna Woo! okay well. That's happens four. to me literally every time we play. That's my my favorite is miracle so, so far. It's just I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I really need a dice tray, but I want even to with the that. dice tray, I managed to do this. So it's I want not someone always to the animate answer. that, but it's just is Mary getting on a train? <laughs> just I want to, and then the train. Just, you could use it for train. I want to. <laughs> That'd be a good sound effect for a high oh train. God. Oh my god! Does seventeen hit? 17 just hits, yes. Good. Um, let's see. 1d6 plus 3. And this is my short sword of wounding again, so I'm going to wound it again. Go for it. Oh, only 4 damage from that. But now, on his turns, he's going to take 2d4 necrotic damage. Oh, it stacks? That's sick. Yeah. Whoa. Every time I've wounded it, it takes a d4. So That's, That's sick. And then Hell second yeah. hit, uh, 23 to hit. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, 25, whatever. And then only <laughs> only five points of damage for this one. And I think mm -hmm. I can only, yeah, I can only wound once per turn. So he's okay. stuck at the 2d4, but All right. yeah. And I mean, that shit adds up. So yeah. Okay. That's okay. That. Is that your turn? Um, Do I have to re-up Quen again? Yeah. Okay. Because um, I will. I don't know. Does it does it fade away after your turn? Because I haven't like, been you attacked. Have, do you have oh, to get hit yeah. by it for it to? What it says is, this creates protective shield. 
Yeah, it doesn't say time limit. It's just the no. hit, so the number of hits. Hit. So, so I assume so if, if I were to get no, hit twice, specify. that would kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's it, okay. It does specify, actually. Oh, it does. Oh. Does uh, it? Where? Let me find it. After this, the character must reactivate the power on their following yeah, turn. But it yeah. applies but only against the first hit. hit so that after that it gets hit, right? That's what that word means. After it gets hit, it needs to be re-upped. Yeah, and I haven't been hit. Catch, it must re yeah, it's don't tell the DM though. The <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Um, okay. Oh, but yeah, that's really my turn then. Poorly worded. It's homebrew. Homebrew things cool. are going to be poorly worded. Yeah, homebrew things. The entire thing is poorly worded. Class. But the class is cool, great. Okay. Is it balanced? Cool. No. No. Okay. Is it, some of the subclasses. Is it fun? Oh, yeah. so fun. Sometimes, bro. <laughs> some of the subclasses are really well balanced. Um, the sign is not so much. And the bear subclass. That, um... Balanced. Remind me. What did... What did you do to it again? To make it take a d6 at the start of its turn? What was that again? Me? Yeah. Is the that, Erden uh, sign, and it's right. the improved Erden right. sign, so, yeah. so that's this, why it takes uh, the damage. Do you want to roll the d6 real quick? Yeah! Yes. Always want to roll the dice. Six, baby! There you go. All right, uh, and now it takes its turn as normal. It, it has reduced movement, but it can still just do, yes. do, do as normal. Yeah, it's just movement, and then the damage that it takes. Okay. And um, if it was a ghost or a wraith, it, it loses its incorporeal features. It becomes, like, tangible. Cool, cool, but cool. But it's not, so it's already a tangible thing. <laughs> Very much so. Uh, it is going to claw, attack. Uh, you moved to be in melee with it, correct, Laura? Yeah, I'm behind it. Yeah. But I'm so in it's melee going to it. first try and bite Demond, and then it's going to turn around and swipe its claw at uh, Bring at, at it, Brianna. bitch! So the bite on Demond is a 11 to hit, so that's going to be a no. And this claw is going to be a 23 on you. Oh, why? Why do I get the 23? I don't know, because I rolled it in that order. <laughs> uh, ah, seven points of uh, slashing damage. Is your, uh, you, your, your shield still up? Still have more. No, my, I, I never had. Okay. It, it's gone because I did the Erden thing instead. So right, 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 right. All right. Uh, Brianna, it is now your turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's okay. You. Uh, Bali, I'm, good job, good job. I'm waiting to hear my other character's name. I'm just not used to it. Um, yeah, same. Right. <laughs> um, try and finish off this puppy. This time I'll do the the fast style since it's just killing puppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! So it that's a uh, twenty-three. That's real to hit for Demon. Yeah. Twenty-three hits. Yes. All right. For a total of we'll have to thirteen slashing damage. Okay. And then the second attack is twenty-two to hit. That also hits. For shit, for seven slashing damage. Okay, is that your turn? Yeah. Um, and, uh, bonus action. I'll bring Quen back because now the thing's already on the ground. I don't think that makes Erden disappear. Hold on. Uh, I don't believe so. It might. It says the sign remains in place for one minute. If the Witcher concentrates, the sign can be held past the minute. Okay, so yeah, no, and it's, you it's can just put there down an overlap then. multiple. Yeah, so it's just there for it's a minute. It's just there for a minute, and then it disappears. Okay, yeah. then yeah, then I'll I'll do another Quen <laughs> sign since I've been hit. Still have more hit points than some people started with. Even though <laughs> but... Alrighty, um, you are the tanky. Cornel. I'm the tank. Imagine being I don't know hit. what you're talking about. <laughs> um, as I, I back away from the one that's been giving me so much pain. Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna. Firebolt, firebolt with my magic gauntlets, bracers, Ooh, okay. gloves, Hell whatever yeah. they are. Yeah, so two firebolts. It's still stunned, yes? Correct. Making it with advantage. Um, a two and a three. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still not enough, actually. A 16. Uh, that Aww. just misses. Oh, no. That just misses. My boy. All right. First firebolt, miss sad. Second firebolt, better. No. Uh oh. Uh, second roll. Oh, 19. That hits. Oh. Yeah, that hits. That hits. Oh, brilliant. Okay. <laughs> and that's that's going to be 16 oh. points of fire damage. Ooh, okay. Fuck. Hey. Very good. Miss, 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 nuke. <laughs> yeah, miss, yeah. Miss, yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. you want wizard to life or are you uh, comfortable where you are I am just going to try and position myself as far away as I can from enemies fair enough fair enough uh okie dokie uh Demond. I mean there's one dude in front of me right 
Uh, there's, yeah. they, there's only one in melee with you right now. I mean, fuck. Like, what do I do here? I just... Uh... I don't know. Nobody's here with me. I'm uh, here Brianna with you. Is. You're oh, you are? With, you're flanking. I'm on the other yeah, side. I'm, I'm flanking the one in I melee I completely with you. forgot about that. I'm gonna shank a motherfucker. Go for it. Um, ba -do 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 -do. One of those was a one. Do you get advantage? Uh, yeah, because I'm That's flanking. a 24. 24 hits. Uh, that's nine points of slashing damage and ten points of acid damage. Oh boy, okay. How rough is this one looking? Uh, it's bloodied. Oh. I'm gonna go again with Dragon's Wrath. That is a dirty... No, it's a 22, sorry. Hits. That's six points of slashing. And 12 points of acid damage. Oh, it's looking rough, man. <sighs> Bitch. They're all looking very rough. <laughs> like, all the three remaining ones are all, like, very uh, much almost on their last legs. I'm going to choose to use my slasher on that hit. Okay. Because I can do it once I've hit an attack. Mm -hmm. uh, on the off chance it survives or this misses. Oh. Because there's no point. I was going to save it in case I went to hit something else, but... And then I'm gonna bonus action with the flame tone. Okay. Uh, that's a twenty-seven. Yes, yes absolutely. Uh, ten points of slashing. Okay. And nine points of fire damage. Yeah, that'll do it. Again, you uh, take the scimitar and just, just very elegantly, but with with quite some brutality at the same time, just slit its throat and drive the blade all the way like around basically going from like this side of this side of the throat all the way around to like a, almost to the back of the neck and just it just the trick is falls to the ground one hand scimitar you slash at them and then when they rear up the other one you just come around mm -hmm. <laughs> all right uh, dead. the one that was with us is dead yes yes the one that was with us is dead so there's one with ari right the Corneal yeah. shot fireballs at a yeah, fireball. Yeah, Ditched me with will to shoot well. his fireballs. Uh, well, Wilhelm, <laughs> Wilhelm's big and smelly. He can handle himself. Yeah, plus I will... the guy in front of Wilhelm has not had a turn yet because he's just been stunned the entire time. <laughs> I am a week. <laughs> I will move I just bullying this up cool. to the one with Ari. Okay. But I... I am not going to put myself in a flanking position I'm going to leave it open for Brianna. Okay. Because I think she'll do more damage than me. Sounds good. Oh, well. you have no idea. If we get to my turn again, I have an I have a plan. That terrifies me. <laughs> that is very scary. <laughs> uh, Wilhelm, you're up. Big smelly man attack ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> still stunned, so whale on it. Uh, that's a 29 to hit. It's no. actually not an ability. No, no, it's just Wilhelm's like Wilhelm's body is like smelling salts, and this ghoul is just like. Uh, I'm gonna use my savage attacker to reroll one of my damage die because it was garbage. That's better. Uh, I can't, what the fuck is maths? Jesus Christ. Uh, Quite remembering what it's like to do above ten damage. I know, right? It's so weird. I mean, is it more than ten? <laughs> yeah. It's because it has ten. It's Look at that for a guess. So Look at that for I'm sorry. Every 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 attack I do Dutch does a minimum I get plus nine to all my attacks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and damage. <Whoa>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you just lob off the head completely of this stunned algo. I... Which makes it so that the only Done the whole time and then gets decapitated. <laughs> In front of Ari yeah. is the only Al Ghul still. Oh standing. well, I'm gonna do just the badass walk up to it and second attack. Go just for it, go for it, hell yeah. That gap that's been made for someone else. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that gap that Demon left for uh, Brianna, you just you just yeah. slide in there and just just <laughs> I see opportunity. I'm like, I suppose go. Brianna can come and flank oh. with me at least. It was <laughs> more that if I was flanking with Ari. Be... 30, 20 hits. Hell yeah, and this is. That's a shit roll, so I'm going to re-roll that one. That's better. Uh, 19 points 19 of damage. points of damage? Uh, how do you want to finish off the last oh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Literally just like like a Dark Souls boss. It's that like, kill that one. And just kind of amble up to this next one and just take the... Sh like, I'm pre-doing like my strikes. <laughs> and just come up and just decapitate that one. And kind of like, just leave my sword in like, it's like... 
head hold and like leave out as well. Do like a like stab as well into it, into it. Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Just put away my great sword. Well, that's that cake girl, isn't it? Ari just like wipes blood off her cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I just like Wilhelm goes, oh, I've got a bit of blood on my shirt. It wipes it, it just makes it like smear well. <laughs> <laughs> you you begin to lose it. track of where blood and where, <laughs> yeah, where, where, blood, where blood stops and where mud begins. <laughs> yeah, it's like, fuck. That's fucking. I gross. just like, you see me I check. Noticed, there's like, like a little a little bag like like pouch at my my hip. And make and you just see me like going in it, and you 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 you, you hear while I rifle around through it the sounds of like glass tubes kind of like clinking against each other, and you just go, "We're good, everything's fine, it's all good." I, <laughs> and, I zip, um, and I like close it back up. Can we decapitate these ones and get? I mean, I don't know if we get anything extra for more stuff we kill, but we're already we're already got the head of one. <laughs> well, the these if aren't you even at Yarta, so. These probably won't count for that. This is just more of a preventative measure. Puts in Who's going to tell him that they weren't from there? You're putting one of the algal heads just like in one yeah, of the... Yeah, the one I just decapitated straight away. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> to <this place>. well, <clears throat> Attached you know to my what? other great sword is like a... The job was a flat rate of pay. Yeah. You just wanted the heads, but... I just <laughs> want to have your bag. Seems cooler. Right. Okay. How's everybody feeling? I'm sore. I didn't get hit once. Fine. I haven't taken any damage. I'm as healthy as I started. I mean, I wouldn't say no to a little break. You guys should take a break. I'll, I'll keep watch. I'll keep guard and you know, do some. Just just like an hour, you know, just catch catch your breath. Just yeah. just pump myself back up for the next the, the next fight, you know, because it's going to be just more of this. You guys do that. Is there a low enough branch that. Ari could like climb up and sit on and kind of watch from up top. Sure, yeah. Okay, she's um, gonna do that then. I'm just gonna an set in a tree. I'll look at Wilhelm and I'll just be like, keep watch. Downwind. Come <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, promises. And I'll just continue walking. Just gonna walk a patrol. I will pull up. Yeah the bit of cloth that's around my neck to cover the lower half of my face <laughs> and i would take watch like that <clears throat> all right uh yeah the three of you take a watch uh you guys can all consider this a short rest uh so if you want to use dice some hit, time, dice, baby. hit dice to heal yourselves back don't up. forget you get an extra plus two to each hit dice because of accelerated because... healing yeah there you go so I'm gonna. Is it normally? It normally be hit dice plus your con mod. Uh, yes. So right? it's, but now it's, plus two on top of that. D10 so. plus two plus ton, plus con. Cool. Uh, if you wanna, you know, take some time to maybe cook up another, uh, you know, uh, mutagen or potion or brew or anything Ooh. that you have the ability to do, okay. you can. Oh, in a short one. rest, I'll allow it. I'll just do I'm another. I'm back to full with three hit dice. I'll do another thunderbolt potion. Okay. So I'll have two greater swallow potions and two thunderbolts. I will do another greater swallow potion. Okay. I'm gonna do another. Can I do another blade oil potion? Sure. Is that? Yeah, sure. Cool. I am nearly back to full with minus one. From my normal maximum hit points with three hit dice as well. There you Ooh. go. Well, you know, I might as well spend the fourth hit dice. <laughs> yeah. Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> we oh, rest when off. we die. <clears throat> and uh, as your uh, rest ends, um, it seems that uh, the noise and, and the, the, the scent of death has not attracted any more pests that could potentially want to feed on the remains. Uh, it seems that everything's cleared out. The people are very dead, and there's not really much you can do. Um, can I see if they... they have anything cool on them? Sure, make an investigation check. Oh boy. I was gonna ask if <laughs> they like seem special in any way, or if they're just commoners. Uh, the people um, judging by and the carts that you saw, <laughs> and kind of the, 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 the clothes they're wearing, they seem to be traveling traders. I got a 12. 12 um you find collectively among the three corpses uh, a total of seven crowns which is the equivalent Ooh. of gold in this uh i'm universe. going to do a thing i'm gonna just pocket that sure <laughs> i just need to look up 
the specifics of the spell. Okay. But I'm gonna oh, do God. a thing. How long does it last? She's um, doing a thing. Doing a thing. Okay, it lasts for ten minutes. Okay. Um, while Ari is like looting the dead, I'm gonna be. You just hear me go. Oh, oh, I have an idea. And I go back to that bag I was rifling through with all the like glass oh, I know tube exactly things. Exactly what you're doing. <laughs> and I pull out. I pull out a tube of lip gloss, and I start I... applying lip gloss. And this lip gloss is this really weird, bluey, purpley, metallic-y color. When I put it on, it just makes my lips kind of, like, shiny and look like nice, but also maybe look almost like kind of dead. Like, the color seems to leach out of my lips, and I become really creepy. And then I sit in front of one of the corpses and start talking to it. And it'll, it's lip gloss of the grave speaker that allows me to cast Speak with Dead. That's interesting. As you lip uh, gloss. Oh my god. Seat yourself That's in front amazing. Of one of these corpses. Um, I think you get five Whole questions, thing. right? Let's speak with dead. Oh, it's. Uh, let me double check. I was uh, just speak with dead is I didn't read five the questions. Whole... They know who's asking it. Yeah. They don't have to answer it, honestly. Yeah. Usually, answers are usually brief, cryptic, yeah. or repetitive. They're under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer. So, what's your uh, what's your first question? First question. Did you come from Yantra? You said it was a name. The outer character Yantra, Yantra yeah. is the name. Yeah. Did you come from Yantra? As the corpse just kind of like <laughs> tilts his head in your direction to look at you. No. Not no. Yantra. Oh. Uh, like, have you heard of the monsters plaguing Yantra? I have. Do you know anything about the types of monsters plaguing the city or the number? Three. Just three. Okay. Um. They're gonna be strong. <laughs> um. Are. Hmm. Describe the monster that strikes the most fear into your heart of these three. Please. Large insect. Acid. Okay. Um, and then fifth. Is there anyone you'd like us to contact for you? To let them know of what happened to you. No. Well, that's just depressing. Oh. And as that, as, that fifth, as that fifth question gets answered, you just hear another. <laughs> Technically, it's the fifth and simile and of life. The, 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 the head tilts that's back old. to its original position, kind of snaps back to its yep. original position, and. Yep. And as it. the head snaps back, that weird, creepy, like the color leaching from my flesh, that like blue gray tone they took on goes away, and now I just have a really nice, shiny gloss on my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And I'm looking well great. Well done. <laughs> I will yeah, and then I put the them. tube away, and I'm like, well, that was helpful. Could you guys hear that? Or is it just me that heard that? I don't know. Could we hear that? Uh, I yeah, know. I the mean, dead works. Uh, when someone can't speak with dead, it just speaks. So, yeah, everybody heard that. I walk over and kick the foot of the corpse that she can't speak with dead on to make sure that it's dead. <laughs> it's very much dead. They were so helpful! <laughs> Why would you do that? That's so rude. Yeah, very much dead. I mean... Though it is a tool, necromancy is still a bit of an ethical debate amongst the magical societies. Manners don't matter to the dead. I mean, to be honest, don't... when I bought this, I just thought it was a nice color. It was kind of an accident, but it's been pretty useful. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Speak with any... Dead doesn't call their spirit back anyway. It's just a shell. Well, as long as you don't have any lipsticks that summon demons, I think it'll be all right. No, uh, I, I don't have anything like that. I do have eyeliner that helps oh, no. me see them, though. You have. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, Interesting I, I pull out from that same bag. So now you realize the glass clinking you hear is makeup. It's a makeup <laughs> bag. <laughs> and I pull out an eyeliner that is like a metallic silver color. It's like a liquid eyeliner. And 
go, yeah, when I put this on, I can like see things that are invisible. And sometimes things from like other planes and stuff. But this demon did... sighting brought to you by the makeup collection. <laughs> did you pack <laughs> Did you pack your beauty blender? I don't yeah. go anywhere without it. Pulls out a sponge. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Maybe she's hate... psychic. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well played. Well played. Well played. Good, so good, yeah. You want to avoid demon possession, but you'll want this in your possession. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine YouTube, like, make shopping a bunch hall. of ads. <laughs> like, now I want to see a bunch of, like, parody ads that you could play, like, during a break of a campaign. There's ads for magical makeup items. I'm waiting <laughs> for the, the shampoo that gives her, like, advantage on persuasion to get paid more. I'm L'Oreal. No, no. The YouTube like, whole video that comes out on it. So this will let me like kill a demon, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> like a proper like makeup like yeah. makeup art. This palette, if you open it up Damn, in yeah. the presence of someone invisible, <clears throat> anyway, they uh, appear. <laughs> anyway, here it is. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. You guys um, rest up, craft another potion uh, yep. or 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 other remedy uh, if you wanted to. And learned a couple things from this uh, poor dead individual. Uh, mainly that it, there's three monsters total, and one of them seemed to be some kind of large insectoid that has the ability to use acid. Do any of us know any of large insectoids? That Make use a nature acid? check, my guy. Or all of you. For oh, that spe specifically, I would, I would I love do, to do the thing that. Hold on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, no. I got a 14. Yeah, because uh, ad advantage on rolls to identify monsters. And that yeah, was yeah, the hint we've absolutely. been given. I also got a 14. Yo! Gotta... Natural 19 plus... 1. Dirty 20. Nice. <laughs> Benny? 24. I went to look 24. on my computer. Ooh! So we have 14, 14, 19, 24. 8. eight. And dirty 20. <laughs> and um, 8. Oh yeah, that's 20, sorry. Um, 7 and a 1, baby. Wilhelm? <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you. The, 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 I've you, seen a like, big yeah, moth in my a time. Of cr insectoid cr like creatures that have some kind of like weird spittle that they can weaponize. Uh, you're not sure. Um, for the two fourteens, you narrow it down to um, uh, Kiki Moors, which are these large underground insectoids uh, that typically live kind of like in like underground, like ant hill or ant farm type. Uh, structures is kind of how they um, how they live for those that uh, rolled very high so the 20 and the Hell yeah. whatever else it was uh, you <laughs> also know that uh, Kikimors they have a hierarchy there is workers there are scouts and there is a queen which they very are very protective of and the queen single-handedly creates all the worker Kikimor and all the other Kikimor uh, herself. Um, you also know that they are very territorial. Let's look them up. And the acid that was mentioned, you know that it that comes from their mouth. It is, it is like a like a spit kind of kind of situation. Kikimor's a grim dude. Let's fucking look them up. Let's look them up. They're fucking. Disgusting. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I see. Uh, while we're traveling, mm -hmm. uh, can I mean, would I have? Would any of us have the resources on us to potentially learn more about Kikimo while we travel? It's pretty common practice for uh, witchers to carry bestiaries of their own that they kind of fill in themselves as they like encounter new things. Okay. We can all be discussing and comparing uh, beast theories on the on walk. the fact that there's now five witchers, there's definitely <laughs> a, a, enough room for you guys to kind of discuss and learn from each other because some of you have like had a whole more experiences library. with Kiki more than, than others. Okay. Uh, can we then use our bestiary knowledge uh, to make a nature or survival skill roll to know about a type of monster? Um... Uh, and then, if we have time to study or learn about it, we can pick one of the three bonuses. Yeah, we can pick a D8 bonus on a single attack. 
at when the time comes or plus, plus one, one to our defense against it um sure yeah i mean or you have like about a little over an hour of traveling so um, there's def there's enough time for you guys to kind of discuss and make plans knowing that you're pretty sure you're gonna face some kind of kikimor i'm cool. gonna take the plus one defense against it because maybe we'll, we'll discuss the way it moves and the way it attacks uh, and that'll help us evade it is my the logic way, the wording on this says that like we get advantage on a chosen a uh, single chosen saving throw made against what made against the target what the fuck that's why I'm not taking no, that. As in, you're making a saving strength. throw against something they're doing. Yeah, against something that they yeah, do. Okay. Just yeah, okay. Yeah, but, like... It's creature... It's, if it has an ability, uh, we can yeah. get advantage yeah. on one on one saving throw. If it's a one spell, throw. we can't. Now, considering we, like, talked about a lot, would we know what their, like, most primary one would be? Do, well, do they yeah. have abilities that would make it worth yeah. discussing? Um, Probably... Well, you know Acid, that. Right? Yeah, you do. You know that some type of Kikimor uh, have a certain aura, a certain pheromone that kind of surrounds it. Uh, and anything that isn't undead, constructed, or an elemental that gets too close to it um, could be rendered. Um, could be could be afflicted with certain types of effects that go from. Uh, charm to being pacified. There's a lot of different ways it could affect you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm a. I'm gonna I'm choose a, that. I'm gonna choose that one. Saving throw. Okay. I'm gonna agree. <laughs> uh, yeah. I assume it's gonna be con based. I'm just gonna choose the plus one <laughs> defense against yeah, it. I'm gonna focus um, on how it moves. Based on this, while you guys are discussing and learning from each other, uh, it is. It is, it's something that happens to your brain. This pheromone causes oh, your brain no. to act out. So it's, 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 I'll give you this. It's, it's a wisdom thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. Idiot. Never mind. Uh, well, I'll just, uh, <laughs> I'll just take the defense bonus then. I mean, it's, it's just a single chosen saving throw. So basically in that fight, you can just at any point be like, oh, I'm making a saving throw against this thing. Uh, yeah, I want to use my advantage now. Uh, no, you know what? For the so, would it work the yeah. same way for the damage bonus then? Yeah. Uh, the damage bonus attack. is just at some point during our fight with a Kikimura, you can choose to add one d8 on a single attack. Yeah. On your okay. turn. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, so basically, if you got a crit on it, that would be the time to use it. Right. Yeah. I'll do. I'll do the damage bonus. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to the damage one as well because I don't anticipate getting in close, and I also don't anticipate failing the saving throw. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But who saving. knows? I'm okay. Saving throw one. I don't want to be stunned again. With that, yeah. we'll say that as you kind of discuss these things and kind of make plans of like, okay, we know that there's some kind of foglets kind of thing happening, yep. and there's some kind of Kiki more, which and that so we got a, two out of the three most likely identified. Of, uh, three monsters total. Maybe. Um, we'll say that you get to the village of Yantra, to the outskirts, and uh, we're gonna quickly take a couple minutes break there so that people can get up and, and nice. grab a new drink or grab a snack, have a pee, stretch. Whatever, I need a stretch. beverage. Uh, I need a therapist. Just to remind you that this is a one-shot uh, for charity. Any donations of $5 or more, you can impact the game, whether that is affecting roles or, or any, something more creative. Uh, the cause is amazing. Rise Above the Disorder, they're an amazing charity, all about making sure that people that require mental health help can actually get it if they are not able to by themselves. Phenomenal charity, and I think uh, a lot of us uh, have definitely know the importance of, of being able to, you know, get help when you when you need it regarding especially regarding mental health because it's a bitch man brain sucks most of the time um fight the brain goblins exactly so we'll be back in a couple minutes uh, don't go anywhere and uh we'll see you in a bit hello hello Hi. are we back yes yeah. we are hello oh cool we were just partying don't mind us i yeah i saw that what the what we're the, the party party frick? We are partying. I got booze. It's a good nice. time. Nice. Hell yeah. I got myself a pint of water. Yeah, I, mean, I have a day off tomorrow. The having having the, the booze is very, 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 like, in character, actually, because a lot of, like, in The Witcher 3, if you make your uh, potions and stuff, like, the core ingredient is strong alcohol. So, there you go. I uh, had an in-person campaign that I used to go to. We would always, <laughs> we would order pizza, we would have queso and chips, and we would drink mead. <laughs> nice. nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's okay. 
so we're back, and you have just made it to the outskirts of the small uh, farm town of uh, Yantra. Um, when you get there, you immediately see large tree roots penetrating some of the buildings, having caused it to completely be destroyed. Puddles of a green liquid that kind of just hisses as you get oh, close, no. closer to it. Kind of around and just death all around there's there's blood there's corpses strewn about what do you do is there any monstrous tracks uh make an investigation check <sighs> or perception either or That's still not better do i have advantage because it's about finding a monster I was very loosely, but sure. <laughs> I mean, isn't there the feature at like tenth level with your medallion? You can focus your senses through your medallion, allowing them to sense more than magic. While concentrating, you can easily detect tracks and trail any being leaves behind. So I would say that's pretty sure. Yeah, okay, you're concentrating. I'm gonna I'm I'm use my medallion to. And by using their amulet to focus, they can more easily pick out scent, tracks, and blood trails. Okay. I'm just gonna... I, I mean, okay, so using the medallion, you can just find the tracks, and it's a survival roll. It doesn't, to, you, to... you get advantage on rolls, but you it's, it makes it easier. Uh, it's grants the witcher advantage on survival rolls for their tracking and identifying creatures based upon evidence they leave behind. Go for it. So, do you want me to roll survival, or do you want me to roll perception first to try and find tracks? Let's, let's go with perception first. Okay, so that's just a straight roll. That's a 14. Um, excuse me. Uh, you definitely see some tracks, but you also hear... Um... Um... What do you hear? Uh, some, like, very faint, weak breathing and almost like uh almost like a like a whimpering like a like a soft crying coming from a darker space between two of the the houses that are pretty close to each other can i make a survival check to figure out what the fuck that is sure Fake. 22 sounds very much like a person in pain Survivor. Possibly. Um. No gesture. I'll. I'll go take a look. Okay. <laughs> Send the patient first. <laughs> I've got healing, or at least the best medicine. So, as you uh, approach the, the like the like space between two of the houses, you spot uh, a human, uh, a man. Like, like if you had to estimate his age like like late 30s early 40s along along that uh sort of age gap um two large tree roots sticking out of him one like in his lower abdomen and one in his shoulder just oh, like God. sat against the house and very faintly breathing uh and, and and looks at you as you approach and immediately sees you know the the, the glowy cat eyes which uh Help. I'm gonna like motion to the others like and I'm gonna go in get closer to this guy they came back the past three nights monsters they've been coming back every night to destroy more of the village reckon one more attack and the entire village will be gone people have already fled please Wait, what avenge us oh you're gonna die on me aren't you uh, it's not looking too good. Well, um, would would you prefer that we make this quicker for you? Um, he like looks down. And you can see that where the like big tree roots kind of like juts out of his lower abdomen. You can see pieces of intestine kind of hanging loosely from under it. Oh. And he looks at you. Yes, please. Before we do that, we've got a little <laughs> intel. Before we so end your suffering. 
And yes. you're supposed to be the face. You're the one with the highest charisma. Well, <laughs> I'm right. twisting the tree branches in. I've got all the cards, and witchers are just emotionless. So, <laughs> we, we've heard that there have been foglets and um, Kiki Moore coming for these attacks, but is there anything else? Tree spirits. Leshen. Leshen. That would explain the roots. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry for what has transpired here. Me too. And I will short sword to the heart for this guy. And as you do that, you hear one last, <gasps> and you can see the, you can see the light like from behind his eyes just kind of fades out and uh, it's gone. With my what? high medicine checked, I've deemed this man dead. <laughs> <laughs> I proclaim that he has died of natural causes. What, what reason would a lesion have to work with? I mean, it's weird for any monster, but that one in particular just seems really odd. Yeah, make a make an H check for me uh, as you say that, Brianna. Uh oh, natural one. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, it's the monsters it's and all really that. It's really weird. So you have <laughs> oh, okay. Natural one. Better, <laughs> better. You said it's a nature check. Yeah. Keep going to look at the computer for D and D Beyond, and I'm like, no, paper sheet this time. <laughs> paper sheet. Um, sixteen total. Sixteen total. Um. You know that Leshen uh, are three spirits that typically dwell in dense primeval woods, um, mm -hmm. fiercely territorial, who hunt with stealth and cunning as their only companions. They are not known to work with other Leshen, let alone other creatures. Uh, they use their inborn magic to control the plants, and typically what they look like is these like towering, kind of like tree-like bodies, head typically made to look like some kind of like deer skull with uh, like uh, like 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 twigs and yeah. branches for antlers uh, and like yeah. faint purpley light for eyeballs yeah. could some could there be some sort of maybe like a, a powerful magic user or something that is making these all work together or something is there something that all three of these creatures would be was, scared of so I was thinking like what was Ooze, uh, great ooze, you know. And maybe this Magimals. is this is like some kind of experiment. Like, oh, test it out, test out. Can we make the monsters do what we want on this like smaller village before they take them to a bigger city, where it'd be more important? Because it also seems kind of weird that this place in the middle of nowhere is having this problem. And also, could see if they control do more monsters than just three. Do do I think that? This kind of cooperation would require some sort of compulsion. I was just like some sort of charming magic, without a doubt. These, especially the three, two of the three creatures described, a Kikimor uh, and uh, a Leshen, um, they're both while be, while fiercely territorial and are known to have sometimes cross paths and fought each other. Say, if a Kikimor nest is, happens to be within. Oh, the woods that are being guarded by by Leshen. Um so them two working together never in a million years foglets um are more the kind of like do whatever kind of monsters they're just right they're chaotic they're just dickheads and they just kill things and that's kind of what they do and if there happens to be other things killing the same things they're killing sure whatever you know Yes, I'm. I'm led to believe that these uh, something is orchestrating all this. Well, let, let's get back out there and see what else we can find. And I'll close the eyes of the guy I just, you know, mercy killed. Yeah. So you you take the words of the of the of the man uh, into account, where he said that they seem to only strike at night. Um, and that um, typically uh, they they are, they they they've been attacking the last three nights, taking down more of the village every night. And he said that it would probably take one more attack before the entire village is just gone. And as you kind of look around, you can see there's a couple of buildings still mostly intact, and it seems to it, yeah you get the sense that these creatures, while destructive, 
um, the attacks have been relatively short-lived, and they kind of come back in waves. Um, they haven't destroyed the village in one fell swoop. The, you're not sure whether it is because um, they just simply didn't want to, or perhaps if you are led to believe that some kind of magic user is compelling them, maybe there's just a limited time that they can, and they're trying trying things out. There's a lot of conclusions you can, that you can draw from the information that you have. But one thing you know for certain is that if they're going to strike again, it'll be tonight, like at nightfall. What time of day is it, roughly? Uh, just it's like mid-afternoon. Uh, okay, little, 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 little after mid-afternoon, actually, because you're also short rested. Do, do we know if any of those three creatures have a tendency or the ability to go invisible? Oh, um... I mean, making a nature check with advantage. <laughs> Oh, Natural twenty. So hey! Wow. Um, while they don't go fully invisible, you know that certain more powerful foglets have the ability to hide in their own fog really well and create these fog, almost like mirror images of themselves, and kind of strike out okay. their foes uh, from different angles, kind of controlling the mist and manifesting um, several several foglets that are all controlled okay. like they're all just made out of mist but very very deadly so while invisible no very capable of hiding okay. and using mirror images to hide uh, his true self that yeah. yeah some foglets have that That's ability fine. okay then this won't be useful really during the fight so i'm gonna use it now just in case i'm gonna go back into my makeup bag and pull out the eyeliner and give myself some super strong winged metallic silver eyeliner and see if there's anything I can see invisible now. Like maybe there's some invisible runes or traces of magic, or maybe there's, if there's someone watching us, if they're using scrying magic, I'll see maybe some, just anything that's invisible I can see for the next hour. And how it appears is objects appear ghostly and translucent to me, so that's I can differentiate them from you everything do actually else. Spot something. I can also see into the ethereal plane if nice. that helps. <laughs> uh, you do spot something. Um, mm -hmm. You can see from one of the from from like from the well, like there's like a little like a roof over the well in the middle of the village, uh, hangs a small like like string with human ears attached to him, to it. Several and that was ears. invisible. Uh, not invisible, but it didn't really strike you. You didn't really see it, but there's definitely oh. s strong traces of magic, which caused it to like, oh, wait a second. Okay. Um. Hey, hey, hey um. Anyone else think that's that's really creepy? That's really creepy, right? Pretty and, creepy. and why is it magic? And I point to the string of ears hanging from the well and I make sure everyone use knows. my amulet that's as really we can gross. all do to cast detect magic. Yeah, I'd like to go examine yeah. that. Okay, uh, you cast detect magic. Yeah, I mean, uh, you sense that there is some kind of scrying magic, like somebody mm. that isn't physically here is either watching or listening into like what's that. going on. Judging by the fact that they are ears, you're more they leaning towards be watching. listening must be smelling. as opposed to hearing or smelling, but... <laughs> I will taste. look at it, I will look at the group, and I will just... I go to, like, start drawing my sword a bit. Um, do I know how I could possibly, like, disable this thing? Uh, this is unlike anything you've you've any of you have encountered before. Um, I'll say make a history check for me. Damn, let's hope for an arcana. Let's go history. Crit fail. Nice. You have no idea, good sir. <laughs> no idea. This must be used for seeing. <laughs> um. um. I'm, I'm gonna... just gonna pick it up and start walking away with it. If it's for listening, we just take it far away, and then we dump so it on the ground and it. we come back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you touch it, nothing happens. It's Intelligence just... not my strongest. Step. That we know. We could uh, tie it to a crossbow bolt, and I could shoot it away from us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that plan, and I give it to Ari. I, so I don't can hand it. This is like this, like thin, like rope string with just like five human ears attached to it, and. Kind of... I'll stab a crossbow bolt through it and then like load it on. Before and... Ari fires it when it's loaded, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna lean down next to one of the ears on the string and go, 
Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay. I don't know how far away. it'll go because uh, it's I mean, just a hand what's crossbow. The range but... on your crossbow without like having to roll disadvantage. So the first like I, number it says for range. I think on the, the first. Oh, I think the first one's thirty. I don't remember. What sort of crossbow is a hand crossbow? Yeah. Yeah, then it's thirty one twenty. Yeah, so you you just okay. fire the bolt like thirty feet. Oh, I, I was gonna say before she fires, they <laughs> make sure we tell her to walk walk um, to the edge of town and then actually, fire it. And then... Actually, we'll say uh, roll a dexterity check for me, just like a straight dexterity check. My cat is holding my d twenties hostage. Um, dexterity Nine. check <laughs> Nine. Yeah, you, you manage to shoot the bolt with the ears. Like, the, the, you know, the ears weigh it down a little bit and the balance is off. It, it flies like 30 feet towards like the edge of town. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's away want... from us, right? I don't want to undo what Ari's done, but I can always fire it further. <laughs> if we, we You can always, you know, go to where I fired it and then... Shoot I'll from take there. my longbow, which actually has range. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you shot it really well. For longbow, I think the, the the like one fifty six hundred. Is... Sorry, one fifty yeah, six hundred. So like you just send it like one hundred fifty feet. Like it, it's well outside of the like village limit now. I could have done one hundred twenty. <laughs> <laughs> but the I could have done six hundred, <laughs> but he didn't yeah. let me roll. So the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Um, when you do what that, though, you, you did whisper, like, a very, very sarcastic bye into one of the ears before it got sent away, right? Yep. As you fire the arrow and sending the, the ears just yonder, the ground begins to shake. And at the same time, a very thick, dense fog begins to set in out of thin I air. I am immediately and pulling bitches. out. <laughs> you yeah, just see, also. by the well... From underground comes bursting out a incredibly large insectoid standing on four four very sharp like legs, uh, a a grayish body, and from the top of its like head down the back, these like red spikes. Uh, at the ones on the head are about a foot long, and as they go down its back, they like gradually become smaller and smaller. Uh, this just big round mouth in the middle of its face, no eyes, but eight red mandibles kind of surrounding the the mouth you recognize this not to just be a kikimor you recognize recognize this to be a kikimor queen Ooh. um you Lady. also from <laughs> the dense from the dense fog this green skinned um ghoulish creature standing on two legs appears its rib ga rib cage torn open and just blood everywhere face looks like it's been caved in with a rock teeth kind of just sitting at random parts of its face and this very like beady black eyes pointy ears uh, you recognize this to be not just a foglet but a name that is a name that is very hard to pronounce give me a second this is a an Ignis Fatus, which is just a very <laughs> powerful foglet with uh, the ability to innately cast certain magics as well as being just very aggressive with its claws. And then also from the west side of town, this like barrage of tree roots just <laughs> begins, begins tearing up the ground. And when it reaches the well, from these tree roots grows this towering tree-like figure with this deer like skull type head with with brambly um brambly uh um antlers um which is a lesion and all three of these creatures who in no Overbound. capacity would ever cooperate suddenly appear in front of you and seemingly this is the trio of monsters the unlikely oh, cooperation that has been destroying this town and i would like for you all to roll initiative while no, they're doing no. that, while they're doing that anime intro, mm -hmm. yeah, do I have chance to apply a poison to my blade? Yeah, sure. do I have a chance to. Yeah. Okay. Do I have sure. a chance to maybe drink a potion? <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to like take a potion or apply some poison, cool. I'll give you guys the. the while the rumbling to do that. was happening. While while cool. they were all, like, I'll, while I'll they, while they were all, like gathering, because yeah. you're witchers and you have very heightened senses and quick reactions, you'll be, you've you've been able to do something. In, I will in drink my thunderbolt potion. All right. What does that do again? Question about. Uh, uh, oh. It gives you plus three plus melee three damage. damage. Plus three damage. Nice. 
for the next um, five minutes. So, what do you want to ask us, Mira? Jump distance. That's only up, right? Or you can, like, because uh, no, otherwise, you can also you can also like leap forward. Uh... Your okay, okay. your leaping forward distance, like your long jump, is calculated differently than your yeah. It is a different like, vertical different jump. Different from from a, a running start, I think it's three times your strength score. <laughs> Oh, the oh. score. Okay. <laughs> yes. I was yeah. like, oh, negative normally, three. Great. I'll go backwards. <laughs> I, I believe normally normally how it works is um, if you have a 10-foot running start, you can long jump equal to your strength score. And for high jump, if you have the 10-foot running start, I think it's like three plus your strength mod. Yes. Huh. Long jump is your, ten, is your uh, strength st score. If you have a 10 foot run up, yeah, run if you make a standing long jump, it's half of that. So for you, what did you say your strength was? Nine. Is? So for you, a, a running long jump, you can jump nine feet. Uh, for a high jump, you can. <laughs> you can jump, jump two. two feet. <laughs> I can jump you can, seven you can hop, in the air. I guess. <laughs> no, wait, was it three? Is it three plus? What did you say it was? For uh, three jump? plus strength modifier. Oh my fucking god, I can jump ten foot in the air. That's Your strength fucking modifier <laughs> is plus seven. Yeah, I can clear a person. Of, I can jump eight feet in the air. So, me... Please. Oh. oh, what was that? Me, me and Beanie are at the, like, the edge of town, right? Uh, yeah, the rest like of us are at the well. A little, at, oh, well. A little further away from the well than the rest of the, the gang is. Uh, but like... Not far enough for you to have to We're spend about one thirty turn. feet further. Yeah, away. exactly. So you can you can close See, the gap. Yeah, I could almost movement. jump that with my <laughs> jump spell. No. Oh, with your with jump, jump spell. Yeah. yeah. So three times your <laughs> twenty-seven feet. Is twenty-seven. <laughs> so it's slower than just walking. <laughs> and uses a spell. And uses a spell. It is slower than just. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Perfect. Right. I'm so glad that was one of my magic. Amazing. <laughs> can we? Uh, yeah. Any initiatives yeah, of right. 20 or higher? 21. 21? Wait, is that two in a row for me? 21? It's 21, I yeah. think so, yeah. Yeah. Anyone else 20, 20 or higher? No? All right. 21 for... Uh, I almost said Brooks. Demond. <laughs> um, 15 to 20? Brooks isn't here. 18. Brooks can't hurt you. 18 for Wilhelm. Hey, Brooks isn't real. He can't You don't know you. how... Oh, Brooks how... doesn't have any grenades to get involved in like, this fight. It's hard so. for me to not put on like a European sort of accent when I had the name Wilhelm. Very Wilhelm? Tempting. No, fucking... Uh, Wilhelm! Fucking Wilhelm! Wilhelm! Vincent used to... <laughs> I'm when, so we played, when we played GTA roleplay, Vincent, who has also been on, on Dungeon Select for those yeah. that may not know, he had, a, he had a character called Wilhelm and he was like the most German motherfucker ever. <laughs> this was, you know, just to be like... Oh, I killed some monster. Literally, I really literally. wish. Koima, please, at some point, he, he, whether he, for a one shot or a campaign, he, he, that's I'll, make, place, I'll do a camp German. Don't he worry. He was an I'm EMS, <laughs> so he, he worked like he was a doctor, and he was. I, just, just, I will fix it, boo boos. That was like his catchphrase. I'm here weird. to be, to heal um, you. In the fucking weapon, anybody? The ambulance. I got oh, 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. 11. Oh shit. 11. Okay, yeah. We'll go in order of decks. Who has the highest decks here? Probably Ari. I've got 16. 16. Oh, I have 16 too. Oh my god. So do I. Oh my Rollies. god. Rollies. <laughs> well, you guys can just roll off and determine who goes first then. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I will concede to the two of you. I will go third. I, I go. rolled a 14. Actually, you know, I, I'll let I'll let Iz go before me since okay. she's, she's a guest. So then I'll be second. Danny can be third because okay. you already so volunteered. I'll let the guest go in front of me, but the other guest can get stuff. Well, that's because he already decided that. So. <laughs> it's because I took the guest. Sorry, were we doing rollies? Uh, no, no, not anymore. Both I just of them decided to volunteer first. first so oh, okay. Well, thanks. Um, <laughs> all right. With that said, so that you can die before she gets uh, into this, melee. As this this trio of has uh, appeared in the center of this village, uh, Demond, you get to go first. Oh, okay. Um, they're all next to each other, right? Yeah. There, there's like a like a like a five foot gap between each of them. Can um, I move up such that they are within 30 feet of me? All three of them? Yeah. Cool. Just uh, I'm gonna... keep in mind, uh, just for size-wise, the Kiki Moor is considered huge. Okay. Ooh. The Leshen is considered large, and so is the Ignis Fatus. So okay. two of them are large, one of them is slightly bigger. Okay. Uh, I am going to draw out the Dragon's Wrath. Okay. 
and I'm going to run my hand along the blade and I'm going to point it and out of it a 30 foot cone of um, acid just spews out as if there was a dragon embedded in the blade. That's sick! Uh, That's DC sick. Oh. 16 deck saves, please. On all three of them? Yes. It's a 30 foot cone. Uh, well, on two of them, because obviously Kikimor, knowing that it has acid abilities, uh, does not really feel bothered by acid. But the other two, um, well, definitely fuck do. the Kikimor. <laughs> uh, what was the save? Dex? Dex, please. Oh boy. Uh, the Leshen rolled a 16. That's a pass. And the Ignis Fatus rolled, uh, also rolled a 16. Okay, so they take half damage. Okay. Uh, uh, 19. Uh, 29 to half to uh, 14 points of acid damage each. 14. Uh, 29 to 14. Yup, 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 yup. Uh, that is my action. Okey is it a bonus action to drink uh, one of our special potions yeah, as well? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just apply general potion rules, whereas if you're forcing it down someone's cool. throat, it's an action, but if you're drinking it yourself, it's a bonus action. I'm going to drink my Thunderbolt potion. Hell yeah, okay. So I'm big dick damage boy. Is that your turn? Yes. Wilhelm! Wilhelm! <laughs> um... Ah, uh, what? No, I will um go up fucking gonna run up to the Kiki more that big looking bug big, motherfucker. Big bug motherfucker, hell yeah, let's go. And just do, 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 do. fucking full running style in <laughs> great sword out and just fucking ah! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. My man out uh, here <laughs> using all three brain cells. <laughs> I have an intentions of twelve, by the way. Hey, <laughs> I use all, You're smarter all, than me. All of them He's are used on how to. I am. <laughs> all of them are used how to swing a sword. <laughs> He's super oh, smart. Gonna, gonna use my savage attacker. Cool. The smell restricts the airflow to his brain. Yeah, that's the problem. If I cleaned, I'd be like smart now. <laughs> be a fucking brainiac. Uh, thirteen. Because I, I drank my thunderbolt potion before we did this combat, so that is fucking out so much damage. Can I, can I, what, what did you roll to hit first? Oh, 28. 28? Yeah, okay. okay. I didn't hear that, mm -hmm. so I was making sure. It did say yeah. I said Did it, I? Like, oh, that was just completely yeah. like... Yeah. I'm mind I'm sorry. I, like, I didn't uh, get my mind blast, I don't know. I guess my brain was just like, hear big numbers say yes, but it didn't yeah. actually register. Uh, that is <laughs> 25 points of damage on the first one. God damn! Uh, can I do a bonus action between the... No, I can't use a bonus action between my two attacks, can I? Uh... I, I believe you can. Action. I think you. I th mm. Bonus second attack. Can I? Can I use my DM lifeline here, Denny? I've never heard anyone I, try uh, that before. I, I I have actually recently come across this, and we ruled it in my campaign that you can, in fact, break up the attack because you can technically attack, move, and attack. So that makes sense. There's apparently I, rule I, between I, okay. attack. Fuck with that logic, yeah. I found a Jeremy Crawford tweet. Okay. Uh, rules is written. You can move between attacks, but can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But if you can move, why couldn't you act bonus action between them? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll Again, allow it. I'll allow it. Yeah, sure. Oh, cool. Rules then as I'll... written versus rule of course. Then because I've done <laughs> done an attack action, I can then as a bonus action do Axie on oh, the yeah. one to so make an intelligence saving throw. On the, the Kikimor? On the Kikimor? Oh, oh, oh. Kikimor rock, huh? Kikimor? That's uh, big insect fuck. Insectoid. <clears throat> insect queen, maybe not smart, smiley face? Uh, it doesn't matter with a natural one, does it? Oh, well, then it's stunned. Ooh, wait a second. Is it? It is. Yes, Insect it is. Queen. It if is. you then send immune to stun up and like, oh, well, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now on my second attack, I can get advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a 27 to hit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and a savage attack on that one because it was shit. Cool. Uh, uh, 20... What the fuck did I say last time? 13... Uh, 25 again. 25 again. All right. Very good. That's a lot of that. That's 50, damage, that's one 50 damage in one turn. Holy shit. That's, uh... Bear is not broken, I promise. <laughs> that's spicy. <laughs> so you run up and just... 
with your great sword, just slash at uh, Kikimor, and, which is like, it kind of like snaps its mandibles at you. You can see some ashes kind of dripping off of it and dripping to the ground, and then it just stops moving completely as you use your your axe to you know calm it down to a point where it just can't move anymore. And then you just just go in for another swipe, and you can just draw. And the blood that it, that you draw from it isn't red, but it's like this this like bluish green color as it just kind of like splatters and kind of like coats oh. your blade. That'd be my turn. Very cool. It is okay. now the Leshen's turn. And the Leshen... <laughs> Let me see, what is the Leshen gonna do? Um... Oh, that's fun! That's fun, that's a fun one. No. No. Don't do that. No. I mean, dude, I'm like... Just... These things can do this, that's fucking cool. I'm doing that, you know? That's just kind of how my brain functions right now. Uh, it is going to... Um, it's gonna point in in your general direction, Wilhelm. Okay. Uh, but it's a twenty foot radius sphere. Um, Demond, you did you run up run up closer to them? I moved up so that I was thirty feet away from them. So you were thirty feet away from them. Okay. Okay. Um. In that case, it's just centered on uh, on on Wilhelm for now, but it just like lifts one of its like branchy arms up, and from it just come flying this like swarm of insects that just fly in your direction, and there's just this like cloud of insects kind of like going mm. around going around you as these swarming, biting locusts just just start snapping and, and biting at you. Um, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. On save? Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, that is a 21. 21? Uh, you make the save, so you take half damage. Cool. Uh, but as these, these locusts start, like, just n nipping at your at your skin and, and, and your flesh, you do take... Is that a 9 or a 6? It's a 6. Uh, you do take um, 20, so 10 points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, yeah, when, a, when the area appears, each creature in it must make the con save, but also people that enter it. Uh, oh, did you say 10 points of damage? 10, yeah. Okay, so it happens when you are there when it appears, when you enter it for the first time, but also when you end your turn in it. So that's something that I need to keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, there's just this cloud of like, this, this 20 foot like cl radius cloud of just locusts and insects just snapping at, uh, at Wilhelm in this case. Uh, and that'll end the Leshen's turn, uh, which now makes it the Ignus Fatus turn. And this fella is going to Pretty fucking cool. Die on the spot. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> um, make the fog that it's summoned very thick to the point where uh, it is a um, it's a thirty foot radius, and it's just going to basically make it so that both Wilhelm and Demond, um, Cornelia, were you still near the well when this all started? Um, I th I guess I would have stuck with wherever like Briona and uh, Ari were. Okay. I'm at the well. Okay, I so was with. I guess uh... we're, yeah, so Briona and and Cornelia as well. You're all just like engulfed yeah. by this by this fog, making uh, your vision is obscured. Um. Um, which also makes it so that uh, your speed is halved while you're in the area. Um, Sheesh. and that is all that happens for now. Uh, that's its turn. Uh, Ari. It me. It you. Um, okay, so I'm pretty far away now. At least 30 feet away. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, so 30 you, I can close. Yeah, you can close the gap. Uh, just keep in mind that there's now just this, like, very dense fog clouds. And 
within that fog cloud you saw right before the fog cloud appeared, there's also just this like swarm of locusts just like nipping at uh, at, at at Wilhelm. It's a uh, bad time. Yeah. There's a lot of shit That's happening. <laughs> nasty. Um. Okay. Well, I guess we're delving into the fog cloud. Okay. Can I swing at the swarm? You can certainly try. Oh boy. Uh, keep in mind that because your vision is obscured, you're gonna have disadvantage on the attack. Yeah. Does fog make hard to see? Okay. okay. Well. Puke. <laughs> if I were to shoot at someone that was, say, huge or <laughs> large, can I see them over the fog cloud? <laughs> um, interesting question. That's an interesting question, because like when I think of a 30-foot radius, I don't really think of it being like a dome. It's, it's kind of... Is it dome? If it specifies radius, it's dome. Okay. Uh, so it would be like a case, sphere and it's full. Tangible. In that yeah, case, so 30 foot tall at its highest point and then 30 feet out at its widest point. Yeah, so at that yeah. the worst. Uh, with tax, okay. you won't be able to see anything, unfortunately. So everything's going to be at disadvantage right now. Everything is awful. Uh, well, the lesion, <laughs> the lesion is not in anything. The lesion is kind of like out on the side. Oh, no? Uh, very much visible. Yeah, the lesion is not in oh, the Oh, perfect. Fog, yeah, I'll go up the to lesion. them because I bet being a tree, they have regenerative crap, right? So I'm going <laughs> to... That's both R.A.M.Z. and Dismara guessing that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, it's a fair guess. It's a fair guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go up and swing with my short sword of wounding. Go for it. And miss with an 11. Nope, yeah. I lied. With okay. a... Math, uh, yeah. 15. With the math. 15 misses, unfortunately, yeah. Second hit. God damn it. <laughs> a nine. Um, okay, well, since I'm close now, I'm just gonna bring up Quen, and that'll okay. be my turn. Okay, okay. Um, da -da -da -da, that makes it, uh, Brianna. Yeah. Um, I am, before I pull out any weapon, I'm going to just kind of take a very just kind of like sailor moon like girl power like stop in the name of the moon or i punish you kind of pose and but with my head the head back like this and you see there's a ring on my hand and from the ring little um pink little orbs of light are gonna come out and i'm using my ring of shooting stars to cast fairy fire on the creatures in the fog to hopefully not cancel out that disadvantage because they'll be covered by glowy little lights. Does that require you to have vision of, or or is it just kind of uh, like an area of effect? Kind no, of thing? each object in a twenty foot cube within yeah. range. And you knew where they were before they before, before the fog was there. So yeah. yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, they need to make dexterity saves, please. Uh... Is our DC is eight plus proficiency plus wisdom? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's a 17 for the Ignis Fatus. Okay, that makes it. And the Kikimor My wisdom, queen, not so good. Kikimor Queen is a 6. Hey, hey, she fails. <laughs> so yeah, we'll say the, this, this, the Kikimor Queen, even though that's, is, it's uh, covered in fog, there's this like faint like light shining from a certain point in the fog, yeah. which indicates that that's where the Kikimor Queen, or at least to you in the fog, something's there that you can hit, so that will cancel, exactly. out, cancel out the disadvantage. So there we just go. To hit that. Uh, dope. And then I will bonus action also bring up my Quen sign because something's probably going to hit me in this fog while I was casting that. You so. have to use a melee attack to oh, use Oh, I do. I do. True, I do. True. Then I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm I'm probably going to do nothing then because I don't think I have any other bonus actions. Okie dokie. Uh, you could drink meal. a potion. Drink a potion. I sure. don't have any potions. Um, any. I don't do the alchemy thing. <laughs> uh, Fair enough. Uh, I mean, every witch it can, but I guess she's too busy making makeup. <laughs> I <laughs> was. I was too busy <laughs> looking, too busy going trying to, to compensate for her mannish appearance. I spent the break <laughs> trying to apply my makeup. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have I any mean... bonuses that I can do. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Corneille. But I cast Fairy Fire and it helps, so. Yeah. So, um, 
So we're still in the fog. I guess I'm with Briona because I, I, for some reason, I thought Ari was still with us, but they went to fire the ears. Correct. So me and Briona are near the well. Yes. Um, Briona was able to pinpoint before the um, the fog happened where the foglet superior is, right? Um. You saw it, but but you don't know whether it moved or not. Or yeah, anything. I, I know right. where its last location yeah. was. Right. So we roughly knew where it was, and we now know where the um, the Kiki Moore is. Correct. And the lesson so is, the lesson is still out and about outside of the fog, vibing. Yeah. Right, but we can't see them. Uh, if oh, we're in the, in the fog. True. Yeah. True. 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 Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do mm -hmm. is based off of that similar placement. I'm going to begin casting a greater spell and drawing a line from myself. I'm going to lead it forward, mm -hmm. kind of around where I thought the um, the, the the foglet was, okay. and then bring it over around to where the queen is. Okay. I'm casting Wall of Fire. That's oh. fucking sick. Okay. As suddenly, also, this Blatima, should Blatima, hopefully... Blatima. Destroy some of the fog as well, because it's fire disrupting fog spells. That usually is a thing. Um, that, that's normally. Yeah, I don't know. Absolutely, if, if it's in the ability, it's a, an ability the creature. So it's like it's like a magical fog kind of situation. That, Not that, normal that, that, fog. That the fog lets summon. So it's kind of like eh, you know. No worries. I was just wondering because fog cloud also gets destroyed by fire. Yeah, no, I, I get, I get it, and normally it would, but because this is more like an innately, uh, no problem, an innate ability that it's using. That won't work. So, if it's still there, I would get it would need to make a deck save, and yep. the queen is still stunned, right? Uh, yes. The queen fails. automatically fails. Pretty sure. Mm. All right, I'm gonna start rolling then. Ooh. Let me. The Ignis Fatus rolled a 13. 17 is the DC to beat. There you go. Nice. So yeah, both the Kikimor and the Ignis Fatus get hit by the... So the that's 22 fire. fire damage. 22 fire damage. Damn. But, um, boom. I mean, up some fried bug. I gotta quickly do one There's of these. 60-foot long winding wall, 20 feet high, and a foot thick. And it only damages on one side of the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Can we see through the wall? It is opaque, so you cannot. Totes and forge. But then again, it's like the majority of it is in like a thick like fog cloud anyway, so seeing was never going to be really an option there. Seeing was never an option. Yeah. It's so, like yeah. It's like why is this fog orange? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Why is it orange fog? Oh, well, it's it being like nipped at by these fucking locusts, yeah. these fucking oh, locusts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna also start moving away from the well, not toward the firewall, and try and make my way out of the fog. Uh, yeah, you can, and that will also give you vision uh, of the Leshen, who's kind of like chilling outside of the fog. Do, do I make it out? Because you said it reduced chilling speed, right? It does reduce speed, but because uh, it centered the fog kind of in the middle, uh, with what you have thirty feet normally. Yeah, yeah. So with fifteen feet, you can make it so that you're just outside the fog perimeter. Sounds good. Okie dokie. Uh, it is now the Kikimor's turn, but it's going to spend a turn trying to break out of the stun. So, uh, again, is that, a, is that an intelligence save? Intelligence save, okay. Uh, pff, natural 19, minus 2, so 17. Uh, it makes it. That makes it? Okay, Frog so lady not smart. No longer stunned. Uh, <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll go back to uh, Demond. Uh, I mean, I'm right on the edge of a fog cloud, and there's a wall of fire. Sorry. Uh, when a creature ends their turn next to the wall, they take more fire damage. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, just roll that then. Oh, I dropped my D8. Come nice. back. Oh, there it goes. Oh, D8, dice. why? At All least right, different dice. D4. Then he's going to go walk out, forget he's dropped that D8, and be like, ah! My f At least it's not a metal D4. I've had that happen to before. Uh, another 18 fire damage. Another 18 fire damage. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Not stepped on a metal D4. I have stepped on a like a sharp edge resin one though. Ugh. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. Okay, uh, that's Kiki Morse's turn. Uh, Demon. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where the fuck they is. <laughs> you're, in, you're in the fog, buddy. 
I'm in the fog, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in the fog. I, I don't even know that one of them is not in the fog because I am in the fog. True. We are in the I beam. Am... I am going to um frick it. Just frick it. Frick it. Uh, if I wanted to hide in the fog, is that an action or a bonus action? Hmm. I'll say that because the fog is there, it makes your job pretty easy, so I'll say that's a bonus action. Because I know it I doesn't require much effort. About so. about Plus hiding. there's also this like non-see-through wall of fire kind of making it so that they can't see through towards you anyway, so like yeah. Not much effort for you to try and hide yourself within the fog. Okay. Uh so I need to roll stealth. With advantage. Uh, 26. Okay. And... <laughs> I'm gonna... Oh, me. I did a boo-boo. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna quickly, retroactively, um, do some things. Real quick. Okay. Um, Cornel. Thank you, James. You started your turn in the fog, correct? I sure did. Okay. Um, uh -oh. oh no! Oh, oh it's painful no. fog! You take I don't want it. eight Why points of psychic spiced? damage from just oh. being in the fog. Oh my uh, god! You didn't end your turn in the fog though, because you moved out, so you're all good. Um, okay. Demond, you saw your turn I in the fog. I started my turn in the fog. So, you take also eight points of psychic damage. No likey. Carry on. Um. <laughs> Carry on! <clears throat> Sorry, that completely threw my train of thought. Hiding yeah. was a, a bonus action for me there? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm a... I know vaguely where they were, right? Like... Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm a... Just... I want to say that I start heading for the Leshen, but I also don't know that the Leshen's not in the fog. All I know is that I didn't want to head for the one that was acid resistant. Or okay. acid immune. Mm -hmm. So, do I just roll to see which one I head towards? Because sure. I don't know that one of them's not in the fog. Sure, yeah, go for it. Uh, f I got an eight. So that's your decision which way I go. So I would just say, you know, roll a d4 minus one or something to make my okay. life a little easier. <laughs> I mean... Roll a d4 and half it, because I'm D6 not going for the bug. Oh yeah, it's true, yeah. Uh, fucking three. <laughs> what? Three, so one and a half. Yeah, so okay. we'll say one, uh, which I've numbered the lesson as number one, so you make Thank your way... Fuck for that. Um... <clears throat> Let me think. Because you were, you were pretty... You were closer to... to... The like I would point say of origin from... of the fog. And if you want to would... if you want to make your way towards the lesion like efficiently, um, I'll give you the choice. What would you do? Would 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 Demond step back out of the fog and go around it, or would he just go straight through the fog because that's the shortest the shortest route in theory? Um, I feel like he would go around it on the pure basis of using it to as cover from the others. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have enough movement to get there. Um, but... You won't, but you'll... It, it's, it'll take you 10 feet to get out of the fog, and then you have 20 feet left, which puts you about 20 feet away from where the Leshen is standing currently. Okay. Instead of the fact that you have to go around. Uh, then I'll use my action to apply <laughs> more poison to Flame Tongue. Okay, so now both of your blades are coated in poison? Yes. And because cool. I am School of the Viper, they count as oils and not poison, so they last for an hour, not a minute. Awesome. Ooh, that's, that's a sick. cool feature. Okay, um, Wilhelm. So, hold on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you're well, in the fog, well, maybe. Yeah, there's First a lot of it. you start your turn in the fog. Yes. So you take uh, nine All points of psychic damage. damage. Nice. Then, you also 
Oh, you'll turn in the fucking insect swarm? The you start your turn in the insect plague. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, no. Uh, creature also makes a saving throw when it enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn. Oh, or ends its turn there. Never mind. That's not okay. a thing yet. But okay. you do start your turn within 20 feet of the Kikimor. Okay. Which means that it's, you know, the, the pheromones that I, just, that I talked yeah. about hit you. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. I'm gonna use my advantage. Okay. For 18. 18? Mm. You pass save. The pheromones don't seem to affect you. I... So, let me get this straight of what my hell of a life is right now. <laughs> it's not looking good, man. My hell I, of a life. There's locusts am, nipping, nip, just on, nipping on your arms nipping and legs. I'm in a fog cloud. That hurts in your front head for of some me, reason. In front of me is a giant insect, but in front of that, between me and this giant insect, is a wall of fire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's that what I'm correct. kidding, right? That is that, that's that, is that my understanding how? of the playing field <laughs> right now that I'm in? Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So, <laughs> yeah. am I able... Is is there a way for me to walk forward the fuck out of all of this shit and only get hit by one of them? <laughs> or uh, You'll be able to them. leave the locust swarm, Yep, but you won't be able to leave the fog. Oh, is Kikimo, like, right in the fucking middle of this fog? Uh, yeah, but there's also a wall of fire kind of separating you two. Yeah, but I could... How... How far across me is this wall of fire going? What's... How long does the wall of fire get, Danny? It is 60 feet, and we mm. did have to kind of, like... Yeah, you curve, curve it, it so I'll say, from, from where, uh, uh, Cornel was, like, by the... Oh, it's by, half You, speed were, you were by the well, and you have half speed. So there's just no feasible way where you're gonna get around the wall of fire, out of the fog, out of everything to... There's no feasible... There's, there's no way. Is there a way? How how far back does Wall of Fire hit? Is it five or ten feet? It only does damage uh, from it, one side. It damages, right? it damages from one side. Apparently, um, you're on the side that's not going to damage it. Yeah. But on the opposite side, it is ten feet out. Right, but it's right next to me, right? Because it has to be. Because if I'm within five feet of the other one, yeah. it has to be like right. In front it's of like face. it's like right in front of you, but you aren't on the hot so side. So I've yeah. got so I've got fifteen feet of movement. Mm -hmm. Can I move through the wall of fire? You can. You will take the damage. Right. But will I no longer be in the fucking awful hell that is those two other clouds? Um. I think you'll still be in the fog, man. Oh, God. Hey. <laughs> like, it's a 30 foot radius. And it, 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 it kind of got centered on you a little bit. So, like, you, oh, God. <laughs> because actually with 15 feet, I could like... Just get out of the wall. If you hell. hate him, just I'd say take, so. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd take the one hit from walking through it, but then I'd be fine. Well, actually, I could, get, I could do that. I'm just taking cloud damage, right? If I just go the 15 feet, I take the hit from the wall once, and I'll just be taking fog cloud damage, right? Correct. So I'll be out of the insect. I'll do that. Walk 15 feet forward. You take okay. fog cloud damage at the end of your turn and the start, though, right? Yeah, but it, well, that's, better than, start, that's better than taking two lots of, like, <clears throat> insect insect fire and like <laughs> fog if i can Could get you rid of two simply fuck about the fog cloud you got dealt a pretty shit hand koiba i'll be honest yeah but i want to yeah but here's the thing you know what it i want to i want to kill the fucking big bug okay <laughs> i want to kill the big bug you know what this is all this is all karma for this is all karma for our collective ptsd when we see a duck thanks to your quack one shot that's what this is my guy Dude. really gave God, us you a make someone fight battle royale ducks. one shot where he made us fight a swarm of ducks. If if you're tired of us having to try to figure this out, why not donate five dollars so that Koiba can do it all? True. <laughs> yes. <laughs> make it go away. Make Koiba, it go away. Make it go away with donations. It's possible. It's possible. How much do I have to donate to make it go away? <laughs> <laughs> Chat. Koiba spends Fuck his you. own money. To someone get out. donate a fiver and make the fog cloud follow Wilhelm. <laughs> Will follow me instead. <laughs> that is you take double possible, damage yeah. from the. You take the best double part damage is, from the. Like cloud. anyone else, Dutch might be like, I oh, don't know, you have to probably do more than five dollars. But because it's Koiba, he's like, nah, I'll do it for two. <laughs> <laughs> do it for free, done. No. If it's negative, uh, for free. If it's uh, if it's positive for Koiba, then uh, very expensive. <laughs> Fifty dollars for him to get one HP back. 
Oh. Anyway, I will. I will. Turn, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will take the hit of the wall. Okay. To get oh, out boy. of the fucking. Because like I can't, I can't hit through the wall, right? This is the assumption I'm making. I can't attack through that wall. A lot of like mega disadvantage, right? Like I'm just gonna. You'll like, have. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Can you hit through? The wall? I mean, well, the range of it is ten feet anyway, so. Well, I'll True. still take damage anyway as I like attack through the wall, right? The, the wall I'm going is through opaque. it. Hey. Yeah, oh, I can't see if you can you. I know the thing was stunned for a turn, so I know it's still sort of in front of me. Just... But, like, do I technically go through the wall? I mean, I, technically, I guess, yes, because, like, a part of your body moves through the wall. Going right? through the wall, so, right? Man, this is so, some, what's your so melee no range? These finicky rule shit. So, dude, no, ma so no matter what, I'm going to be taking the fire damage. No, so I might Kruger, as well just what's your, walk what's your melee it. range? Five feet? Five feet, yeah. Dude, it was you would have foot. to be stood in the wall minimum. You couldn't attack through it because the wall is oh, ten foot thick. Oh fucking yeah, no! It? The, the the wall is a foot thick. Or is it? A f but it, it yeah, damages it out to ten, ten feet, feet from one side. So you would have to put your arm through the wall and take damage because you. Yeah. yeah. Then I will. I will. Yeah. Then I'm taking damage anyway to attack this thing. So I'm I'm walking through it. I walk. Okay. I walk through the wall like straight fucking forward. <laughs> so I knew where the bug thing is. I'm gonna fucking just kill myself. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna take twenty one points of fire damage. <gasps> Do I have to make a dex save? Uh, do no. That's for anybody who uh when they when it shows up. If you pass through the wall or end your turn within ten feet, you just take the damage. That's just <laughs> fucking cringe, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. I'm very good at what I do. This is why you we should work to... together, y'all. This is why the yeah, rules true. making like, I'm just like... <gasps> friends in the battlefield just makes things complicated. <gasps> you know, like yeah. What the fuck? So I will <laughs> fucking up. the fifteen foot. Fo am I? I'm still in the fog. Mm -hmm. Great, but I'm no longer being fucked with. I can't get hit by the wall. Like I've walked away far enough th yeah. away from the wall as well that like, the wall yeah. of fire is not hitting me. I'm in the back of this fucking big thing, so I'm just gonna roll with disadvantage to hit, uh, hit no, this. because it's very fired, so you get a normal. Roll. It's very fired. So it's just a straight roll. You're welcome. Friends will always screw you over. It's gonna be shit. Straight roll. It's gonna be that shit. That one incoming. It's gonna be shit. It's gonna be shit. Thirty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. It's... <laughs> Woo! Fuck. What a rush time. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna re-roll these two shitty dice. Cool. <laughs> oh, and one of them got worse. Great. <laughs> Love Savage Attacker. <laughs> so that is for uh <laughs> what a... fuck. This is this map this... you've drawn, Ethan. What's the green dot? Oh, I'm gonna cry. The enemy. That is it... twenty. And what's the black damage? Dot? Twenty-three. Where Wilhelm damage. could be. Yep. Uh um... two step through the wall to be and my right second round. attack oh you got another one <laughs> <laughs> fuck's sake 13 does not hit unfortunately i <laughs> this is hell this is actually hell i mean i've made for myself like, oh, completely and it's, and it's not over dude <laughs> <laughs> now it's i will bonus action drink one of my fucking potions <laughs> yeah is it just a greater that I get for the? What one is it? The the, 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 the the that one? You know, the the oh, swallow yeah. potion. Uh, four d four. Cool. And I get an extra plus two, right? Because of, of Witcher Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime oh, you heal, I believe, yeah. right? So. Cool. So four. <laughs> four is fifteen plus seventeen. <laughs> healed back up. So I'm still on the negative from the firewall, but it's fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's fine. Um, Everything's fine. Is that your turn? <laughs> yeah. Can you make a deck save, please? Oh my god. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, a deck save? Yeah, easy. It's not me, I swear. Dutch, for the sake of my uh, sanity. Can the fog cloud move? Nineteen. Nineteen. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> you uh, you take half damage. Oh. As these. Four illusory foglets just starts dashing by you, lashing at you with with a claw, and it just whoosh, and they just dissipate. Um, so you take half because you made the save. So there is that. Uh, Yay. six, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. So eight points of slashing damage as these like illusory foglets just like drive by. Wait, you. How much? Eight. Eight. Oh, eight. I thought it eighteen. I was like, no, it was sixteen, fuck? but the, the half because you <laughs> no. you resisted. 
wild. Man, that was a roller coaster. Uh, fuck. We got there. We got there, huh? It's we now the Russian's it. turn. Um, is insect plague concentration? I would assume yeah, it is. That yes, is a it is. Question. Okay, it's good to know. Um, the Leshen, uh targets up two creatures that it can see within ninety feet of it, so it's going to target both. Uh, Brianna, you're still you're out of the fog, right? No. Are you in the fog? Oh, you did. You haven't. Had I never. I fog. haven't moved. True. I haven't moved. My only um, one turn I've had, I fairy fired and I didn't move. In that case, it's going to go for REMZ and Demond, I think. Because they're both within 90 feet of it. Um, <laughs> I need you guys to both make a really? dexterity saving throw. Um, which Fine, monster is this? Sorry, I'm stupid. Huh? Which monster is this? Sorry, I'm the stupid. Lesson. Okay. <laughs> Nine. Nine? Nice. nice. 16. 16. You both fail. <laughs> oh no! As these tree roots, uh, as it's using an ability <gasps> called Root Strike, and these tree roots just gonna get stabbed. come out of the ground around you and don't stab you, but swirl around you and <gasps> squeeze, and oh, no. you are both grappled as well <gasps> as you both take. Oh, I know. Less than used bind. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, you both take 10 points of bludgeoning damage and you are considered grappled by these it's large super roots. effective. Uh oh. And you, uh, until this grapple ends, you are considered restrained. Um, oh, fuck me. And that's it, pretty much. With Quen up, that'll be half to five, right? Uh, yes. <gasps> oh okay. my god. And I'm you restrained. You had Quen on, didn't you? No. <laughs> I'm resistant to all non magical bludgeoning, piercing, and <laughs> damage. Oh my god. Oh, good god. one, dude. <laughs> Dummy. That's Dummy not on me to dick. remember that, Koi, but that's, that's on not, you, bro. Yeah, that's not a DM problem. That's on you, bro. <laughs> Just remembered. It's because it, it hadn't come, come out, I didn't take any damage last fight. <laughs> so I was like, alright, oh, it's fine. Oh my god, I so, can take so much less damage. Being restrained, what limitations? Like, is that just a movement speed thing? Uh, or are my are arms tied up? Restrained, you... Uh, you are unable to move, your speed becomes zero. Uh, attack rolls we against have... you have advantage, and your attack rolls have disadvantage. Uh, you also have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay. Basically, if we don't get out soon, we fuck it. Yeah. All right, that's the lesson's turn. It, it is now the Ignis Fatus, who, uh... <sighs> what is he gonna do, man? I don't fucking know. Um... He's gonna be angry. He's <clears throat> good, chill. Gangy. It's gonna... Move away from the fucking firewall is what he's gonna do. First of all, nah, he should stick. Uh, does he take damage from starting a turn? There is only when he ends a turn. No, there. ending. Okay, ending or moving through. So he's gonna move the fuck away from that, uh, which will also. Damn. I mean, he doesn't get limited by the movements of the fog. That's just just a you guys thing, and he can see through the fog perfectly well. Oh, um, so he's just going he's to. Lame. He's gonna have a meander towards Brianna, I think. Just have a little uh, leisurely stroll towards Brianna. Is Brianna and, uh... on the other side of the f of the firewall? Uh, that's a good question. Well, I'm on the non-hurting was... side. So yeah. would it have to yeah, walk you, through but the wall? Brianna is also was next to Cornel when Cornel cast Me. it, so it'll be able to with its movement because it's it has more than thirty feet movement speed, so it, it'll be able to. It just circles around. Yeah, it circles okay. around and, and gets behind what a you, bitch. Brianna. What a bitch. Uh, making it step uh, out of the fog, uh, though. So, or, like, just, yeah, to get behind Brianna, it basically has to step out of the fog because Brianna's, like, on the edge. This uh, is the Ignis, Ignis Fatus, you yeah. said? And it yeah. is going to. Uh, Ignis make, Fatass? Make, I call him that. <laughs> it's going to make two claw attacks at you. Okay. Can I call uh, first one's a 26 to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, second one is a 14 to hit. Misses. Okay. Um, bop. And. This one and this one. It's gonna hurt. Mm. You take 13 points of slashing damage. Wait. Okay. Let's quickly pull that to make sure to. Okay. Uh, and that is its turn. Uh, Ari, you're up. Me? Okay, so. You're Can. Being, you're being hugged by tree roots right now. 
You're being hugged aggressively. Aggressively. <laughs> Would I be able to reach up to like this zone and pull something off my robe? Um, How much of her arms are. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you can't move, but you'll be able to. You're able to attack when you're restrained, so you'll be able to, you know. Oh, I can just attack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, if I can just attack. It's like it's got your torso, baby. There's yeah, like vines wrapping like, around you from moving, has, like, but you have. It's grappled around your torso, making it so that you can't okay. go anywhere, but your, ar you, you, your arms are free, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So okay, so then, then I'm gonna take my dagger you do then. You have disadvantage on the attacks, though, yeah, true. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take my dagger and stab at the roots that are okay. hugging me. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Wait, I have disadvantage? Yes. Yeah. God damn it. I had a natural 20. No! <laughs> and a fucking 6, so 13. <laughs> Ooh, uh, no. I hate my uh, life! But I can so try, again, try again, right? Best. I have two yeah, attacks. You, try again. you try your best, but... Two nat 20s incoming. Let's go. I know, right? Just both at the same time. Okay, okay. I got a, a 19 and a 16, so yeah, uh, yeah. 23 that time. Okay, roll damage for me. Um, dang it! Four damage. How much? Four. Uh, you start chipping away at the roots, but um, it's not enough to like break. It out is of them. my silvered dagger, though, so it acts like that would. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So at least it <laughs> doesn't get to half the damage to two, but... <laughs> true, true. It's, it's not enough, though, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, that, that's my turn, though. Um, okay. When a creature ends its turn restrained by this power, it's... Okay. So, as you end your turn, uh, you just feel another, like, squeeze by the roots that just kind of, like, tighten around you. Uh, you take another 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Can I... No, because my turn's over now. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that happens at the end of your turn. So if you want to do something yeah. before that, sure, but uh, you can't, like, do something in response to the... the yeah, yeah, no. I I mean, I would have just re-upped yeah. Quen, but since it didn't hit me until after... Yeah. Uh... D d d d d d yeah. Yeah, okay. Um... Okay, Brianna. Okay. Um... How many feet of movement will it take me to get out of the fog moving towards the direction of the Leshen so I can see? I just want to get enough out of the fog so I can see the Leshen. Um, first of all, you start turning turn the fog, so you do I take do. Um, seven points of psychic damage. Okay. Uh, you also know that you just got fucking clawed at, so you have something yeah. in your near vicinity, so if you're going to move away from it, it will, you know, it will swipe again. Yeah, well, I'm also going to take damage from fog, so I kind of have to, so yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and just get out of the fog. So I can see okay. the lesson. Um Well, okay. Uh, if you just like step out of the fog, because it's only five feet, so you use ten feet. Yeah, of basically, movement. I'm just getting um, ducking out of it. Uh, you can you can make that. You can step out of the fog without leaving the Ignis Fatus's melee. Oh, and you can okay. Then, then I'm gonna try and do that. Do. Okay. And then, <laughs> how far away is the lesson from me? Like thirty, because they went uh, thirty to shoot their like they shot the thing, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. about thirty. Feet, thirty. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am then going to, um like while still facing or not facing but just like keeping you know kind of awareness of the the ignis fat ass uh <laughs> just kind of like the hand with the ring just kind of like point like my throw my hand out towards the leshen and my friends mm -hmm. and more balls of light are gonna come out of the ring but this time yeah. they're brighter a bit bigger more concentrated and a bit more intense okay. and i am going to use it to cast shooting stars i'm gonna expend Ooh. three charges so each of those little glowing um, balls goes out towards behind, like zooms around the lesson and behind it. So I want to mm -hmm. make a 15 foot cube, but it's behind it. So I don't get the, my allies that it's grappling. Okay. Um, sure. So it's hitting the backside of it and it has to make a dexterity save for Ooh, me. Uh, 13. Fails. There you go. Uh, and it's three charges, so it happens three times. So I think it needs to make three dexterity saves to see if it can maybe dodge some, but not all. Or uh, What's you know? the spell? Shooting stars? Shooting stars. Uh, you launch a... a glowing mode of light at a point you can see within 60 feet of you. Each creature within a 15-foot cube uh, from that point is showered in sparks. Must make a DC 15 dex save. 
So if I put all the cute, all the glowing balls, aim them at the same place, really, it's dodging the same thing, like from the same uh, position. Yeah, gonna... I need more. Deep, yeah, I need so more like, that, uh, I'm, I'm reading it as if like because you can choose whether to expend one to one to three charges. Yeah, and I expended three, so I'm doing it three and times. Every charge is a separate like ball that does five d four fire damage. Yeah, it'll 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 make three separate saves for that then. Yeah. So I can go ahead and make two more saves if you want. Uh, that's a two. Fail. And that's seven. Nice. Okay. So on the first that's shooting fire star, damage the... against yes, the tree fire guy. Damage. That's Ooh. what I figured. I figured he's not gonna like it. So the first rain of sparks, he takes three, five, seven, eleven, fifteen points of fire damage from the first one. As the first one impacts, you can hear this just very loud, just like squeal. As like the eyes, nice. the purple eyes begin to burn brighter, and it just it it starts to catch fire and the fire spreads and it just it starts writhing and and hoping and some, it like, drops you guys roots, before it burns you. <laughs> some roots just kind of like jut out of the out of the earth around it and then submer so like go back under. It does not seem to handle fire very well. All right. Uh, the next rain of sparks does four, eight, eleven, fourteen. 17 points of fire damage. Fucking hell. And the final one, this is good use of all the charges. Uh, the final one. Oh, that one's got to roll one of those again. Okay. 4, 8, 11, 15, 16 points of fire damage on the third one. You dealt. Damn. You dealt 96 points of damage to it. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it and it was with D4s, baby. It is vulnerable Maybe. to fire. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Who would have thought that wooden tree guy does not like fire, huh? Not me. So How not me. weird. Um, right? Anyway, All right. I'll say that You're because lying. of this just insane amount of damage, it completely loses focus. Like, there's no way I make, I make this save. There's no way I make this fucking save. There's just no way. <laughs> so the it's roots, half, the it's roots ten, that are it's grappling you two just, like, disappear. Just break and <laughs> jump back on the ground. What was that called? Uh, You're welcome. Is the, is the insect take concentration as well. <laughs> oh, it... Guys, you're so it welcome. Is. <laughs> it is, it is. So, Ooh. I mean, there's no way. So the insect plague also just... Disperses. I did that. I've lit up the Kikimora. Y'all yeah, are going to be lost without me. Half. Jesus. Lost without me. And that's my turn because I'm not... I don't want to move further because I'll get the opportunity attack from the Ignis. And I can't bonus action Quen because that wasn't a melee attack. So Holy that's fuck. my turn. All right, Jesus, what a turn But worth it. Uh, worth the loss of a bonus hell. action. Corneal. All right, well, I got out further from the fog cloud last turn, so mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to step away from the amazing fire display that just happened <laughs> and save some fire for the rest of us. Jeez. And I'm going to do cantrip, cantrip. So nice. So casting my fire bolts. Let's see if we can hit, though. Take a guns. Surely you can. Uh, a tw 23 to hit. Yup. Or oh, 18 fire damage on the first one. Nice. Are you going for tree man? Yeah, I'm totally going for tree man. I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> because Bugman's about to eat his booty pipe, but but he's no, in the fog man. and I can't see him. Bug, well, you can't. He's lit up. It would be a straight mind. roll. It would be a straight roll on him because he has the fairy fire, the bug man. Oh, it's That's a like, no, 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 like, Don't what don't let me sway your decision. I just Laura said, why would he? Oh, someone said Eleven. why would he? Eleven does not hit, unfortunately. So the second, the second one just <laughs> flies wide. But uh, it is like currently the legend is on fire. It is screaming, and the way it's it screams, angry. it just it sounds just like it just sounds like trees falling. That is the sound oh, it makes. That's make, weird. Like, like, that's really screams. cool. Like it's almost like you near a forest, and it just sounds like there's trees in that forest just like falling over and collapsing. But the sound is or is is originating from. The lechen uh, in front of you. Cool. Yeah. The lechen screams in the forest and no one's there to see it. Did really <laughs> oh my the god. The scream. Yeah. I'm going to continue to move away from the fog cloud. <laughs> That's good. That's a good idea. Okay. Um, is that your turn? Yes, it is. Alrighty. Uh, the Kiki Moore is uh, going to step away enough from the firewall. But still remain because it's fucking massive. Still remain in melee with uh, Wilhelm. 
Wilhelm. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to first try and use its its one of its stingers on you, and then it's going to try and Dangers. bite you with its big round mouth. Wow! I saw that one coming. <laughs> can you can you? Uh, uh, Quibi, you should pick it up and throw it. <laughs> I have a question. Yeah. I have a question, Mr. M. Is it affected by the fog? Uh, it would be actually. That's a good shout. Cause... Woo! <laughs> Uh, well, I was like, I'll take anything. Okay. Stinger is now a 12 to hit. Misses. The bite is a... Oh, boy. Uh, the bite is a 21 to hit with disadvantage. Damn. Son of a bitch. Lacey <laughs> <laughs> is 19. Uh, so you take... Uh, I hate when I... Okay. Some dice that I have just are very hard to read. Uh, 17 points of piercing damage. Is that not magical? Uh, technically, yeah, no magical. Uh, halved. Okay. Um, you are medium or smaller, correct? I'm like an Eden. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to be to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, got so much. Good news, guys. How much points does it take? So 17, so half to eight. Yes. Cool. I need to make a what save dex? Dex save, yeah. Mm, I'm so glad I used it on that wisdom one. Goodbye, Wilhelm. We'll, we'll know exactly where he is because of the fairy fire. True. What's your roll? It's gonna be the worst tasting thing it's ever eaten. Eight. Eight. <laughs> oh no. You oh. get swallowed by the Kikimore. You are rendered <gasps> blind and restrained. You have total oh, no. cover against attacks uh, and other effects outside the Kikimore. Um. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get interesting in here, boys. You are, uh, really you are inside. You are inside the Kikimore's just gut now. You are being yo Wilhelm's dying, and you're just Wilhelm's slowly dying. being digested now. No, no, Enjoy no, no, that. no, no, no. Wilhelm, <laughs> Wilhelm is about to be a hero. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Unless you pull a Hercules, and you're gonna like slash it up from Hercules. the inside. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> No, I'm right. the big man with two great swords, dude. I can just like fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Demon. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's like this thing. Demon. Um, I mean, I'm no longer restrained, right? Correct. Tree man still alive. Struggling, but still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go change that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go towards Tree Man. Okay. Like bypassing the Ignis Fatus that's closer to you, and you're just gonna fucking yep. beeline it to the Russian. Tree right. Man's the only one that's been fucking with me so far. Yeah, fair. I mean, you got, uh, you got a little headache, right, from the from the fog cloud, I guess. Yeah, but that's fog. I don't know that that's <laughs> fog, man. Yes, you do. You're but, a witcher. You do. <laughs> I don't care that that's fog, man. That's better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not in the fog. It's not my problem. Um, I'm going to be a little unorthodox. I'm going to use Flame Tongue for my main attacks and then swap to Dragon's Wrath for my offhand. Okay. Whoa. Because it doesn't, you don't have to specify a hand, it's just you make a bonus action with a weapon in the other hand. Yeah, that's true. It's a uh, slight less uh, hit chance. And but... I mean, Witchers dual wield shit all the fucking time anyway, so they're very yeah. dexterous. So even if that was a rule and. Who cares? Um, You're a witcher. More like a little bitch. <laughs> Says the one being fucking eaten right now. Nah, and not but... in the fun way. <laughs> you don't. Wilhelm's very much finding this fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the closest he's getting like to insects a bath. now. Yes. Will Wilhelm is like better than I in Guardians the too, just like living it up inside and slashing away. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude yeah, this is the Ooh. best buff I've had. It's burning my flesh off. <laughs> Alright, uh, first attack is a, a 17. 17? <laughs> Just hits. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be... 10 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. uh, 4 points of poison damage. Okay. And 6 points of fire damage. Oh boy. Yeah, poison doesn't seem to really bother him that much. Fire, though, on the other hand, fire ban. Resistant or immune? Uh, it did not seem to get any uh, to take any okay, effect. Okay, so I don't poison. have to roll that dice anymore. Cool. No. Were you attacking bug or tree? Tree. Okay. Bugs, bug. I'm not going nowhere near. It's immune to acid, so one of my swords is basically worthless. Yeah. 
Uh, so I was like, I'm gonna. Next hit. <laughs> That's a spicy natural twenty. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, I won't bother rolling poison then. No, um, I don't. It's, it's immune. So. Five, ten, fourteen, seventeen points of slashing damage. Okay. And fourteen points of fire damage. And that takes care of one of your three problems as hey. you just yes. swing your swords at this at this lesson eventually the fire just builds and builds and builds and with one final just loud scream that just sounds like a bunch of fucking trees being cut down and just falling and collapsing all around you hearing just like the wood like crack and break as it goes down it just completely explodes and just like oh, no. leaves nothing behind but a pile of branches and bramble and this like weird skull like this weird like deer like skull with uh with the the like brambly uh, uh antlers. I wonder if I can keep You said that. explode, I thought like I pictured like bark shrapnel exploding. Like, oh, it, it, it had a grenade. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh that's one of your three your three problems dealt with. Do I have enough movement to make it to any of the others? Uh how much movement do you have total? Thirty. Uh you use pretty much your full movement to get to the lesson. Okay, I'm gonna bonus action Quen on myself. Okay. And that's a okay. my turn. Right. It's that no one has actually seen me get eaten. <laughs> True. I have just disappeared. Didn't I see you? No, because I was, I was, in, the fog. I was in the fog. Oh. Because I was in the fog. So um, what's happened is I was fighting Bug and I've just gone. <laughs> You're gone. You're no doubt. Well, we know you just, yeah, you turned tail and ran. Oh, you fuck this. Wilhelm. I have a couple of questions to ask about this is uh, about to happen before, here. Before, oh wait, what are your questions? Oh no. So, technically am I in the fog because I'm in the stomach of a bug? Uh, no, but you are still... Nah, no, you won't, you. you won't get damage from the fog uh, headaches. And, you have other things and, to deal with. And are there pheromones in a stomach? Um, There's it's an aura, stomach? so <laughs> that indicates that it's something that just happens around the... Uh, but are there pheromones in a stomach? No. <laughs> No. This is the safest oh, he's been. Yes, he's I'm in the here. safest place in the world but right now. First things first, I'm the realist. I'm the realist. Um, oh no. Do I take a little stomach damage? Blind and restrained, blah blah blah. Uh, never mind. That is at the Kiki Morse. Start at the Kiki Morse turn. Never mind. Oh, great. Well, so with restrained, <laughs> do I just have disadvantage on attacks, right? Yeah. And I mean, blinded is anyway. Blinded would do the same thing. So you just have this disadvantage when you attack. Yeah. I assume they do that because you can be like, well, I'm inside it, so how can I miss? <laughs> You're also blind. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you can't see. You can't. No, that's what I'm saying. Like that, 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 right. they do the restrained part, so you can't just be like, I'm blind inside. How do I miss? It's yeah, the true, well, you're yeah. restrained. So disadvantage. Come on. You yeah, me. disadvantage is restrained. <gasps> I did it, me. Yes. <laughs> I rolled two fourteens, baby. Nice. <laughs> Twenty-five. That hits. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it looks like somebody's gonna get regurgitated. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my way out of it. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> uh, I'm going to savage attack. Oh, yes. Nine. I'm, I'm, I'm really Koiba. I want you yeah. to know that I want yeah. this to happen, bud. I really do. This is, this is 23 points damage. Okay. If he gets spat back out into the firewall. You have a second world. attack, correct? Yes, I do. Uh, okay, disadvantage though. Into the firewall. Uh, that's 19 to hit. That hits? Hell yeah. And. That's pretty good. I'm still gonna. Yeah, okay. Oh. Uh... 26 points of damage. <laughs> so what happens here, Wilhelm? Woo! Oh, oh, no, no, no. no. I is think that you just take your great sword and you start just almost like you're making like this like rowing motion almost. Of yeah. Just like just cutting a hole under you and you drop to the ground underneath this Kikimor, just like just directly under its stomach. Oh my God. And the Kikimor starts to just wobbling and you manage to just like get out of there as it just <laughs> collapses and just acid and blood just like just pouring nice. out of the stomach hole that you just created that's Actually, Kikimor just... dealt with and you are <laughs> you cut yourself free you are soaked with just blood yeah. and bile am I, and am I weird? Like and funnily enough organs. he smells better <laughs> i'm saying uh, uh, weird, weirdly cleanest i've ever been 
<laughs> the closest he'll ever get to a bath. Because, yeah. like, that's why I love the dirt. And yeah, like, it burned away the dirt, yeah. the corrosive quality. Now, I don't... <laughs> this is going to be really stupid, but mm -hmm. it's what we'll have to do on this fucking high that he's on right oh, now of oh, life. Oh, uh -huh. no, no, no. He's going to run back into the fog to find the... No, I'm still in the fog. You I'm oh. still... Can I... Go no. through the wall? It... No, I was just kind of like... <laughs> yeah, the wolf's still fucking nav cover up that <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that ruins that plan. I'm just gonna ig me into the fog and hope I hit something. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hit one of us. <laughs> no, it's gonna, there's, there's, a, there's a giant fucking firewall still in there. <laughs> yeah, there's... I'm going to... I'm just gonna back fully up the fog. I'm just gonna back up. 30 feet. I should have got my full movement right. I'm just going to get the fuck out of there. Uh, well, you're in the fog, so they you have movements, but you you already moved oh. towards Kikimura, so you'll be able to get out. Yeah, I'm just going to back up so I'm fully out. I just walk around my surroundings, don't see the big tree anymore. True. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck's this other one? Mm -hmm. um, and then I am going to uh, drink another, uh, my second, my last uh, potion. My last um, thingy potion. Uh, yeah. Healing one, because I have taken quite a bit of damage, being in hell. Yeah, that wasn't. You know, <laughs> you, you've had better days, that's for damn sure. <laughs> okay, Second sixteen turn. points of healing. There you go. Oh, I'm on. A, I'm on a pretty good high right now. I'm looking at epic D and D moment. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty fucking good right now. <laughs> uh, the Ignis Fatus. Just still has a Brianna in front of him, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because you didn't leave his melee. You just move out of the fog. I, yeah, while yeah, still I didn't leave his melee. It, so you could fucking hurl fire at the tree man. So yep. it is just, it's just gonna make two, two claw attacks at you. Uh huh. Uh, one is a 17 to hit. That hits. The other one is a 28 to hit. Yeah, both of those hit, baby. Mm hmm. Twenty-two plus six is twenty-eight plus six. You take thirty-four points of slashing damage. Oh, I don't like that. No, gotta get that Quan up. <clears throat> I did. I did you have did? Quan up. So you take up. half damage then. Uh, so that was thirty-four. You said. Yeah. So seventeen. Uh, and those okay. are two attacks. So your Quan does. Did you? Wait. I did. I, oh no, I, I didn't. Yeah. No, I didn't because did? I didn't have the melee. Cause I haven't meleeed. I've been doing no, uh, spelly shit. Yeah, it's been all magic. Somebody else, somebody else said that they put Quen up, so that's why I was like, oh yeah, I remember someone saying that they put Quen up at some point. So Mine like, is gone thanks to the tree hugging I did. Right. right so right. thirty-four. I'm it did thirty-four or thirty-one damage to me. Uh, thirty-four. 34. Okay. Yes. Oh, I'm officially now in half health. Bloodied. Yeah. Oh, big sad. All right, Ari. Me. Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm gonna take one of the stars off of my robe and throw it at the Igni friend, which will do magic missile at fifth level. Okay. Beam of stars, ring of shooting stars, throwing stars, yes. magic missile. Oh, uh, stars see. in their eyes, pop idol. Yeah. Dancing with the stars. If we make a group Balls. name, it has to have stars in the title. <laughs> Taxi driver. Stars of the hit again? TV show. 27 the damage. Gosh Wait. dang. All right. Uh, what's the damage type again? Force. 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 Oh, right. Yeah, of yeah. course. Um, making sure. Magic force. Mm -hmm. No, that, <laughs> is just, uh, that is just straight up 27 the force, Luke. points of damage. All right. Yeah. I'll start moving in closer so that if it's not dead by my next turn, I can smack it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, Brianna? Um, I guess we just go for the swords now because it doesn't really seem... Like the other two, there were obvious reasons to use fire. This one, not so obvious reason to use fire. But now we're going to take off the big, like, cloud strife size great sword off the back and go for attacks with the great sword. Hell yeah. That is 23 to hit. <laughs> yeah, the definitely. Fucker. Definitely. 
All right. So the first attack mm -hmm. does that roll their shit. Uh, nine points of slashing damage. Okay. And the second is the same thing. Twenty three to hit. Mm hmm. Roll better this time. Like literally one single point better. That does ten points Ooh. of slashing damage the second time. Okay. I literally okay. did more damage with my longsword than with the greatsword. I mean, that's that's just D&D for you in a nutshell, you know? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Okie dokie. Is that your turn? Uh, now I can bonus action Quen because right. I did a melee attack. Correct, correct, correct. That's my turn. Okie dokie. Uh, Corneal. I don't suppose there's any chance that uh, this fog is a concentration thing for it, is it? <laughs> um, It is. But um, it hasn't been... Ah, actually, hold on. It took the fucking... No, 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 no. Magic missile damage, right? Magic missile damage, which uh, it did not save, so the fog does dissipate. Good catch. Oh, good catch. yeah. Oh, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. And... Firebolt, firebolt. Let's go. Uh, come here, dice. <laughs> For a 23 to hit, I'm just going to roll both attacks and a 13 sure. to hit. Uh, 23 hits, 13 misses. Indeed. Or 12 points of fire damage. 12 points of fire damage. Let me quickly... <sighs> Look, because this asshole has a lot of, like, fucking resistances, immunities, vulnerabilities. Like, they fucking went all out. It overcomes <laughs> resistances because of my elemental fire expert feat. True. Uh, fire was not one of the resistances, though, luckily. So, but that's good to, that's good to know. How much damage was it again? Sorry? Uh, 12. 12 points. All right. And I'll uh, circle in and get a little closer. Sounds good. This guy is now also looking pretty bloodied. Uh, it's your turn. I'll drop concentration on the firewall. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Demond. Um, I mean, I'm going to go get in melee and hit the bitch. That is what you do. It is what I do, and I'm consistently average at it. Uh, can I position myself in such a way where I can flank with someone? Uh, yeah, absolutely. There's a there's a lot oh. of things happening around this. Uh, cool, this, cool, this, cool, this cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm gonna go back to using Dragon's Wrath as my main. Uh, that's a uh, 24 main. to hit. 24 to hit, yes. Uh, six, three, uh, 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. 6 points of acid damage. Um, okay. And I'm going to use my slasher feet. It has 10 foot less movement. Fucked and up. it has disadvantage on its attacks until my next turn. That's fucked up. Um, I'm gonna hit it again. Uh, for a uh, 21. Yep. Uh, 5, 11, 14 slashing damage. 14 slashing damage, yes. And uh, 9 acid damage. 9 acid damage, alrighty. It's still alive. Ice on. I'm gonna bonus action with the flame tongue scimitar. Uh, 23 to hit. Yes, sir. Uh, 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. And 7 points of fire damage. Okie dokie. Anything else for you, love? Nope, that's my turn. Alright, oh, sounds wait, good. Oh, wait, 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 oh, sorry. There's always more. I didn't roll any of my poison damage. Oh. Uh, wait. Don't bother. Oh. 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 Here's the Brutal. shock clash. The, the only thing it does is two weapon fighting and poison. Here's where the <laughs> monsters that are immune to poison. I really did. Here's where the class yeah, features. Really just like there's so many monsters out there, and I just picked them because I was like, I'm gonna pick some iconic Witcher monsters. I mean, dude. a lot of monsters are immune to poison, and they just. And then on top of that, there are class too. features. Like, <laughs> I love the theme of the subclass, but like, there are so many features that I'm looking. I'm like, I don't two hand swords. Yeah, well, you know. Fuck me, I guess. No, thank you. <clears throat> uh, is that your turn? Yes, that's my turn. Wilhelm? I quit. Wilhelm, let's go! <laughs> Time to get another While kill, baby! 
<laughs> Are you going to climb in this one's mouth as well? <laughs> you, you know it. <laughs> it works. No, um, it works. I shoot. Can I get to it? Is it 30 feet away? Yeah. yeah. Um, I will. How bloody is it looking? I actually, dude. Because you had to move like further this. away to get to the Kiki more. Not like this. Uh, Not like you this. moved, what, 15 feet? Because you had to go <laughs> like the, the, the wall. So yeah. you'll be you'll be forty five feet away from the from the Ignis Fatus. Oh, so, oh. um, I'm sorry, man. Mm. Hmm. I do, I do have your sword. <laughs> it's really tempting to just throw my throw sword. A fucking great sword. <laughs> I mean, sword. it's gonna be low, right? <laughs> so <laughs> yes, I'm stuck on thinking. I mean, shot put that shit. I mean, Dude. I if I could if I can hold a great sword in one hand, I can throw a great sword, right? <laughs> like. Well, sure. Yeah. By yeah, that yeah. logic, yeah. Uh, what would I be rolling? Just great sword. You what would I be rolling? <laughs> Damage wise and to hit, <laughs> to throw a great sword. Is it just my usual roll? <laughs> or... I'll say that it won't be your usual roll. Oh, why not? Why not my plus eleven to hit? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that you can use. Um, you say Dex or Scream. Uh, D20 plus strength, but there is no proficiency bonus added here because you are okay. not, you're proficient not with using you're great proficient sword. Oh, so it's you're only not proficient with throwing a great sword. Weird. It's only <laughs> a plus seven. They didn't get trained at at the school of the bear. They didn't train you to throw your fucking great sword. It's only a plus seven for him. Only a plus seven. I mean, hey. So Dude, what do you <laughs> want? I'm. That's my. That's, I guess that's my normal up. attack bonus yeah. with my short sword. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same. I'm going to move up. The, the 30 feet to make it kind of easier for myself not to really sure. launch it. Sure, sure. <laughs> and I'll take my vicious grace. I don't get, I don't get any fang bonus in the door. I don't get advantage for nope. any reason. No, sir. No. Nope. And I'm Unless someone wants to donate to charity right I'm, now in I'm the next gonna, 60 seconds. I'm just going to throw my great sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Natural 20. What did he you get? It. Natural 1. <laughs> Oh, three. Oh, three? three. <laughs> <laughs> you like, stub your toe. You, like, you throw your great sword and it just, it just, it just, you completely overshoot it. It just goes fucking flying. You nah. chuck that thing like 30 feet, just like 15 feet past where the, where the oh, Ignis oh is. Boy. And just, See, it, I have like, another chilling with like the ears. Thud as it lands. See, now I have another great sword, right? No. Can I? <laughs> no. Attack? No. 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 But pull it out and, and throw it, saying like one movement, like it's one move to throw my other greatsword. I'm gonna give I'm you this advantage if you're not even looking and ca calculating. You're just gonna fucking. <laughs> just... I'm just doing like a like a tomahawk throw with this advantage. <laughs> do it, do it. I'm being do generous it. here, bro. Like I'm waiting for the nat like... one, where Ari survives, but he hits the mouse pouch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the... so sad. What'd you get? 17? 17? Oh. With disadvantage? Yeah. I get plus 7 jammy git. That hits. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna, gonna be the killing blow. That's so Aww. dumb. You might as well just throw me at it too. I'm <laughs> <sighs> using a great sword and just launching it at them at high velocity. I mean, great sword damage, no modifiers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just your, just flat dice, no modifiers. Great sword, 2d6. Do I not? But I've, I've drank my thunderbolt potion, right? Yeah. It's melee attacks. This is a ranged Got attack. Him. Fuck you. Is it, does it say, does the <laughs> say melee attack? It says melee attacks. <laughs> when I'm two-handing weapon. No, it's instead of... Oh, no. Uh, I misread the one. Hang on. Thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, Bastard. Plus three to melee damage. So because oh, Iron Man's class so freaking melee geared. That's because most witchers tend to be melee melee. Because most yeah. witchers don't tend to throw great swords. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not like most Desperate witchers. Desperate times, man. <laughs> yeah, most witchers. You watch, say, I'm not like you most watch, witchers. You watch next season. Hey, Henry Cavill's gonna throw a great sword in one of the episodes. Sword. <laughs> 10 points of damage. I mean, hey, it's. I hope it's Yaskier that throws it. Oh. Right? That'd be sick. <laughs> so you chuck your second greatsword, oh, and it just like. It just like. Natural witch. Lobs off. <laughs> uh, it like lands at its at its knee and just completely like separates the knee and like the lower leg of the right leg just like falls over. Oh. And he kind of like falls on top of like the stub now and is kind yeah. of not looking too great. He's alive, but he's not looking like oh, he's having a good bonus time. Action. No. Fuck everyone else who's here and just hit me. <laughs> 
Okay. Just, Wait, what is your igni? Is how how big for you? What kind of igni? It's my it's my <laughs> it's a boosted igni. Oh, it is. Oh God. Oh, okay. cool. So it's like thirty foot or something. <laughs> thirty foot goat. <laughs> the mouse. And this was like not the, the mouse. Thing. Yeah, no, you're you're going to just like hit like three of your. Bodies. I mean, this thing. This. I mean, this thing's like pretty pretty heavily hit, right? Well, yeah, a lot it's... of us are also, you know, bleeding and injured and... You know what? Don't I'm think about it. Just do what Wilhelm oh. would do. Wilhelm is on, like, some crazed shit right now. You know, like, with the witch, they take, you know, when he takes the potions he and stuff... He took like, fucking it's MDMA. Like, his, like, eyes go like, back and shit. He doesn't, like, realize what he's doing, just right? Just fucking do it, fucker. What, what, is, what is it they used with. to give the, the soldiers in World War T that used to make them go absolutely World fucking War nuts? What was World that World War II? Like a nice Earl Grey. That was Grey. a British war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so came for the Boston Tea Party. Boston tea party as <laughs> oh, it just does the damage. It doesn't like, it's not a save. <laughs> with an action, with burning, you can use a jet of heat and fear. Yeah, there's no save for this. But I think I you specified fucker. with that. Uh, you check the pins in the Discord group. Oh, oh yeah. I Dutch specified some Yeah, we changed it to a I thought it was a save. save. Oh, did we make right? a save? Okay. Yeah. I thought we did. I it, was like... It, does specify uh, uh, oh, I take if a saving, saving throw is save. required. Okay. Um, Which I'm gonna say it does. Um, okay, cool. I'll give oh, it this advantage because it just got its fucking leg removed. Cool. And which um, of us have to roll? Who, who else are you hitting? Me. With your bullshit. Um, Anyone in melee with it, surely. Yeah, so that, Bryonna that'd be me. And, uh, and Demon, yeah. That's okay, when I, though. When I went to the effort of picking out to get advantage on a saving throw, I didn't think I'd have to research Wilhelm. <laughs> All right. I rolled himself. an 18 on my deck yeah, save. That, that, that saves. You're lucky. 11. Oh, no. Oh. Um, I rolled a 17 <laughs> with this advantage. That, that, that passes. 12 wow. was the magic number. <laughs> To be fair, it was a nat 1 and then it rolled over to a 7, so... Nice. Uh, I, mean, I do 12 points of damage. 12? Yeah. I... That's fucking So if funny. we make the save, is that half? Half to, half to 6. Uh, oh, right, right. It doesn't say anything about having damage oh, in the... Does it? No, but, no, but that's because it doesn't say anything about deck saves in Igni, though. Igni is just a straight damage. Right? Um, I'm thinking say, it might I'll be say, because I'll it's like a cantrip, right? Most, um, yeah. it's like a, a fire like cone. So uh, that a save would mean it just save would be no oh. damage. Yeah, no, that's true. Pog, so you only hurt Demond. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, Pog, I've just gone for doing six damage this day. So when we finish <laughs> this monster, can we stay in initiative? <laughs> <laughs> like, I would say like, see, try and kill me. As I just realized, I don't have any great swords left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't, and you might be big enough, but I've got a lot of poison. I mean, aren't we are like... poison? Shit, you're right. I got a lot of acid <laughs> oh, and that's fire. fire. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, finally, uh, that's Wilhelm's <laughs> bullshit turnover. <laughs> oh my um, turns have been <laughs> fucking <laughs> Ignis Fatus, fat, 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 fat ass. <laughs> Oh, that is. Hey, anyway, um, fuck me, dude. Um, <laughs> it's gonna just desperately try and swipe its claws at Brianna a couple times. Just like, yeah, yeah. Why everybody just got so mad at me, man? Uh, it's a thirteen everybody to hit on the first one. This is twenty-seven on the second one. Yeah, that does it. Um, you have my Quen up this time, though. Pog. You do. So that's <laughs> 10, 15, 21. So 10 points of damage because it's half because you're Quen. Okay. Nice. Uh, and that is its turn. Ari. Me? Mm hmm. Okay. It's not looking um, very good. Like, it is suffering. Good. Um, <laughs> At this point, it wants death. Jesus. I'm going to close the distance. Okay. And. Yeah. Smack it with my great sword of, or sorry, great sword, my short sword, because I am small. Got a great sword. <laughs> it would be the same size as me if I did. Um, <laughs> do the short sword of wounding, and I don't have, I don't know why I'm rolling two dice. Um, and I'm gonna miss with a I nine. Mean, but th because the the twat's surrounded, you'll be able to position yourself so you're flanking. 
pretty easily. Oh, am I flanking? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a Brianna. Oh, okay. There's there. enough of there's us. A, there's a demon there. Okay. You can position yourself to make. To so then that makes that a great, so twenty-four to hit. That hits. Nine damage. Okay. And then second hit. Whoa. Oh, uh, fourteen. Does not hit, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, bonus action, Quen. And then that's it. Okay. Uh, was it the blade of wounding that you, wounding that you used? It was. Oh yeah. So when he starts his turn, he'll take a D four okay. of sign. necrotic damage. Alrighty. Yeah, uh, alrighty. Alrighty. Uh, Brianna. All right. Let's try and finish him off with my great sword the way a normal person does. It's insane how rough this thing is looking. And specifically flexing like extra flourishes of the great sword in case Wilhelm's looking. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I can move two. I can uh, hand them. I don't give a fuck what you do. Okay. Uh, 18 to hit? Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to do fast style. It says two handed, so it's a plus, extra plus one. So it's 19 to hit. Hit. Hell. I'm not doing fast style. I'm minding my hits. You could have, but you didn't. Damage, you're dumb. Laura? Minimum damage. One plus one plus six. Eight. Yeah. yeah. How do you want to finish Woo. him off? Okay. I'm going to. This is probably overkill, but I'm going <laughs> to flex. So I'm going to just bring it up over and just like stab it down like through his head, through his spine, like kind of pinning the creature to the ground. And as I do, the hallowed ground activates because that's what happens when you stick your sword into the ground. That's so sick. the vines extend down the hilts that are on it and turn the metal vines turn into real vines and just start to grow over the creature and cover and make a 30, 30 foot circle, 15 foot radius and everything in the vines is currently, it's hallowed ground, fiends and undead cannot enter, and any dead bodies in the area cannot be turned into undead. And no one in here can be frightened, unless I want them to. Okay. So I'm scared. <laughs> um, that, I'm actually not here anymore, because I'm- that, <laughs> the body, of the, the, body of the foglet, you can see just a bunch of mist, like a bunch of fog, just like, permeate through the vines and you can see the body just crumple and shrink and just disappear until one tiny will-o'-wisp remains and this will-o'-wisp um you know are like elven spirits um and it's just slowly going to fly off and then it go oh fuck we needed a head i'm going to pick up both my great swords uh, Cornel, I, I can see I can see cogs turning. Is there anything you want to do? Uh, no, I was just going to say, how are we going to bring that back? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I could try lobbing a great sword head. <laughs> oh, I bet you could. We have a ghoul head and as a Kikimura you, head. As you were kind of and like brushing off the the like the fleshy like, skull, the, the 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 remains of the combat, um. You suddenly just hear this 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 voice coming from uh, that same alleyway that that man was 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 laying in. And you can see this like hunched over woman, uh, sharp chin. Where her eyes oh, would be, no. there's just these like two big, like like just holes where flies kind of just kind of like zzz out of crooked, jagged, oh, rotten it. teeth. Um, Wearing nothing but scraps of, of just like animal skin and hides in form of clothing, um, with with a wooden like cane, and it just walks up. My hygiene was bad. It seems you have killed my pets. It's quite unfortunate and very rude. Have you tried like a mouse? Because it works for her. A mouse was I'm not able to destroy this village now, was it? I'm gonna so just that's... hold one of the stars ready to throw. Okay. I think that's one of the bigger problems. Back into the sh- hallowed ground. <laughs> is... oh, I'm not. I haven't left the hallowed ground. I'm staying in it. <laughs> I mean, I I pick up my crates or some wild, but because <laughs> fuck knows where that other one went. <laughs> I just, you know, like destroying a village is pretty bad when it comes to like pets Do... gone wild. People of Yentra owed me a debt. A debt that their ancestors have settled with me. They refuse to pay up. I take my payment in blood instead. Why are you crazy, bitch? What the fuck is wrong with you? 
I don't <clears throat> think that matters to her at all, Wilhelm. It's so nice to get an answer. So if your debt's paid, are you like done then? Because if you're if you're not done, like if you're gonna do this again, then we kind of have a problem. She'll like look at the like one remaining building that's intact, just lift up her hand to it, and just make a swiping motion that goes down, and the building just <laughs> collapses. Get fully paid. Wilhelm like puts his head down in that kind of like <sighs> size redraws his great sword and just starts walking slowly towards her. Yeah, I'm if she oh, starts turning like, around, I'm chucking my star. Uh, as like... she looks at you and sees you walking towards her and looks at you and just... <laughs> into like a battle what stance. do you think you're going to do, smelly one? <laughs> this is You've got literal there. fucking flies come out your eyes, alright? And I'm the fucking smelly one. I haven't been able to see in years. This Whoa. entire time, I just want to be like circling oh. around... I have a question. Mm -hmm. My eyeliner is still active <gasps> because that fight was less than an hour. Can Ooh. I see any invisible items on her person or any invisible things around her? Or, or yeah. Or Would you be eyeliner. able to see like what she really looks like if it's some kind of... All it says is I can see creatures or objects that are invisible wow. and I can see into the ethereal plane. So yeah. uh, unless she's obscuring something with invisibility or unless she also is like if she's actual projecting and her real uh, form is on the ethereal plane then um, i would see it but no you you can't nothing see invisible anything. okay nope. oh, well. i mean well you just check it <laughs> detect magic um from my medallions i just walk a little bit closer her entire being it. screams magic fantastic news So how exactly just... did you get the monsters to work together? Because they suck at that. Me and my sisters, see? Beings far older than any of you can fathom. We control things. Control nature. Villages like this, their ancestors struck debts with us to protect their town. In exchange for sacrifices. They didn't pay up this time. We take our debt in blood. I suppose it's not far day. out of line to say that you're a hag, are you? <laughs> not a I'll hag. Take that as a yes. Not a <laughs> hag. People refer to us as crones. Do you have um, other debts to collect? For or, those, or are you um, good? There's one of you <laughs> that was proficient in history, right? Me. Can you roll a history check for me, please? Because of my noble background. Uh, not great. Fifteen. Um, you've heard tales of a um, sisterhood of crones, typically um, originating in the woods in what once was known as Temeria, now known as the area of Velen, um, to okay. the south. Uh, this sisterhood of three crones, um, basically keep villagers in their area safe in exchange for um, the occasional sacrifice because that is what they need to keep being alive. Um, rumor or like legend has it that these crones are thousands and thousands of years old. Insanely powerful. And um, that area where the legend originated from is not the only area <coughs> they are active in anywhere close to like ancient primeval woods um, okay they have power okay i'll just say to the group uh, i don't think she's anything that any of our kind will be dealing with anytime soon if you get my drift this is kind of a longer term problem Anyway, ladies, that's paid. Just... Time for me to go. I'll put my great Enjoy cashing away. in on Is the she... reward. And her shape just begins to fade away until she's fully gone. Hmm. That's well, that just felt wrong at all. on all levels. Yeah, there's... There's, there's like three of them. 
I've heard of them before. The guy who gave us the job also has probably heard of them because they were like a Temerian thing, or at least like some of them were. Well, we can ask. He might even be one of them. We don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know if they have a particular look or they can like change how they look. Not well versed. Just guess it. Well, there's the part of me that's like, she was technically a monster of some kind, so we should have killed her, but I suppose we got the job done. They're also pretty hard to kill. I will, um... We didn't save this place. Back. We weren't told to save it. We were told just to make it safe for rebuilding, right? Yeah, sure. Fair enough. And it's safe uh, now. She said her debt's paid. She's not going to come, you know, like, crash it down again. I don't know. As they're talking, sure? they start trying to cut the head off of that, the queen. Okay. Big yes. bug. Yeah, like, as far as heads go, the Ignis Fatus, like, its body kind of, like, just kind of, like, yeah. dissipated. There's some remains there still. Just, like, a very, like, almost think, like, you know, like the baby Voldemort to get thrown into the cauldron. Like, that's uh. kind of. <laughs> and then there's, of course, yeah. there's still, like, the Leshen head uh, that is intact and on the floor. Uh, I'm gonna carry the queen head in my arms and not put it in the bag. I'm just gonna carry it. Okay. I wanna go pick up the the antlered, like, bramble skull of the Leshy. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming since we've been fighting that Ari's maybe hood has fallen down, so her red, her bright red hair is out. And it's kind of holded up behind her. So you see the <laughs> antlers red hair. I'm like, I'm like, this looks really familiar. Okay. And I just start carrying this one. Okay. Okay. I see what you're trying to do. Perfect. I see <laughs> what you're like, trying to do. I don't know why, just me. Is the hallowed ground still there? It until I lift the sword out of the Aww. ground. Yes, it is. I'm so just it's still gonna there, like, I haven't lifted up the great sword yet. I'm just gonna let Set like run around in all of the like grass and stuff and just can have his, have be his a cute sword. mouse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave the sword in the ground until the last spot, like until we are leaving, leaving, and leave it there in case in case we need hallowed ground to hide it. Look, <laughs> Ari, there's one way to know if you're truly a witcher. Oh, no, God. Put the mouse down. <laughs> you what? <laughs> oh, what did you do? Heck. That's that's really a you thing. That's 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 not a witcher thing. It's a you thing. Girl, you got fun. I'm going to just pick set back up and <laughs> put them back on my shoulder. Sounds and good. put my hood up and just look at them and like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. I take it we all had a different educational experiences. <laughs> well, I mean, we. Yeah. You weren't paying attention when I mentioned the Griffin Egg thing. <laughs> yeah. Or the bear fight thing. And I, I wanted a wolf. They wouldn't let me have a wolf, and it was you know traumatizing. Traumatizing. <laughs> Wait, Dad, I don't remember I that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not having the wolf in the first place was the most traumatizing option. Did did you did your school yeah. make you have to work for it? I'm gonna walk get, away. Get the job and buy the wolf. <laughs> That's the most well, Demon is talking today. I mean, it was called School of the Wolf. It's kind of false advertising. What was <laughs> I supposed God. to expect? Only you know I've what? been lied to. <laughs> R really though, I came Actually, here for a pet wolf, and I'm feeling really attacked right now. Yeah. <laughs> and like not, not by a wolf. <laughs> And that's what I expected. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, um, with that was. said and done, um, yeah. you guys yeah. making the trek back to uh, to the Golden Sturgeon? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the time you get there, it is like middle of the night, like like 3, 4 a.m. Well, I'd say closer to 4 a.m. Uh, as you get inside, no patrons, but there is... Uh, Oh, on the yeah. way, would we have passed any sort of stream in the woods or a pond or something? Sure. If we do, and if we walked close enough to it, I would just try and push Wilhelm into it before we go back to civilization. <laughs> because he's covered, be in, he's covered in, like, bile and yeah. blood from I will inside assist the with creature. This. That's not fucking <laughs> happening. On the grounds that he burnt me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Two against um... one. Two against one. I have um, such high strength. I'm wearing heavy fucking armor, yeah, and I got strength so much strength. Throw, well, uh, and... Oh, it can't be an athletics trick? Uh, no, because you're trying to shove, to. which is specifically I strength guess, save, yeah. if I'm okay. remembering correctly. 
Um, Wait, but uh, disadvantage no, shove is of us? the same as grapple. Shove is the same as grapple? Okay, then. Uh, Which is athletics or acrobatics. Yeah, so. And then Laura athletics would do. Athletics or acrobatics, and then Brianna, oh. you, uh, you do athletics with advantage. Hell yeah. Oh, both of you remember to add an extra plus two. Oh, get because fucked, you're, witches. you're going in the water. Boy! Why am I going in the water? Because natural 20. That sucks because my toe is like 23. <laughs> I mean, mine's a 25 with a natural so, 20. Get fucked. As you're kind of like walking, both <laughs> I've Demon lost 11 and to athletics, Brianna, dude. <laughs> I was both, like, there's no way. <laughs> both Demon and Brianna like get, close, get closer and closer to you. And as you're kind of like walking past the stream of water, and before you realize what's going on, you just get pushed, you lose your balance, and you just. <laughs> And the worst Brianna, is Brianna pushes, pushes him, him and, and I'm just like... there with my feet out underneath him. Yeah. <laughs> it's that thing, like a turtle in its back, I can't get it because the heavy armor on me. Oh, it's just making me get like more wet. No, just ages to no, get this as, as you're trying to like roll up, up, you just splash more water over you yeah. to make sure it no. gets any part you missed. I just hold him down. <laughs> no, do you know how long it took to get this like this? I got it perfect! No! It wasn't. It wasn't the monsters that got him. He drowned. He drowned. Yeah. He's, he's just dead. <laughs> um, but you eventually make your way back yeah. to... You see... Uh, I, the first thing I do is when I stand up as well, because I'm assuming I, I, I'm still holding that fucking, like, big head. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, my God, where's it gone down straight? What the fuck's that? God, <laughs> <laughs> God fucking... <laughs> Eventually, well, when all the, when all the shenanigans, shenanigans is, is done, you, uh, you make it back to the Golden Surgeon, and as you enter, it's mostly empty. Uh, the only person in there that you see is uh, the barmaid, who seems to kind of just... Uh, you're not sure whether she has just woken up from some kind of nap or sleep, or is still awake. She looks exhausted. Uh, looks at you. You know where to go. Nonchalantly carry the head past her. <laughs> As you do that, she like... Like, eyes widen, like... Hey. Do, 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 do. Put on a fresh <laughs> coat of lip gloss. It doesn't do anything, so I can only do it once per day magically, but it just it still looks nice. So I just put on a fresh coat of lip gloss. Uh, and as you... I look absolutely fine from one side, turn around to look at her, and half of my face is just melt. <laughs> <laughs> as you uh, you make your way to room number three, the door is locked. No, still got the key, so. There you oh. go. Put, put, so you unlock put the, the head into one hand, doesn't he? As you, like, open the door, you can see Vernon Roach is, like, lay laying in bed, and as the door opens, he's like, Oh, what? Oh. Hi! <laughs> I Hello. hold the head up <laughs> to him. You, um... I also hold up the lesh leshy head. Right. Um, job well done, then. It was, like, what was that thing you said called Cron, 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 Cron. Cron. Scone, scone, where am I? <laughs> Cron. On the crown. It was a crown. It was a crown, and like crown. had a debt over the village or some shit, and some bunch of these fucking monsters. She called her pets. Heard that tale before, but um, how did that end? Uh she went. Debt's been paid and fucked off. Well, as far as the stories go, I um hear that once a debt is paid, they do tend to. Bugger off. But that's seeing kind of what you, we were banking on. Seeing as you killed a pet, so uh, yeah, I mean, job well done. Um, saying that the debt is paid, I'm assuming the village has gone, yeah? No, there was one house, and then she was like, oh, there's fucking one house here still, and she crushed it. So, no, yeah, there's nothing left. All right, um, well... As good a job as any. Uh, thank you very much, witches. I, I appreciate it. And he hands you all a pouch, and within that pouch uh, is 150 crowns for each of you. Well, if you don't mind, I'm not one for pleasantries, so I'm going to go back to sleep. If you would just, you know, bugger off, that'd be great. Well, I'll just leave this here on the bedside table for you and put Shh, down the Yeah, that's head. good. Mm -hmm. just Big old uh, head. And I'll get the sack and get the other head and put it on, like, the other side. <laughs> To like an owl, You're supposed to wait until he's asleep. asleep. Yeah, the owl go ahead on one side, and then the head on the other. Oh. Come down the way. Anything else? Ah, uh, he's your sack's back. I to keep him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> right. And uh, as we've gone way over time, we'll, uh, we'll say that... Um, 
do, 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 do. We'll say that we um, all win. We have one D and D. You can choose to have a few drinks after a job well done, but eventually you all go your separate ways. For witches remain lone wolves at heart. This cooperation was probably one a one-time occurrence, unless threats like this come up again. Some of the group returns to their respective schools, while others roam around Red Redania looking for some more contracts to fulfill. But this is where the five of you say goodbye to each other and leave to uh, move ah. on with your life on to the next. Good riddance. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna end it there, I think, gamers. Hell oh, yeah! Oh, well, damn. That was amazing. You mean we're not gonna meet up at the reunion? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that was amazing. See you guys next year. <laughs> oh, I like to think that uh, Ari and Brianna write yeah, letters to each I other. Yeah, I wanna be besties now. And like, <laughs> Brianna's just absolutely shook by the <laughs> length of the letters that Ari will write because yeah. get her writing and she can't stop. No. Hell yeah, baby. I like, I like, to, I like to think. Oh that... my god! <laughs> no way. Demon, Demon never writes letters to anyone, but <laughs> occasionally, just like if he's in the area, might pop his head in and see that you're still alive, and then just walk away. <laughs> oh, Wilhelm's definitely the type of person oh, meet one okay, day bye. traveling in the forest, and he's just gonna be there with a sack over him sleeping. <laughs> he's just there, like. Oh, if you're alone in the forest like, with a sack like, over you, you're like, getting stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, um, yeah. Thanks so much for for being here, guys, for watching, and to you guys for playing and uh, allowing for me, having. giving me the opportunity to yeah. you know write a one shot that is basically just a love letter to The Witcher games and some of the most <laughs> another one next week. Monsters, one like really big bad from The Witcher Three, it being the crones, like they again next week. You know the reason why they didn't <laughs> fight her was because. Geralt kills Timing. her like a year from now in Witcher 3, so it's like, you know, gotta, yeah. gotta keep that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, just some of the, the most popular Witcher monsters. Vernon Roche is also a very like prominent character throughout the Witcher mm. games, so I wanted to oh, throw son. at least one Witcher character in there. Uh, I'm gonna play it now and be like, I know that guy! <laughs> and I play the Witcher true, finally. True. I know, um, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm like, I gotta start streaming this Witcher 3. <laughs> I mean, game, man. Witcher 4's it's been announced, weird. baby. Uh, it's not Witcher 4. And it's it's a okay. Thing, but yeah. The new Witcher game that is the fourth in the series has been announced, baby. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, it's uh, School of the Cat Medallion as well. So, yeah. Ari confirms he... next Witcher. So true. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Denny. It's been a pleasure having you, man. Like we, I've been wanting to have you on Dungeon Select in some way, shape, or form because you know we the, the Dungeon Select crew and then the the Dicely gang. We uh, you know. We we, we, we we hang out. We vibe, you know. Oh, yeah. we, we associate. I... We, we 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 hang out with each other sometimes, every once in a while, and talk to each other and stuff. Is that what being friends is? I don't know. I don't have any. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so thanks I so much. I pushed uh... them all away to write for the, about the Witcher D and D. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being here. It's, it was a blast, absolutely. And um, it's Mera. Thanks so much for being here as well. I know, especially like especially for you, because Denny yeah. somehow somewhat knew us a little bit. Uh, whereas you, I mean, I think the only person you you knew was Laura. So uh, yeah, you know, and, and then... we just met when I yeah. made it to side quest. So we're both in the newest round of additions oh, to go. side quest. So, so. and now yeah. you've got more frenemies. Yeah, uh, if any of you <laughs> those are, are my favorite to, kind to be put on like the list of like you know potential people to actually have like a guest yes. appearance in Dungeons like proper. <laughs> Always just let me know when perma I'll, guest. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it worked for me. Ethan did, That's to be what fair Ethan to was. <laughs> Ten sessions into the first campaign, hey, you want a guest? They like they had a character death and it's been real traumatic. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Hundred odd sessions guess. later. <laughs> yeah, he was literally he, his guest was the so priest doing do the burial for off? our dead party. Yeah, like a cleric doing like the. the I I met this oh, group cool. burying their friend. <laughs> Then so your caduceus like, clay, kind of, <laughs> yeah. but, but stupider good. and with more of a. I mean, caduceus clay had a seven like, intelligence, so. Okay. But but caduceus isn't edgy. Uh, Beanie's character ended up Brand quite edgy. Did it, Brand? <laughs> I didn't mean for Brand to be edgy, but he you take a good character. A chaotic good character was given the which of your friends do you want to die, and he went neither kill me instead. Yeah. Which I feel oh. like was justified. Yeah, no. And then he came back as like a half undead monster. Ooh. Yeah. A homemade class uh, that I'm still working on uh, called a Death Walker, which is basically inspired by the Death Knights from World of Warcraft, if that means anything to you. Um, 
cool. this, this like being that is neither dead it's neither dead nor alive not quite undead but definitely like teethering you know one foot in life one foot in death kind of thing it's uh it's to the of, hollow like... ones at all or sorry similar to uh like what Laudna is yeah, in, in campaign three the hollowed ones they've yeah been all i guess but instead of like the warlock approach definitely more of like a heavy plate mill fucking like basically paul robs cool. it's what a paladin is kind of kind of yeah. what's the vibe it, it, for. it's a zombie paladin yeah. yeah and it was very fun and i was very very overpowered I mean, that's when you playtest a fucking class that I make, dude. You know, you, the, you playing in the campaign was playtesting that shit, so, you know. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> I was very powerful. Anyway, I have an alarm in six hours, so I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna yeah. fucking... Oh, you did go to the yeah, I've got one in seven hours, ten sitting minutes. In, sitting in an office tomorrow from nine to five while it's super sunny out, and I'm gonna hate myself. If you guys wanna paste, paste if you your want. links in the Discord chat, so then those of us who won't get killed by a bot, we can put your links in, so people know where to find you. Danny. I'm pretty cool. sure Spira. you're all VIP, so you should be able to just post links, like Laura and Vini and, and Koibo. So. Yeah, no, so I mean, but they need to give it to us, so, because they can't post the link. I know their links, don't test me. <laughs> oh. Still had, all right. <laughs> still had East Mirror on my, on my, like, you know, my fucking all right. copy paste. Clipboard, yeah. Alright, oh, peace out, like guys. Thanks for watching, we appreciate you. Um, <laughs> this Thursday we'll be live with, uh, we'll be live with Dungeon Discourse, where we'll probably also talk oh, about this one shot. Um, because we 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 de we delayed choosing in case people from this one shot, including yeah, we'll, uh, we'll guests, if they it. wanted we'll talk to about join. DMs and set something up, I think. Uh, but but yeah. just so we know, guests, are you of around Thursday, around three p.m. Eastern time? If we want to have you on the talk show for about an how hour. how long does it usually go? Like about an hour. An hour. And a half. It's uh, mm. basically what we do every Thursday is like a talk show about our D and D campaign, and go a little bit behind the scenes and talk about people's experiences and, and that sort of thing so if you're yeah if you're um clown, if it sure if it's an hour and a half then sure yeah yeah we don't yeah, know who I'm... it'll be but just in case we know your availability and we'll dm you if i mean if, if both guests are available okay, if guess. both guests are available yeah i would love to have yeah. both guests on absolutely yeah we can discuss it my time yeah. is a bit rough okay after yeah today. that's fine that's fine yeah. that's fine how dare you uh, have well, other uh, well, commitments? You know, the group chat is alive, or like, is still up, Job so we'll just, we'll just, I'll just chuck a message in here tomorrow and see if we can get something going. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for, you know, all of the, the fucking Ooh. vibes and the good shit, appreciate you, thank you so much, go check out both of our phenomenal guests. Donate and, to um, charity! Donate to charity and all that good stuff. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye! Goodbye! Bye! Bum, bum, bum. 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 Bom 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 dum. Now slowly like fade out. Just like.